バンダイナムコ Incredible performance. Oh, I love this guy. Back to back. I see you, n e e Oh, my God. Give it up for your champion. Is this not some good ass Tekken, ladies and gentlemen? What is up, ladies and lads? We are live here with the Tekken Online Challenge Regional Finals for Eastern Europe. I am k w i s and I, Wait, I am T. Sorry, I am TOC <laughs> champion、uh, k w i s and I'm joined with the lovely Sam the Ding. How are we doing today, Sam? What is going on? I mean, yeah, we gotta, we gotta address the, that TOC right there.、Uh, you know,、uh, so you're just hot off your win streak. You're ready、yeah. to do some commentary today? Yeah, I am. You know, I know exactly how the TOC format works. Works, you know, I had to, <laughs> I had to, I had to deal with it yesterday, so I, I know exactly what what is coming today. But you know, it's a completely different TOC today. That was West Europe, we're at East Europe now. We forget about that one. That's in the past. Um, and we have some hype action here today. We have some very, very, very good players.、Uh, players I'm excited to see. We have honestly players from like not just Europe today. We do have a Korean in the bracket with Fran, although he's living in Hungary right now. But we do have a Korean in the bracket. I do like to, I do like to、um, uh, point that out. And obviously, another thing I'd love to point out is you know Astro. Uh, the official mix am and headset of the Tekken Online Challenge, always supporting the,、uh, the, the, the FGC, always、uh, supporting Tekken. They do such a great job.、Um, and speaking of supporting, you guys can support by getting your hands on some amazing merch. I mean, take a look at this. Like, Sam, like, like, this is just like, it's beautiful. Look at、yeah. it's, like, it's like the rainbow of colors, you know, yeah, right man. there. We got them all. We got them all now. I mean, like, I mean, what characters are left that they have to put on? I want to see a geese and a kuma one. That's what I want. You know, a 2D、Why? ass t e k e n Yeah, get that 2D ass t e k e n、um, let's, let's not do that. <laughs>、uh, you can scan the QR code or you can head over to tenno.gg slash merch、uh, to pick yourself up one of these. And remember, guys, it is limited stock.、Mm -hmm. so, uh, so get your hands on one of those quick. I, I definitely would because there have been some times where, like, there's a shirt that I wanted and then I go and search for it, like, as the thing pops up and it's gone. And it's like, oh, well, didn't, didn't,、yeah. get, my, didn't get my hands on that.、Um, but anyway, enough about the merch for now. We'll get back to that.、Um, we have some Tekken, you know,、we、today,、do. Sam. We have some big Tekken. It's the, it's the regional finals here today. There are eight players, and the top two players、uh, got to select their pools. And I think we're going to see、uh, how that, that broke down. Maybe Markman will tell us how that went. Yep. Welcome, everyone, to the Tekken Online Challenge. This is the regional show where we're going to decide who will be playing in each particular pool as we find out who is going to be in the regional finals. With me, I have the two highest placing players on the leaderboard for East Europe's region. And with me today, Mob and Bumblebee. How are you guys feeling? Nice, very nice. We are ready to action. Yeah, yeah. Let's see who's going to play against.、Well. For this、uh, opportunity for us, so I'm very excited. So, obviously,、yeah. you guys are representing East Europe. This is going to be very different from how we've done things with the Tekken Online Challenge in the past because you guys are going to be able to pick each other's opponents because you guys are the two highest ranking players. You guys are each going to have a turn picking from a pool of six other great players for this total top eight. And in that pool stage, of course, you guys are going to have to battle out in a round robin series. And the winners, of course, will be able to make it out into our top four for the rest of the tournament. So, this is very important. I'm going to ask you guys which players are going to be going into your opponent's pool. So, Mob, you'll get the first pick, and you're going to pick the player that's going to go up against Bumblebee、okay. in his group. But I want you to also give us the reasoning what is going on in your mind. But before we get into that, I wanted to ask you guys how do you guys feel? You guys obviously did very well in the season, getting many points and qualifying very well throughout the entire season. How did you guys feel about the, the, your, your path and your journey here? So、uh, I'll ask you first, Bumblebee.、Uh, as I said, uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I never uh, participated uh, in the tournament with uh, such you know,、uh, public attention.、Uh, so I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excited. That's, that's great to hear. Uh, Mob, how, how do you feel? I mean, what was going on in your mind as, as you progressed throughout the season? And of course, ended up being the top、uh, in points. It's like a super journey winning EVO Online, then TOC Online. Like, it's very crazy. It's one little problem I get in car accident and broke my leg, but it's not going to stop me. So I'm going to、wow. continue my journey. Against、yeah. all odds, with even a broken <laughs> leg. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully you're healing well, but. 
We're not going to go easy yes. on you today. We're going to put the tough questions in front of you guys. So let's start it off right now. So the first pick here, you get to pick out of the six rest of the players in the top eight. Bob, who do you want to send into Bumble B's group, into Group B? Mm, Bumblebee, you are ready. <laughs> let let, let so me go I'm over the, the options. Let me go over the, the options. So you have the Infection, okay. Fran, Strog, Axor, Lakumi, and Girlanda. Hmm, it's tough, but I think the first one I'm gonna play in Group B is Fran. Because he's a super strong player, like Korean player. One of the best, so I sent him to Bumblebee. <laughs> Wow, so Bumblebee, okay. you're going to have to deal with the Anna Specialist, uh, originally from Korea, yeah. France, so good luck with that. Now, that kind of turns the tables to you now, for, uh, Bumblebee. Who do you want to see go into Group A to battle against Bob? Um, actually, uh, I think it will be Strog, uh, because he is, uh, in my opinion, the strongest player in Europe. No one wants to meet him that early in the tournament. Uh, also, Mob says that uh, he has score that he wants to settle with, with Strokes. So, um, Mob, I'm letting you this, uh, this opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna uh, a, gift, a, a, a gift from your opponent. So this is uh, it's actually not a interesting good to gift. see. <laughs> not a good gift. So, well, the thing is, you know who but, you're going to be playing against. It. You'll have some time to prepare now. So hopefully <laughs> you'll be able to make it work. But now the ball is back in your court. So, Mob, who do you want to send into Group B now? Um, I'm gonna send to Group B, Girlanda, like another super strong player. Uh, she's uh, Katarina specialist. It's very always tough play against him. Like very good guy, very strong player. So yeah, that's Group B <laughs> for Morton, the gift. Wow! So Bumblebee. Bumblebee, right now you have to deal with both Fran. Yeah, and I'll, Girlanda, I'll a veteran from the Tekken series or the Tekken scene. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? Um, Speechless. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, if, if, if there's no comment, I'd like to ask you, who do you want to send into Group A, Bumblebee? Um, well, uh, I thought about Girlanda and Axor, but uh, Mop already gave me Girlanda, so uh, it will be Axor, because uh, it's Noctis player. Uh, it's pretty annoying always to play with Noctis, so uh, enjoy the fight. Thank you. All right, Thank he you. gave you so. Axor. So, I mean, you guys, there's two players left. You know, it comes down to these final two picks. Now, the again, it's it's your turn, Mob. Which of these two players, we have the Infection and Lakumi left. Which one will you be sending to battle against Fran, Girlanda, and of course, Bumblebee? Who's it going to be? Mm, I think, so one player from Russia in my group. So there's going to be two Russian players in group B, so Infection. Infection, like infection will be going into Group B. So Group B is now finalized. Bumblebee, Fran, Yolanda, and the Infection. Wow. So that, that kind of final... I mean, you could call it out if you want Bumblebee. But so you're the last choice, the only choice that you have. Who will be going into Group A? Uh, of course, it will be lucky. Uh, the both groups uh, are so tough. So, yeah. We have our two groups now. We have both Group A and Group B. We know who's going to be battling out, as you guys can see. Mob, Strog, Axor, and Lakumi in Group A. In Group B, we have Bumblebee, Fren, Yolanda, and the Infection. I got to ask you both, what is the strategy going into these regional finals in this round robin play, where you're going to have to battle against each one of these players, and then eventually battle against the other side as you make it into the top four bracket? Uh, I'll ask you first, Bumblebee, what is your plan? Uh, I will just try to play uh, as best as I can. I'm just picking my favorite character. That's it. There you go. And I, I will try to, to, to play to play with with players with, with guys. There you go. Training and practice in advance. Very important. Bob, what, what what about you? I need to prepare to every player, and I hope my rehabilitation ends in December. So. I can fully get my strength back and play like I played before and even better. So we'll see, we'll see. Well, Mob and Bumblebee, I wish you both the best. Good luck with the East Europe Regional Finals. And guys, we will see you guys then for the Tekken Online Challenge.
So I have to say, Sam, I'm actually kind of shocked by, by some of the decisions that I thought mm. Mob straight away, first thing he's going to do is he's going to send Strog. Get you know, Strog. Strog. Yeah. Strog is the guy I see as probably the scariest in this top eight. I think he is someone to really worry about. Um, but I mean, I can I can understand why. I mean, when they played in the TOC Masters event, LMG Mob did win that. You know, two one. It was a close game. Um, but 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 even still, when I spoke to him, you know, he he was just like, yeah, but like I know Strog's the best player. I'm really scared of him. So, um, yeah. So that's how things going to play out and obviously this isn't the last you know regional event there's going to be still more to come for the Tekken online challenge as we see here you know we have three left after day Japan Korea North America so you know really going out on on that high note here I think these last few events have really been you know leading up uh towards those final events which are taking place at the start of uh, next year Sam yeah i mean it's looking great i am so looking forward to japan like the 26th my belly's gonna be full of my christmas dinner and i'm just gonna be sitting back watching some of the best tech in the world play out mm -hmm. but of course korea and north america on on the same weekend as well yeah I mean, we've got some insane regions coming up right now okay Wes. yeah i think it's a, we're really ending the the technical line challenge on a high note i think this has been such a great um improvement from last year you know last year was 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 such a good idea um and now they've elevated it this year and, you know, things are just, you know, they're, they're only going up uh, from here. Let's take a look at uh, the round robin standings. So, yeah, this, uh, these are the pools. And yeah. I have to say, I, both of them are, are just deadly. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, the the fact that uh, you touched on it there, Kew, is that, that Mob didn't immediately send Strog away. He obviously kind of um, fears Fran a little bit more than he fears Strog. But, I mean... They, they probably played together a lot and he's probably yep. kind of worked it out. Um, so we are going to start with Pool A. Yeah. So our first matches are going to be coming from Pool A. So I think we've definitely got our favourites and stuff. But uh, tell me a little bit more about Axor from Greece, Kewis. Yeah, so um, Axor is, is actually a Greek player. I think he's the player who, um, going into this, I know the least about, but he is someone I'm excited to see. Uh, a Noctis main. Um, he, actually, he actually looks like Heihachi. Um, yeah, one that's, thing that's, that's very crazy. interesting about him, he he looks like Heihachi's silhouette. Uh, that's actually, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, actually started in Tekken 6. So, you know, this is someone who's been around around for a while. So I played in 2006. Weird to like play for that long and I'll settle on Noctis as your main. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, find, I find that that's quite interesting. I'm um, a favorite food, traditional Greek and pizza. So that was also, that was also my favorite food, pizza. So, you know, me and Axel got a lot in common. And uh, this is someone to, to be worried about, in my opinion. You know, recently when the Celtic, oh. uh, no, not the Celtic, the, the Clash of Olympians online um, event for this year, being players like Nivek in the losers final, probably known as one of the best Greek players throughout most of Tekken 7. Mm. So definitely someone that, that I'm worried about. And then you have Strog. Look at you know, this, this man. This is the guy to to really be worried about, you know, from St. Petersburg. You know, main character is Steve and Lars. His favorite characters are Steve, though. Started playing in 2008. And started on Tekken 5, so playing just a bit longer, just a bit longer mm. than Axel. Um, and his playing favorite respect, food is, is isn't still, even a food. His it's favorite food is spicy. Food. Spicy, like and anything spicy, he loves it. <laughs> just, just, just give him something spicy, he's going to enjoy it. I mean, that's what his gameplay is like. It's spicy gameplay. So, yep. you know, it, it completely makes sense. Um, and, you know, yeah. both of these two had... Um, very different, different, sorry, different roads to qualifying here for the regional finals. I mean, Strog. All he did was one fourth place finish in uh, the, the Masters event. And he said, you know, that's that's all he did. You know, had that one finish, didn't compete in any other dojo events. And he was like, here I am. I've made it towards the finals. And uh, Axel had to grind a bit more um, playing in a, a lot more uh, online events. He, only, he, he finished ninth in the Masters event, which isn't terrible. He lost to Frizen just before top eight. So that's no one. There's nothing to really scoff at. Um, so, you know, both of these two, definitely someone, both of them to be worried about. But I think Shrog, as as my favorite going into this event, we should yeah. see how this plays out. Yeah, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The Tekken Online Challenge 2021 East Europe. Here we go. I'm excited. Dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, Steve? No, Steve? We got the Lars coming out? I'm off the Lars. I can see that. I mean, I think Steve does well. I think both the characters, Steve and Lars, do pretty well oh, against Noctis. Boy. Um, Fight. like, you know, maybe this is what he's feeling more confident with today. You never know. You never know, ladies and gentlemen, but here we go already. Just feeling each other out. I respect it. Nobody wants to kind of pull the trigger just yet right at the start. Okay. Alfred, once he's just keeping Axter in check right now. Yo. 
Do you do like a counter hit here? Is that Axer? Uh oh, speaking of counter hits, there's a big one there. Strong yeah. all the way to the wall now. Big combo, Axor. Goes to death. Now needs to do something big. Side step two. Strong challenges there. Down back two on hit. And the reload. Oh. Strong, you have to get up in those situations. You have to get up, Strong. <laughs> Raise right. The slide, oh. but yeah. He knew. Strong, yeah, Strong was ready to duck there anyway. Takes the first round, but that wasn't clean. No, definitely not. I think Axor can definitely pull this back very quickly if Strong yeah. is not careful. I do think we, we may be seeing a lack of matchup experience, but a great whiff punish there from Strong, something he is known for. They should go to the wall. Yeah, that's the largest wall carry, man. He got that mm -hmm. new wall carry option there, and it is serving him so well. What a duck already. Nice punish there as well. Gets it simple. Down back four into the low. Very nice there from Strong. Two rounds up right now. Yeah, it doesn't need anything fancy. It doesn't need any, like, you know, big Hail Mary plays. Just get your damage in. Take the round. It's the start of round, Robin. The very important matches play right at the start. Yep. Okay. Down back one, one plus two. Again, that side step two into the down back two again. Strong, you have oh. to. Did you not learn from the first <laughs> round? Get up. Damn, and these full crouches. I mean, oh, wow. He's very close there. Okay. Side step two again. The dick jab this time from Strong. Nice. Oh. The emo man. Now, this is going to go to the wall. And if it does, it could be dead. Yeah, I think that's it. Wow. First game goes to Strong. Wow. Rather convincingly. It didn't look like he was sweating at mm -hmm. all in that match whatsoever. He just took his time. You know, a couple of really nice blocks and stuff. Really strong defense coming out of Strog. But, I mean, what can this Noctis player do now to kind of break this? Does he have to go, like, all in now? What do you think, Kiris? The thing is, what I'm seeing is there's quite a bit of matchup in unfamiliarity with the Noctis here from Strog. There's a few things he's not doing, which is good for me because I also play Noctis and I do to Strog a lot. So, I'm going to stop playing. I'm going to start playing Noctis. Um, but, you know, there's stuff like down forward one. After Noctis is down forward one, you should always duck because down forward one four. Uh, is a high, you duck that you get a launch and down forward one, two, the warp strike afterwards is a special mid and you duck that it's minus 12, you get a punish. So I think we're not, Strong is just blocking the, the down forward one four. We need to see him start ducking that. Um, he's getting hit by a down back two a lot. I think it's, I think it's a reactable move once you get used to the animation. Once you know the animation is coming, you block it. I just think the main thing he, he was really struggling with was matchup unfamiliarity. And if Axel catches on to that, is going to go very well for him. If he starts to use those down back twos, more down forward four twos, because um, he's not ducking the strings. And he goes for the Forgotten Realm. This is an interesting pick. I mean, you know, Noctis' Emo Man becomes a normal hit launcher on this stage. You break the floor, you get a full launch. Um, Noctis is not too bad at the wall when he breaks it on this stage. So I like the decision to just try something new. You don't see Noctis on this stage very much. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah. I don't know what Lars has really that, that kind of makes this stronger or weaker for mm -hmm. him, but uh, Axor definitely has a uh, good idea about what he wants to do here now. And one thing I'm seeing as well, like after that side step two, Strog is challenging all the time. It does force Grouch, tries to launch a down back three there as well. Like I just match up on similarity. Don't think he knows Noctis very well. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, as apart from Axor, does anybody really play Noctis in Eastern Europe? I'm not 100% e sure. Eastern Europe, I'm not sure, but there are a few. You know, we have a Bolt uh, on the west yeah. side. You know, Sink also plays Noctis. Uh, Momo Dog also plays Noctis. Nice break there from Strong. So take those floors away from Noctis. That's what you've got to do right now. Definitely. Okay, really oh, big g Clef breaks the floor Ooh. again. Very smart. Two floors gone in one round. Yeah, that's exactly what he wants there. And um, yeah. just take this on a perfect. That's five rounds straight already for Strog. I mean, we expected this Strog was coming in as the favorite, but this is dominant, Kawis. Yeah, this is exactly what we were expecting from Strog. And right now, he's just not letting Axel play the game. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Big counter hit. And he's going to go to the wall. No, he's just going to break the floor first. <laughs> I love it. Just take them away from Noctis completely. Yep. Uh, Axor didn't get a single floor break in mm -hmm. this stage pick whatsoever. And um, break on definitely... that Ooh, the duck, but late on the punish. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, big aura. <laughs> Here we I go. I don't know if Lars has a consistent punish for that. Might, we might want to see more of that from Axor, but the G Clef again, running oh. three, tried to challenge and wake up. And Strong is going to take our first game of the day, six rounds straight. I mean, 
this is almost what we expected from Srog. Srog is such a strong player um, for, for him I, I, to... I mean, what do you think we expected Srog to win? We're not like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, it, it, it's this sort of... Axor is definitely going to have a little bit of uh, difficulty now in the rest of the round. Robin um, with uh, a loss uh, already on his belt. We're going to go to the standings now and just have a look. Remember, guys, it is round Robin, so yep. every win counts, guys. Um, round Robin is one of my favorite formats as well, because there's no going 0-2. You get multiple games. You get time to, to show, strut your stuff, get a win. And I think it's just it's just more fun. But I think throughout the day. You get to see, and we get to watch more games as well, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, great start there from Strog. And for, for Axor, I think it's not terrible because you have got the like worst game out of the way. Like Strog <laughs> is the strong one of the strongest players in. I, I think going off like stature, he's the strongest player in this top eight. And you've got that game out of the way. That's probably going to be your worst game of the day, Axor. Just shake that off, brush that off, and, and just get ready for the next game. Is what I'd say. I mean, but then again, Mob was number one in the region coming into this tournament. I mean, so... Axel and he also plays Mob. Lars, so it's a bit Ooh, scary. Speaking... Is, Look at speaking his favorite Mob character! Is, yeah, his favorite, <laughs> favorite character, DLC and 2Ds. I mean, you love to see it. You really do. Um, oh, and Mob's another one like me. So he's been playing... He had actually played back in Tekken 3, but started competitively in, in 2018. I actually spoke to Mob in his interview after winning the uh, regional uh, Masters event. And he said, uh, yeah, I actually started, he started in season two playing Asuka, you wow. know, and, and since then he has now come uh, this far, you know, being one of the best players in, in Eastern Europe uh, and Europe as a whole, someone to definitely be worried about. And uh, he respects Whole Man the most. Yeah. Um, I don't know who Whole Man is. No, uh, we're seeing it, a lot of... Uh, is that like a D's nut stroke? Is that, is that what's <laughs> happening here? Like, I, I, say I like, got him. Like I just say Whole Man. Uh, and, and next up, we have uh, Lokomi, or actually, I spoke to Boris Sonic in Poland. He says, actually, should be pronounced Wakami. Um, oh, so, really? Unless Boris, Boris Sonic was trolling me, apparently, that's how it, that's how it should be um, um, pronounced. And Wakami, you know, start playing 2014 uh, with Tekken Tag 2, plays that Zafina. He plays Zafina and Law, but it's his favorite character is that Zafina. So, probably who he might be playing here today, the fact that he, he picked the Zafina in that. And, yep. Is going mm -hmm. to be Zafina versus Mob. Mob with the 12,000 player match wins. And that's Damn. just dedication right there. That's, that's just, just a lot, man. 12,100 exactly as well. <laughs> that's that's how you know that like you're dedicated. Because it's not ranked. It is player match. You're playing against someone in a... You're playing against people in a lobby that yeah. much. That's just training right there. He's got the TGO as well. So it means that he is no stranger to... Uh, to play in Tekken as well, and he's got the he's got the baller costume on. I love this mm -hmm. one. This one changes the rage, actually. Yeah, very cool. All right, so let's see what Lakomi can do here now, and um, because we definitely know um, on everybody's tier lists, we got that Zafina up there. If she's mm -hmm. not at the top, she's definitely very close to it. Mm -hmm. um, the only person who says she isn't strong is back. <laughs> Oh no, went for the snake edge there, gets the second hit, goes for it what? again and... Oh, is Lakomi gonna pay for this? The second rage, if you don't see this very often, drops the combo! Oh, that was sick! That was sick, I will take that. What Ooh. a comeback. Mob down, but not out. Ladies and gentlemen, that was insane. I hope that does not come back to bite Lakomi, I really don't. I mean, Lakomi's someone who um, very recently offline the Vigilant Fight Club Volume 3 had a ninth place finish, you know, had a huge upset over Fran at that event. And, uh, you know, someone I'm, I am I think is a bit of a dark horse here today, shown that he can do it off, offline. Let's see if he can replicate that kind of performance online. Great down three count here. Yeah. First bit of life now. Oh, yeah. from... oh. See, see that was the that was the back roll catch there, and he did catch more back rolling, but he didn't believe the wild time two would hit, so he went for the rollback and you don't get a combo off that. No, unfortunately not, okay. Unblockable. Yeah, you always have to be ready for that unblockable that comes out after the rage drive. Love um, that. But one one here now, Lakomi answering back. Oh, the arc blast catches Lakomi out of the air, so no launch. Jesus, man. Lakomi is just throwing launchers out there. Big down forward twos coming out. Uh, a lot of big, like, snake edges and stuff. Like, um, mm. crazy play there. Nice okay. Carry there. Forward, forward, forward. When you're back to the wall, that forward, forward, forward becomes so strong. You've got to see more of that right now from Lakomi. Punish that. Nice. Athena's punishment while standing, not the best. No, definitely not. Look at this. Nice. Great drop. 
Okomi the jabs back to the wall. Down three count here, but can't get the best combo because the wall's right there. Mantis down three, raise jab again. Oh, and gets the count hit. That was such a great adjustment there from Mob. The throw, shoulder. No! Look, Komi again. Just the architect of his own demise going back to the first round. We shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I mean, this this is looking like Lakomi is maybe not used to this sort of pressure or something oh. because it's the end of the rounds always when he just throws these Hail Marys out, which shouldn't really work and will only work 10 to 20% of the time. He's just throwing them out. Yeah, I mean, okay. that's the main thing. It's just coming down to the clutch where Lakomi is failing. He's doing well for most of the round, except their great launch there from Mob. On one, Rage Drive spent plus 2 billion right now. Regular throw broken. <laughs> Back one plus two, back one plus two. The orbital, forward, forward, three plus frames. Ooh, trying back to get over. Two, and the forward, forward, forward. We're going to a final round. Final round already. Let's do it, guys. This uh, this match has been quick. All right. Up and stance mm. dancing here. I like what Lakomi's doing. Another down three count hit. Lakomi needs to recognize that that is working. And, he has, and there is the Mantis 3 1. No, but Trump's the combo could have had a wall splat there. What is that? I've never seen that split oh, kick. From no. The orbital. This is going to the wall as well. Is he going to break it? No, wasn't wasn't aware of it. Forward, forward, forward breaks the wall, though. <laughs> Very quickly. Awesome. Yeah. Two nice rollback. Oh, Did not believe in it. Regular throw broken. Both just shy of rage. Wow, oh, that the, was risky. the huge risk at the end there with Mob of the Ford Ford 4 3. That was such a huge risk. If Lakomi blocked that and launched him, it was over. So, yeah. you know, I have to say, both of these two are really swinging right now, but you know, I think Lakomi just needs to be a tiny bit sharper. I feel like he is he is really the one that's causing himself to lose rather than Mob right now. And just, you know, the small decisions, especially at the clutch, just calm down, take a second to think, and uh. Just a lot of panic, you know, his wake up option is not the best. Get up kicks and spring kicks killed him twice. You know, yeah. two rounds lost because of that. He should have had that first round, but Mob made an amazing comeback. So yeah, uh, I wanna see uh I wanna see Lakomi just just calm down a little bit, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think just taking a breath now like use this time in between games to actually just sit and kind of ready yourself and and stuff and get just just get like emotionally prepared um for the rest of the tech and that's going to be going on throughout the day and um, mm -hmm. very very important step yeah exactly um because like i said you know there's uh what you have it you have three games to play here today minimum if you don't make it out of the pools um and you have more if you do get out so it's just time to really just assess your opponents your, your first game isn't that terrible you know if you lose your first game it's fine um because you have more games to play in the day and you're just in that down in phase you get times to get more warm as you go through grow out through the day but you really do want to uh start on the first on the front foot yeah you definitely do round robin man every game counts and stuff obviously uh you know people need to to come into this warmed up but here we go ladies and gentlemen this is going to be fun, man. Like, homie needs something kind of big, maybe calm down or something. But a drastic playstyle change is needed now because, I mean, Mob seemed to have a read on basically everything he was doing there, apart from the the exceptionally weird stuff. Mm, but great blocking on the down threes now. He's getting a lot of counter hits in the first game, not happening now. Yeah. Punish, okay. Yeah. Nice job. Okay, really enforcing kind of pressure now is like, homie, I, I like it. Um, slowed the pace of the game down a little bit here. Mob is uh, trying a lot of crazy stuff as well. Okay, what we didn't uh, talk about, Chaos, as well, is that like, homie picked the infinite stage here um, to take advantage of Zafina's movement. Mm -hmm. That's a very... <laughs> <laughs> I, love I don't want to. Fin I don't want to finish my sentence now. <laughs> I just don't want to. Um, there is the Mantis three one as well. Like Lokomi's not letting that get to him very clearly. You know, still taking the round. Messes up the back one. Just framing quotation marks. They made it easier. And uh, he's in like three point two, I think. Okay. Lokomi, you can kind of feel him getting a little bit more stressed out now. His playstyle is getting a little bit crazier already. A, mob. Yeah, that was a great step there from Mob. Rage try spent plus two billion. Four, four, three. Oh my god, the scarecrow! <laughs> and the mid no, and the, combo what? the combo! Okay, what is he doing? Okay. Okay, back one plus two. Stays alive. Alright, All right. that was just a horrendous misinput there. Nice jab to throw the forward, forward, four. 
No punishment no. 4 4 2. Nice, that was really weird. Okay, okay. but 1 plus 2 4 4. Nice, gets the combo. Yeah. Should be able to finish it. No one chooses to spike him down and then neutral jump backwards. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. Could have been something big there. Big whip. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? I was certain that was going to be a down three counter hit there. This isn't going to be the round. The slide. Ooh, oh, the man. jab string round and there's... You hate to see it and Mob one round away from taking this two over Lakomi. Yeah, Can he do something to bring this back? He needs something right now, KOS. I mean, this is an uphill battle already for him, but wow, he's walking into those, man. Walking in. Those art blasts are really working out right now for Mob. Down for one, four, 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 three, the plus frame. Scarecrow up plus two. Everything's hitting right now for Lakomi. You've got to force the pressure now. Yeah, really Ooh. need to ride this momentum. Good hop kick. Okay, pushing all the way back here now. There it is, rage. back one. Max yeah. damage. Don't do anything too crazy. Ooh, damn, what were you talking about? Not doing anything crazy? And don't listen to me. You won the round. <laughs> Forts the offense, man. I like it. I like it. Okay. Four, four, four. There's that down three. Yeah. I don't think Lakomi can afford to slow this game down anymore. He needs to go crazy. He really just needs to pull the trigger. Here we go. Nice. Four, four, four again. The trade between two. Punish that. Down three again. It's working again. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that was a, wh not the best time for a down three, but not what the worst situation for Lakomi. Oh, whack clash. Okay. <laughs> what did you call it? That's Whacklash. This <laughs> last is a bad version of Whacklash. <laughs> Whacklash. <laughs> Sick. Um, all right, Lakomi does oh. have the life lead, but wow. Down back four count here. This isn't going to be the round, but he's going to put him in one more situation. Watch the dogs. Oh, what? That? Damn. That is the movement. Okay, don't drop it. Do not <laughs> drop it. Wow. Four seconds left on the clock, and Lakomi just. He just pulled out the movement. Just pull all, out the movement right there, man. See how we both took a second just in case he dropped the combo that like we yeah. didn't say anything? Because he's, <laughs> Lakomi's been like doing that like this entire this entire set, but like finishes it there. And that was that is what makes Zafina such a good character. Yeah. She doesn't have to take a lot of these situations, whether you're plus, minus, whatever. She can backdash away. I think Zafina, Alyssa, and maybe Kunimitsu. I don't think her backdash is the same. They can backdash out of these situations. Other characters can't. And you can't continue your neutral pressure in the same way. Mm. It worked there beautifully. For the Kobe, the backdash and the down four, rage drag to whiff punish, and then you know, uh, he he takes the round. And I have to say, that was oof, yeah, that was uh, that's, uh, that's a that's a game to see today, yeah. I mean, Mob is definitely going to be a little bit worried now, uh, going into the next game, he can't really, but then again, I mean, it's probably just going to be a wall stage again, yeah. um, take the that sort of open space away from Zafina, pick Sook or something, push her into a corner and then kick her in the head until she stops twitching. Um, but That's here we go. so violent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's Wait, What? Mob picking. So here's the thing. Mob picks the infinite stage generally. That's something he normally does, right? Um, okay. But I'm surprised he's doing it back against Zafina, especially considering he just lost with the infinite. So. Mm. Round one. Okay. Is he going to regret this decision? I don't know. We will have to see. There are only two players in this game, ladies and gentlemen. And that is Mob and Lakomi with the final game between them. Okay. Man, they are here to fight. Look at this. Nobody cares about anything right now. They're just... What? No. <laughs> this is crazy. Damn, man. And he got away with it as well. Yeah. Okay, they're trading. Oh, the Whoa. full crouch down for two, and this is going to be the round for Mob. Keep it simple with the second raise drive and the stomp. Send a message. Yup. Looking real strong. Okay. Mob. Back one plus two. Back one plus two again. There it is. Here come the lows. Nice block. No launch, though. Damn. Not the best punish for Mob. But okay, Ooh. sidestep it this time, and then you get your launch. Making up for his past mistakes. Damn, silent entry. Okay. And again! Wow! Mob got that sidestep down, man. Oh, yes! And again! Backdash, rage, right, punish. This is good. This is good. I don't know if it's going to be dead. It's going to be very... No, it doesn't go for... Yeah, I like that. Went for the spike into downfall one instead of the back one combo because he wasn't sure it would kill. Hmm. 
very clever play here, but 1-1 one, one now later. Whoa, whoa, she got the that turn too, cool. uh, Okay. It's terrifying. Oh my gosh, the back one plus two is coming out again. The fourth four threes. Lakomi mixing up very well. The one plus two gets the counter. The spike Ugh. again, the dashing in. <laughs> Damn. Again, the hot kick. Lakomi's feeling Healing himself. There. What? 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 What the hell? Dude, 1-1 one, one and he's pulling that stuff out in game one. Damn. I have, I have to respect the key chart step. I really do. It didn't work out. The oh! Game. What? Okay, Rage Art. There's yeah, okay. that. Okay. That. Wow. <laughs> he did downward one, two, and Lars just said. <laughs> this is crazy. This is some insane Tekken right now, man. Like, I know yeah. what Lakomi was thinking there. If I get him with this key. Oh, no. Oh, come oh, on, no. dude. Things are falling apart right now. <laughs> this is. This it's like two okay, the snakes punish. fighting in a bucket, man. It's just like biting and kicking and screaming, man. Let's yeah. do it. And oh. the down back four counter hit, and that is going to be it. Mob takes it 2-1 over Lakomi or Wakami, if, if Boris Sonic is to be believed. And yeah. that was an absolute brawl between those two in the yeah. end there. I, I mean, that I have, was insane. I think I, I understand the key charge setup. It's like, if I get him key charge down three, I should win this round. The combo is not going to kill. Um, but the orbital was the perfect decision because when people key charge, the main thing they're looking for is like a low because low low high count hits, low mid count hits, they get they normally get you a, a, a launch, right? And so the orbital was the perfect decision. It's like you're not going to get this low orbital, and yeah, I think I think yeah. uh, I think uh, Mob was just you know just just so aware. And we're yeah, let's go to the standings yeah. and have a look again and see how we're doing now because the round robin has, is starting to kind of work itself out here. So we've got the one zeros up on top, so that's Strog and Mob, and the zero ones Lakomi and Axer. Now there mm -hmm. are a couple more games to play here in this pool, so this is not going to be the end, uh, the end of uh, Pool A yet. Um, I'm, I mean, I think this is kind of how I expected this pool to start out. I think Strog and Mob on the front foot. You know, I think the Russian Tekken scene since, you know, when season four, the good net code, the really good net code came around, um, you know, the Russian scene really made a statement since then. You know, Strog just appeared one day um, and he just beat, he was beating every top European player. You know, um, you know, he he beat me, Sefi Black, Doug and, and someone else. I can't remember. He demoted all of us and we were all just like, who is this guy? Like no one, no one knew who this guy was. He came out of nowhere and um, when the netcode got good and just beat beat everyone. Like, yeah. he just he took all our ranks and we're just like okay, like just and, and we haven't even seen his main today, man. I mean yep. his Steve is nasty. I mean I'm yep. sure it was the Steve that he did that ranked grind with. Was it, it was the Lars. What? It was the Lars that he uh that he, saw, that, he that he was doing that with. Um right. obviously Strog does look like a silhouette of Heihachi as well. Don't uh, don't forget that. And uh, and obviously mob. So that's our next game as well. Uh, oh Str man, Strog versus mob. I, I meant to say that I didn't, um, but that is our next game. And that is this is the banger. This is yeah. the banger match of this point. I mean, the, all of these matches they are pretty much bangers. Especially like I think like Axel and Lakomi. I think I can't wait to see those two play. Yeah. Um, just from like the the clash of styles we're going to see from there. But this one here is the one that like I thought this would end up being like winners final or grand finals of the entire event. I didn't expect them to be in the same pool. <laughs> Um, th so this is a really important match here now within oh, the yes. format because I mean if you can take a win off whoever wins this is I mean realistically speaking probably going to end up definitely out of the pool um, into yep. our top four but this might decide if there's any way of a tie break this might decide if you get out in winners or losers because remember yep. guys the person who comes out on top of their pool goes into winners and the person that comes out on bottom goes into losers and it's yep. very very important to get out and go into winners there is a lot of money on the line here today three thousand dollars goes to that first Damn. place finisher so you how know, do you know that one okay was... i don't know how i know that how do you know? maybe maybe <laughs> maybe i won one who knows um but who uh, knows? Yeah. Like, you just win so uh, much now <laughs> um so yeah the <laughs> production on the ball <laughs> um anyway as i was saying yeah this is this is a really important game i think this will decide the winner of or the loser of this pool coming out 
I think Axor and Lacombe are both capable of the upset, but both of these two are 1-0 right now. And I think this will be the decider. And yeah, Strog has gone for the last mirror match. Typically, that is what he likes to do against Mob. It's what we saw him do at the TOC Masters event. And now he's brought, brought it back right here. Last mirror match. I I don't know which way this one is going to go. I really yeah, don't. This, this is a matchup that I'm not 100% on. I mean, I... I, I been playing seven since launch where you know when knee came out and said just don't play lars he's really bad and now we're seeing a lars mirror in uh, a, a regional finals for a yeah. lot of money on the line like um it's a it's a it's a weird time to be alive ladies and gentlemen but here we go good break on the throw already for anyone that doesn't know mob is on the left hand side of your screen in the red armor and uh we've got the silver on the right yep red for mob I think he won't punish that. All right, now Mob has a mount to climb the second Ooh. range, but people aren't ready for that, honestly. Yeah, even Lars mains. <laughs> <laughs> Jab okay. down forward one, nice stroke playing, very patient, has the life, he doesn't have to overcommit to anything. Forward forward four doesn't finish it, 10 yeah. seconds left, and yeah, down two. That Keep was so him. weird. Why would you not finish that? I mean, maybe for, for the throw attempt. Maybe it was a mistake, I don't know. Oh, the, I've never oh. seen that count hit before. Damn, that's some gin tech right there, man. Okay, lows again. Okay. So here's the thing between these two. Mob uh, credits Strong as the person that helped him learn tech. Oh, this wow. is the guy who says get got him to where he is today, and he'll never say like he is better than Strong even when he's beaten him because that's what he said in his interview after he won the Masters event, and he did beat Strong at the Masters event. So, you know, are we going to see a repeat of that here? As you know, Mob ends the second round with the exact same move down two. Yeah. Dude, this is the most anime. <laughs> the infinite Azor and the, the oh, twin no Okay. I mean, yeah, this yeah. is because remember, Lars is a Naruto guest character. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got the capes flowing in oh, the wind. Mind. One option there from Mob. A bit risky, but it worked out that time. Yeah. I think that in the mirror, especially if these guys are training partners or they've learned off each other, I think risky is, is the only really way to go. Um, real way to go um, mm -hmm. ultimate tackle and uh, you want to catch your opponent off guard something that even they haven't seen before even if they play the character i mean so that's the thing with uh, someone who you play all the time you've got to pull out the weird things and when you see matches like this and you see something very weird that is why these two yeah. know, are going to know each other inside and out raise drive spent orbital 10 seconds left again this is where struggle becomes so hard to break down <laughs> exact same thing the, this, I, I think exactly the same amount of time left as well. Mob did forward, forward, four. Uh, he didn't block it, blocks it this time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mob seems to be winning um, the start of the rounds quite a lot here in this, but Strog just holds his composure for the entire mm -hmm. 60 seconds here and really able to just outlast his opponents here. Yeah, I think that's what Strog is kind of really good at, is just getting the life lead and then forcing you to just break yourself down. Yeah. So I think Mob's objective is to not let him have that. And a good way to do that with, is with a down back four count hit. Yep. Okay. Chooses to spike. Keep him close. Strong just outside of rage. But Mob gives it to him. Watch the orbital. What a block! Oh, there was no need for Mob to do that. And this should be it. Yep. Guaranteed low there. I was like, is that going to work? But no, I, I remember that worked. I thought I thought he should have just rage it, But, you know. Uh, what do I know? You know, I'm, I don't play Lars. And yeah. A great start there from uh, from Strog, but this is exactly how it went in the Masters event. Strog took the first game, and then Mob just started to slowly adapt and come back and take it. And, you know, he does love that infinite stage. So will we see Mob go back to the infinite for his third game in a row? Um, or is he, is he going to pick the stage? Uh, sorry, um, is he going to go for walls? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think in this situation... I mean, but Lars has such good wall carry, but I mean, if you're picking a, an advantage for your character, they're both going to have it because yeah. obviously mirror matches and stuff. So I think you're going to pick your preference here. You're going to stick on the infinite, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I would say I would agree. Like, I think I think at some point it's all about playing what you're what you are most comfortable with, forgetting about your opponent. Um. For example, I think a big problem people have is in West Europe is with Super Akuma. People normally pick that infinite stage against him just to nullify the Akuma stuff when their own character has really strong stuff at the wall. And I think sometimes just pick what you're most comfortable with. That is what Mob has gone for here. 
no surprises to me. And um, yeah, we're going to get a straight run back there, the infinite stage. And this time, Stroke will be on the left and Mob is going to be on the right. Yeah, switching it up, man. He's, uh, he's doing really well with his first Dan so, Lars. I mean, fair play. He actually started playing second yesterday. <laughs> he's, he's doing quite good for it. Yeah. Um, and Mob has switched to the... Uh, this is It's a New Japan wrestler, right? That's what yeah. the outfit is for. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't know the rest of the notes, but... Okay. Here we go. Just feeling each other out here. A lot of defense coming out at the start. Um, nobody really wants to pull out the crazy stuff just yet. Mm -hmm. Nice block from Strog. That's what about Strog. He's so good at scouting out your lows. Okay. Big okay. slide to get in. Yeah. Chooses to oh. yes. open again. Nice right back. Okay. We have a mirror match. Yes, sir. Cool. Okay. Chop in the tree. Yeah, 15 seconds left and not a lot has went like on here. 10 seconds and no one is in rage. Punish that. I mean, this has to be Mob's round. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I okay. struck had to do something. So yeah. go for a launch. It didn't work out. Do Yeah, chop. Yeah. Oh, nice punish. Okay, yeah, I like this Strog already turning up the heat there just a little bit. If he lets that go with nothing happening. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. That down there for count is so good. Ping. Count hit right back for Strog, though. Yeah. Okay, so he's already got the life lead. Uh-oh. Ooh, nice. that, was, that was saucy. Okay, just outside of rage. Back four. Yeah, looking for something big here now. Mob does not want this to go into the last 10 seconds. That's oh, down for one under the jab there. Also, a bit of an invasive down for one. Down back for count hit. Rage is coming. There it is. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. 15 seconds left. Strog has oh, rage. Oh. I feel a slow mo coming on. Oh. No, never mind. Running through to your face. Damn, man. But that was such a risky option as well. I mean, Mob could have sidestepped that. Yeah, um, sidestep challenge. But I think Strog just had. He just knew he wanted to end the round. I think that's something Strog does very often at end of round situations. is very patient. So I think he just wanted to switch up that one moment. And he got him the yeah, round. It absolutely did. But here we go now. One to one on the round count. But Mob is still down again. Okay. Oh, oh. again. Great blocking on that down back. Four. He's going to go for that spike. No whiffs it. But he gets what? low anyway. <laughs> he just finishes it, man. Okay. Oh. Damn, and a stare down. What? Ooh, great step and punish, but off axis couldn't get the combo. Okay. Or the tower. Oh, what? Man. Come on, man. Every time he's going to block it? That's Drog insane. Is so good at blocking that forward, forward forward. I mean, in general, so good at blocking the lows. And there, you know, he's looking. Oh, and he blocks it again. I think Strong can see it. Dude, he's from the future, man. He knows, dude. And look at that damage. Guaranteed follow up there. Yeah. I mean, I mean, what's Mob gonna do now? I can't. The defense from Strong is just so strong that I'd be super afraid to press any buttons right now. Yeah, I think this is something that's really exhausting to play against because you feel like your lows just aren't working. I think when Lars's lows aren't working with characters, it's very hard to open up your opponent. What a step! Oh my god, this guy is crazy. Okay, good break. Okay. Nice, there. we're punished. There we go. You gotta get those lows thrown. You can't be too dissuaded by that mob. Yeah. He does have Oh, to late clean. on the punish. This could be it. Oh, Rage God. is coming, but from who? 10 seconds left. Maybe feel a slow mo coming right now. Yes! Ooh, Damn! No. The Rage <laughs> Drive there from Strong steals it away from Mob in the final seconds with the slow mo. And I have to say, that was an amazing match between those two. Yeah. Um, that's, uh, whew, that, that is taken at the, at the highest level in Europe. I mean, realistically, I mean, very, very slow placed, uh, paced, very Korean style. Um, God, that was insane. I mean, there's something about the Russian style of Tekken that I really uh, do enjoy. I'm um, also obviously see how that match uh, affected the standings um and for 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 the for that pool but you know with, when it comes to like the russian style it's like they're very like timing based and and also just the way they they move is very interesting i mean there's a very strong russian uh brian player mickey and he has a very unique way 
with how he plays the character like he will walk in your instead of like dashing your face he will walk in your face to realign so make sure his moves have extra tracking so walk in your face do a back one walk in your face uh do a forward three and like with that like it makes moves like they're basically homing and you can't step them so it's stuff like that we see from these other players as well and it's just something i really um love to see from the russian players honestly yeah um definitely uh but we still have more matches in this pool. I mean, oh, yeah. Shrog is definitely looking really, really strong now. And I think it might just be the uh, the kind of fight for second place now. Um, Mob is going 1-1. Lakami and Axar can definitely hit that 1-1 now. And um, we are about to see those guys play each other. Um, so we're going to see a, a two-way split here. We got mm -hmm. Axar coming up, man. Traditional Greek. I mean, traditional Greek food. Is yeah. that... Gyros, gyros. How do you say it? I G don't know. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try offend anyone by saying yeah. anything. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna stay out of that one. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna plead the plead the idiot card on that one. But uh, yeah. yeah. Axer with his Noctis. Mostly um, Lokomi, Wakami. Uh, come back. His favorite food is cherries. That's an odd one. That's, that's a curveball. That's, that's nice and you know I think that's, that's the nutritious option to go for. They're like oh. Like, what can we watch? I'll just, I'll just eat some cherries. I'm like, oh, you know, um, you know, keep his, keep his digestive system uh, all proper. You know, you love to see it. Yeah. Um, well, so yeah, I this is. A... Sorry, I just got a pronunciation uh, um, guide from the chat. It's Girosh, not gyros or gyros. 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 Yeah, mm, that's, that's what, that's, that's what you're thinking about. Girosh scope. No. Um, so yeah, I think this game is very important for these two, um, both Axor and Lokomi. I think the loser of this game potentially might be out of contention uh, yeah. for making it through. Definitely not going to make it through on the winner's side. So I think uh, these two have a game ahead of them. Both of them got their hard... I think the Russian players in this pool are definitely the scarier players. So they got their games out of the way. Yeah. Uh, Lokomi um... still has to play Strog and Axor still has to play Mob. And I do think there is a potential of Lakomi making the upset on Strog. We've I've seen him do it offline. Vision of Fight Club Volume Three, uh, great event by the way. Just have to throw that out there. Um, great event by the way. Uh, and he he beat Fran there. You know, had a huge upset with Fran. That was when he played Law though. He did go to the Law against Fran, and he started just going really like he started going insane. You know, doing all the crazy Law stuff, and just like his reads were were amazing. So I do want to see Lakomi go to that Law today. I think it's really exciting. Um, and, you know, yeah. Axel, you know, someone who's been the best players in, in Greece very recently, beat Nivek in, in losers final of the Clash of Olympians 2021. Um, and actually ended up taking the whole event. So, you know, both of these two are no slouches. Yeah, they they did staff 0-1, but they lost to those two guys we just saw play. And if you weren't paying attention, those two guys were very good Tekken players. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't think that you can get to this stage of the tournament and uh, be okay at Tekken. All of these mm -hmm. guys are literally Eastern Europe's like top eight players right now. Um, and we are about to find out who is getting out of Pule or who is definitely not getting out of Pule, I think is probably yeah. the, the better way to 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 see this. So as you said, K was very, very important match. You do not want to go down even one round here. Yeah, this is good. I think a 2-0 here would be very important as well. Yeah. I think I think Strog with with Strog with two two O victories, you know, puts himself. I think he might be guaranteed out of the pool at this point, because you yeah. know, Mob's Mob's victory was a two one as well, you know. So I think a two O here will be very important moving forward. Yeah, definitely. But here we go already. Guys, here and strips out of each other. I love it. Let's do it, boys. Jump up in his face, looking for that counter hit. Yeah, no punishment down for two. That the second one plus two gets the counter hit. God, that always looks like it hits so hard what oh, finishes just... the snake edge yeah what so where's the phoenix snake edge if you block it it is launch punch with minus 16 but if she does the second hit you need to do a move that is 14 frames to punish it and uh and you try and interrupt this yes yeah, this is a whole bag of nonsense <laughs> okay. nice block but no punish on the down three not just gonna whilst anyone do that Okay. Right. Nice dark. Akomi showing some knowledge of the Noctis matchup right now. Oh, damn! Nice trick on the throw in the middle of the parry. Now for one, two, one. One more hit. That slide. Look at that. The Broadway, man. Let's do it. 
Okay, 2-0 already. That looks even better in like the slow-mo finishing end. Yeah. Because like, Vini's just looking up like, haha, I took this round. <laughs> oh, look at the dashing now from the Komi, oh. feeling confident. Yeah. The dashing again. Oh, oh what? the low is feeling. What? The dash again. The what? Oh my goodness, the Komi this feeling. This guy is crazy. Right now. This guy is crazy. The what? Up for two. Oh, underneath. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my. What? What? Man, what's going on there, man? They, he he just was like, ah, I'm just going to have some fun here now. Yo, watch me do this. Like, you know, his girlfriend just walked into the room. He was like, yo, 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 check this out. Like, you know. <laughs> Look, Kobe Damn. just going straight under the rage drive there. And I have to say, that's the kind of... That, so that, when I talk about his exciting gameplay, I talk about the lore. Like, when, he, when he's playing the lore, not the Zafina like that. Like, that was just pure style. To close out that game. Man. You, you, yeah. you do love to see it. And um, yeah, I think for Axel, that's going to be really disheartening. Um, <laughs> Dude, that, was, was, that, was that 3 0 in rounds? Yes. Yeah, so to start, you know, the day Axel has like not got a round yet in the, in the regional finals. So, God. Yeah. But the players he's played against, you know, they're just so strong. It's not even an affront to him. It's just showing the level that he's playing against here today. Um, I think this is interesting because, you know, Zafina, Noctis versus Zafina is a matchup I've wanted to experiment with myself. Because even though Noctis is kind of linear on a lot of his stuff, I mean, Zafina can step around it. He has a lot of good low hitting mids, which I think is really good against Zafina. I think down back yeah. one is going to be so good. Against Zafina, down back one plus two. Uh, running one plus two can be really good to Clipper. So, you know, I think that's what I want to see more of Axel, more down back one. Down back three to just be safe. It's only minus 13. Zafina doesn't get a good punish on that. Um, some down forward four, some two two, side step two. Just just keep it very basic. And I think yeah. um we can see a different game here. Yeah, but here we go. We have going to the serious dome. Do you want me to see it? You just call it the yeah. serious dome. Yeah, the serious dome. It's the direct translation for it, I believe. Okay. I, I don't I don't speak fluent yeah. Italian, I'll, but uh, I'll yeah. speak to Galanda after this and just yeah. just yeah. just uh just, just get Google Translator. Yeah, so just get some, con get some oh. confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but here we go. Axor versus Lakomi. Axor is definitely coming into this with a with a heavy heart already. Mm -hmm. Okay, but gets the down for one extensions. Put it that? nice. Yeah. Down two. That's why I see more poking out of them. Side step two, down one, nice. Do all of these good low hitting mids, and I think you really can give Zafina a hard time. Punish that nice back one too. Ooh, try them. Yeah. yeah, the challenge there from Lakomi. The back one twos are coming out into oh. the hot kick, and Lakomi's gonna steal this round. Damn, dude. I mean, God. I, I, at this point, this Noctis player has to just be kind of sitting like, I've tried everything. What else can I do? I think, I think Axel just might be the unluckiest player on the planet because this was <laughs> this was his round. Everything was going right. And then just that whole kick came out of nowhere. Like, there's not much you can say. Like, he should have had that round. Yeah, okay, but gets the float. Here we go. To the wall. Yeah. Chemo Man Ender. Okay. Let's see what he's got. He can't be letting him back out with a wall, man. Oh my gosh, I mean, one thing I've seen to, to point out straight away is Axel's whiff punishment is leaving a lot to be decided. Noctis down for is one of the best whiff punches in the game, but a great low parry and he should be on the board here. Yep. Okay. Axor, feel himself. Let's do it, man. You got this. Total reverse sweep now. I can feel it. I can feel it coming. Oh, you can always get a 10 frame there, Axel. Okay. A bit of lack of Zafina knowledge right now. Mm -hmm. Wow, that uh, back dash was crazy. Oh no, the Mantis 3 1 gets the count hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, punish that. That's step 2. Okay, Emo Man. It's the Blue Sparks version. Damn. Oh, but the sweep, and that's going to be the round for Lokomi just stealing another one away. Oh man, I, I, this is. Uh... This is getting kind of, this is getting kind of ugly. Oh. Okay, but gets the pick up. 2-2 two, two should go to the wall. Emo Man Ender, Blue Spark version, some extra damage. Down back two. Okay, keep yep. him close. Down back four, had the counter hit, but didn't commit to the string. Regular throw broken by Lakomi. And Axor, down back one again and should get the pick up. Yes, he does, but the wall's not his friend. Big no, whiff. The jab trade there and Axor, final round, second game. Okay, 
Maybe this uh, might be Axor's way back into this game here. Running one plus two plus frame. <laughs> Big whiff. That could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Oh, but the okay. one plus two counter hit. This should go to the wall. Scarecrow follow up. Big block on the low. Nice punish. Oh. Axor. Okay. Ooh, gonna be just shy of the wall, but nice. Now I'm back three into the parry. That looked like it should have worked. Uh, oh, the rage up. Oh. Okay, this is not going to be dead, but this is the lifeline that Axel needed. And you have to use this time to think, Axel. Think. Running one plus two. What's he got? Oh, right back at you. I mean, what, what, what can we say about that? Axel, Axel had his feelings hurt, man. Uh, that. Uh, yeah. God, man. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that was... Uh, that looked really, really one-sided. I mean, we saw a little bit of life um, coming in there right at the end, but unfortunately, it just... Uh, it, uh, I think... I think I think Axel really started to come to life in that second game. You know, we started to see shades of greatness. We started to see I see what I believe he's really capable of. But it just got shut down right there with that rage up. And obviously that's gonna affect the standings and we'll take a look at that. Um so you know, I believe that means Welcome Me and Mob both one and one right now. Axel seeing at that 0 and two where I believe it's not likely to make it out, I think, at this point. Um, especially with both yeah. of his losses being 2-0. I think if he had got that game there, it could have been possible. Um, but actually, I'm going to start doing some maths in a second, which is always a scary thing for a commentator to do on stream, <laughs> because whenever you're wrong, it just you're always wrong as a commentator. But, you know, Lokomi's 1-1 was a 2-0, and his loss was a 2-1. Mob's loss okay. was a 2-0, and his win was a 2-1. So, something is going to happen in the future. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the call. That, 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 that is the call I'm going to make. Okay, yeah, but uh, speaking of... Uh, I, I was going to segue it. I don't know how to do it. Uh, remember, guys, you can follow all of the, <laughs> all of the socials here. Remember, it's BNE Esports on Twitter and YouTube. And then follow Tekken on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. Just to stay up to date on it, man. All of the results, all of the standings, everything. Um, yeah, just uh, hit it up, man. Hit it up. And they, they sent out a lovely tweet this morning for, for myself and yourself, k mm -hmm. Um We look lovely on it. Yeah, so that's going to be all from us for a short while. We'll be throwing to a short break. And when we come back, we'll be finishing off pool A and starting pool B. So please do not go anywhere.
Who is Ogre? Ogre is the boss from Tekken 3. Yes, he was, uh, his, you know, like a lot of characters have the subtitles. Paul, hot-blooded American. Lee, silver-haired demon. Ogre's was the god of fighting. So, tell me a little bit more. I know you know more about this Ogre character than I do. All I know is, I think that Ogre killed Jun Kazama, and I'm still mad about it. I'm honestly, I mean, I know Harada gave us the, she's just missing, but... Until I see the body, man, this dude definitely killed her. I mean, there was an excavation site in okay. Central America, and uh, according to the stuff that was on the wall there, Heihachi's team was excavating, and they found out like, hey, the god of fighting rests here. And it was interesting because this character, uh, once he was unleashed, he started hunting different characters in the Tekken world. And you can see that uh, he has borrowed techniques from different characters. He had some of Anna's moves, he had some of Armor King's moves, he had some of Bank's moves, right? The battle with Ogre took the lives of some. Jun Kazama went missing after her encounter with Ogre, right? And that's one of the things that we see kind of like in the intro for some of the games. He battled that with every other character. I, I don't know which characters he's killed or if he's killed any, but obviously he overwhelmed a lot of them and kind of absorbed their skill. And Heihachi was after that power. Because he couldn't get the devil gene and couldn't control the devil gene, his goal was to get the power of Ogre. And you can see in Yoshimitsu's ending, I think it was, where he was able to obtain a vial of Ogre's blood, and Dr. Boskanovich was even experimenting with it. They put it into a rat, and that rat grew yeah. to grew insane size. The thing. I remember just, that. That's just like a, a snippet of what that power is from Ogre. But Ogre, again, a DT, or, or a god of power, of, of fighting, I think one of the most badass characters that we've ever seen. Personally, my favorite, outside of like my characters that I like, my favorite character to use, I always thought, at least in Tekken Tag and Tekken 3, that Ogre 1 and True Ogre, so powerful and so fun to play. I'm one of those guys. I like really broken stuff. But man, actually, that's the first really, uh, aside from maybe Kazuya to Devil in Tekken 2, the first real transformation character that we've seen. Because Kazuya and Devil were kind of like the same size and scale. But seeing the first iteration of Ogre transform into true Ogre in Tekken 3 when you get to the final round, that was crazy. That was insane that was to me. That was actually pretty sick. He gets the horns, he gets the flame, yeah. gets the snake arm. Yes. Yeah, the unblockable snake arm, That bro. was crazy. Yeah, no, no, that's definitely true. Yeah, Ogre was is definitely one of my favorite, like, just bosses in mm -hmm. general, especially with, like, a little bit of the story you just told me just now and just how it rounds up. Because I feel like Tekken does a really good job of making sure the characters stay within that realm. And welcome back to the Tekken Online Channel Regional for, uh, Finals for Eastern Europe. Um, K was trained by Sam. Sam, you know all that stuff about Ogre? You know that? I mean, I did know, but I totally forgot how much depth there was to the kind of lore of Tekken. I think oh, yeah. as soon as like 7 came out, you know, everyone plays through the story once to get that uh, the health bar or something or whatever they give you and stuff. And then I totally forgot about it. And I forgot that there is actually a full story to this game, like, you know. Um, oh. But uh, looking, looking really good. I really love those videos. Um, but I want to give a special shout out again, guys, to Astro, the official headset and mix amp of the Tekken Online Challenge. As you can see, all of the uh, the Tekken Online Challenges, uh, everybody's all astro up. They've been looking after us for quite some time and definitely been helping out the, the whole Tekken scene and stuff. Um, really, really cool. Um, oh, yeah. Now, I really do love those lore videos, though. I think they're really cool. I mean, I like... I, I It also like brings me back, because back when I was a kid, like, super young, I remember playing Ogun, like, true Ogun, like, the early Tekken games, just, like, mashing and doing just having fun. It's like... <laughs> because obviously the characters are like kind of kind of stupid so you know that was that was a lot of fun for me maybe they, we bring them back uh you know uh when we get the the next tekken um but next tekken i can't see i tried to do a segue it didn't work look at some tech look at some tekken shirts look look okay, look, look, at, look, look at look at some tekken shirts i tried to do a segue didn't didn't work out whatever Oh man, yeah. yeah. They, I mean, they're cool T-shirts. I mean, I don't. They don't need a segue, guys. <laughs> hey, everyone in chat, buy a T-shirt. Look at them. They're sick, dude. Like, I mean, I got the Armor King one. Did you get the Armor King one, Kevin? Okay, uh, no, I have got. So the ones I have, I don't have. I have of these ones. I have the Steve and the Kunimitsu one. Oh, I got the Armor King and the the Josie ones. 
I really want the Army King one. The Army King oh, one, I really sick. want. It's sick. Um, but yeah, yeah the, these have been like selling like hot cake, hot cakes. Yeah. Everyone really loves these shirts. And um, they're really, they're, they're just so cool. It's nice to get some officially licensed Tekken merch. And you know, yeah. uh, you can even scan that QR code or visit Tenno. Uh, dot gg forward slash merch to get your hands on some of these um they're just so cool man um what else is cool that was a segue um is the uh the, the regional finals um we have two matches left of pool a and uh, then we'll be getting started on pool b so uh while we were away i was doing some uh tekken tekken maths um and i've come to the conclusion that axel is completely out at this point and Mob oh, and Lakomi yeah. are both battling for the final spot. Strog is in. Um, and so there's a potential for both of them to make it in. Okay. Uh, well, actually, they both have a chance again, but not both together. If they both win their last two games, Lakomi makes it through. Um, oh. But if Lakomi loses and Mob wins, Mob makes it through. Obviously, Lakomi will be playing Strog and uh, Mob will be playing Axor. So no matter what happens, even if Mob 2 owes Axel and Lakomi is wins 2-1 versus Strog, uh, Lakomi still makes it through. That's the way things are working right now. So wow. it is very important for uh, Lakomi to win his next game. He basically decides Mob's fate right now. It's one of the worst situations in a round robin where you do not decide your own fate. And this is the man that has the potential to stop him right now. And it is Strog, the guy that is the, the, the talk of the town right now. I think as we see how he started the day, he is kind of he's kind of proven why we we uh, give him so much praise. Yeah, definitely. But up against him right now is Lakomi, looking for that upset. But his favorite food is cherries, and mm -hmm. uh, you know he's respect Narslan Ash. You gotta love that man. The, the the like, I mean, I say underdog story, but now Arslan Ash is like you know the man to beat in the world. Like I mean, but when he came out first. Um, nobody knew who he was and stuff. So I get that. I get the respect. I get the respect. I mean, I mean, his story when it was an underdog story is one of the greatest stories we had in Tekken Seven. Honestly, you know, yeah, it was absolutely. like it was like he's come out of nowhere from a region with no representation. No one believe. No one believes he, he is serious. You know, when Asim came to the UK, he said the players over in Pakistan would like beat the Koreans. Everyone laughed at him. Um, and then you know. Um, uh, Ni nee actually goes over to the uh, OUG gaming event and loses to Arthur and Ash there. And then people are like, oh, it was just a fluke. It just happened once. And then, you know, uh, Evo Japan happens and then Evo Las Vegas happens. And like people are like, okay, this Arthur and Ash guy is actually pretty good. Then more Pakistani players travel out to Fata Wise Honey and people are like, okay, these Pakistani players are really good. Um, so, yeah, let's see if Lokomi can sort of harness that power of, of the underdog Pakistani and, you know, I uh, get a win here over Strog because he is the underdog in this game, but I've seen him make a, a similar level of upset before. Can he do it here today and make it through to the top yeah. four? Let us find out right now. We're in Dragon's Nest here. Man, that stage is pretty, dude. Mm -hmm. I like those little right. stage introductions. It really immerses you. Uh, yeah. It makes you feel like Tekken. Definitely. Okay. I said it earlier, the way Strog is able to just scout the lows like that, this is going to be a long day for Lakomi if things he can play now like that. Oh, wait a minute, though. Big parry there. Okay. Okay, 30 seconds. There they wow, just through. doing nothing? They have slowed things down to a crawl right now. Five seconds and no buttons, and there's the forward, forward, forward. Oh, and you cannot do that against someone like Strog. Kind of lucky it was a low parry. There would have been more damage if you blocked the low, but it's still going to be good damage anyway. Yeah, it gets him to the wall all the way and finishes the combo and ends the round. Strog, man. Strog is so strong, man. You can't make any mistakes in front of this guy. Okay. Oh my goodness, the dash in between the two. But oh. great timing there on the down three. And that's what works so well against the mob, those down three counter hits. And we've got to see Lakomi have some similar timing right now if he wants to be successful. He needs this win to make it out. And obviously, mob will be rooting for Strog right now because that win uh, secures this spot. Yep. Um, okay. 
I mean, Lakomi doesn't look phased by Strog as well. Like, I mean, he's mm -hmm. dashing in his face. He's, he's throwing stuff out there and seeing, oh my god, the <laughs> orbital straight over everything, man. Doesn't need to worry about stances, man. Yeah, they are not looking good right now for Lakomi. I mean, Strog has yet to drop a, drop a game here. All of his wins have been 2-0. Can he continue that dominance? Let's see. Let's find out. Okay. Oh, punish that. Minus 13. Nice shoulder punish there. Yeah. That far reaching low, the back one plus two, is just so strong right now. Lakomi needs to keep smashing away at it. About even on life right now. 25 seconds left to go. Keeping it very simple right now. No punish. Scared of the follow ups. 4 4 3 plus frames. Scared of plus 2 more plus frames. Okay, the down 2 1. Big whiff. Could have had way more. Lakomi will be happy about that. About 10 seconds left. Lakomi in range. Down 3. Power Crush is safe, but what? The while sending 2 1 to challenge. I, I don't know what Lakomi did there. Like, the Power Crush is safe on the try and challenge. I don't know. Like, yeah. that wasn't a punish there. If he was patient and blocked that punish it while sending four into race draft, who knows? That could have been Lakomi's round. I think, you know, one thing we've seen from Lakomi throughout most of the day is he's kind of been his own worst enemy. He makes some poor decisions in the clutch and that ends up losing him the games when he, he realistically, he can win them. And we've seen it, you know, when he played against Mob, he came very close. You know, he was very dominant against Axel. You know, we need to see that Lakomi here. If he wants to make it through, you know, this is this is not the best start, I have to say. No, no, not looking well. But I mean, it is Strog that he's up against. Strog is has just, I mean, even just if you didn't know about him before this tournament, look at what he's done today already. Like, yeah. I mean, he it, it looked like he had an easy pool and he didn't like it's just the way he plays. Yeah, I mean, he's going like he had the number one seed in his pool in LMG mob. Um, mm. That was the guy that most people, sh I think, LNG Mob and Struck with two guys to be scared of this entire event. The fact that they end up in the same pool is is amazing. And here we go, Lakomi oh. has finally gone to the Lord. This is what I wanted to see. This, okay. this, this is the time to to make something happen. I mean, he hasn't gone to the Lord all day with his back against the wall, and you know, facing elimination, he has gone back to the old main. It is the martial law. Okay, and we're, are we expecting like an absolute like crazy law to be played right now? You were saying that uh, he kind of uh, lets it rip with this. Oh law. yeah, oh yeah. Was that yeah. a pun on rip? No, but uh, I mean, yes, yes, I did intentionally <laughs> do that. Because <laughs> that's something rip is known for. You know that crazy law playing. It really gets him pretty far. And rip has actually been doing pretty well in tournaments actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there is the hot kick, but damn. Combo. <laughs> Alright, maybe it's his Ugh. first time playing Law today. Just gotta shake off the cobwebs. Yep. Stop doing backflips in your combo. Okay. Oh, oh some big stuff. whiff, and that's a huge 3 plus 4 4 opportunity there, but Lakomi shouldn't be faced by that. Oh! Out of range for the whiff punish back for Cow and the hit. And just the low. Just the low. That's all he needs. He doesn't need anything more. Um, Strog, definitely one of the more calculated players, especially when he gets down to the end of the round. Yeah. Um, it is such a strong skill to have as well. That's what uh, yesterday, Bubsy was caught in those like final 10 seconds, like Sefi Black territory, because he's so good <laughs> in in those moments. And we've seen the same thing here from Strog. Yeah. Four, 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 two, three, no duck. Okay. Back ones. Yeah, back to the out. wall now. Damn. Oh, nice duck in the DSS. Big slide. We need to see that from the coming. You've got to force him to start ducking. Big whiff, yeah. but again, oh. the whiff punishment from the coming not on point right now. Down for two one in the back somehow. Oof. Damn, that was crazy. G Clef Cannon, and this is going to be the round for Strog. Nice. Lakomi has one round left to save himself from elimination, or his fate uh, has fallen into the hands of Mob. Oh, God, I don't know. It's not looking likely here. Um, I, I, I hate to be the, the bearer of bad news for all the Lakomi fans here in the chat today, but Strog is so strong. Look at him now already. That Just instant running three, I mean. 
Yeah, this is this is looking real. <laughs> the whip on it from Strog. He's on point right now. Lokomi, what do you have? What do you have left to save yourself from elimination? What have you got? Now is the time to show it. One, two, three. Fake flip. Breaks the throw. Okay. Down yeah. to one. And one more hit does it. G cleft cannon. Oh. And uh, Strog is going to take that one. 2-0 over Lokomi. Now, I do believe... That Lakomi is not completely done yet. I think if Mob loses his game now, he is through. I think, he, like I said, his fate now rests in the hands of Mob. And we'll take a look at the standings in a second just to confirm that. But it's 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 not the position you want to be in. You like, you really want. I know it's 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 a disappointing feeling where like you haven't played well enough to the point you can decide your fate. You have to leave someone else to have to lose for you to win. So, ah, oh, I'm. Uh, it's not the best situation to be in, I have to say. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, it's always kind of, I don't know, spooky. Um, but I mean, look at this pool already, man. I mean, Strog and Mob are just mm -hmm. insane. Like, homie, it, I mean, I know it looked like he got body there but strog just been doing that to players all day i mean okay. nakomi is a great player axor um was maybe was having a bad day but is a super strong player he is in the top eight of his region here um so i mean these are all you don't make it there by accident you know no exactly you you can't uh button mash your way to 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 this position somebody's gonna figure out um, what you're doing before now. So these are all very, very strong players. And that just shows the level that Strog is at right now. Mm -hmm. But enough about Strog. Here we go. The number one from his region, as you can see there, with a total points of 305. His favorite food is Dolma. I'm not 100% sure what Dolma is. But Some, we have someone one. will let us know. Someone will let yeah. us know in the, uh, uh, in the, in the Twitch chat, surely. Um, and here we have Axel. You know, this is this is his last hurrah for the day. Um, and you know, his win here doesn't really, it doesn't really affect himself. It is way more important for Mob right now. If Axel wins this game, Mob does not make it through and Lakomi does, um, I believe on points difference. So, I mean, I think if it's a 2-0 win, maybe something, I don't know, but most likely it, it all comes down to this win here. Actually, no. Okay. If Mob gets one game, if Mob loses and it's 2-1, he is through. So all Mob needs is that one game to get through. Even if he loses and it's 2-1, he gets through over Lakomi because of points difference. Actually, wait. No, he doesn't. Okay. Wait, no, no, he doesn't. Actually, Dude, round this robin. Is the, this, is, this is why you don't do... <laughs> commentators never do maths on stream. I'm, I broke my own rule there. Do not do maths on stream. All I know is Mob needs to win to get through. That's all I know. I don't know what happens if he loses. I'm just saying, Mob, you win. You get through. That's, that's, all, I'm, that's all I've got. That's all I can say. I don't I don't know. I don't have the answers. I'm gonna simplify this as much as I can. If Mob wins, he's through. If he doesn't, he might be through. But it's <laughs> it's it's unclear right now in my head. Mob oh, right. win this game to get through. It's that simple. That's all Mob has to worry about right now. We're going to Mishima Dojo. Lars versus Noctis. Yes, sir. Let's bring it on. I love this stage, man. This stage is like super cool. Like, it's one of my favorite stages to like, pick in this game. One. Yeah, and the way the, the statue like breaks down yeah. as well behind them. Really, really cool. I hope in like the next second game we like get more of that like more stage destruction and just stuff. Just like, yeah. like maybe like walls just start to tatter and like I don't know. Maybe wall like maybe like wall breaks, but like you have to do multiple wall break attacks to break and like it takes more hits to break the wall. Damn. That's a really bad idea. Like, that's a terrible yeah. idea for game balance, but it'd be fun. Oh, nice step from Axel. No punish on the Wild Thing 1-2. Great low parry. Damn, man. He's a, he's a wake right now. Um, All right, the forward, forward, forward. What's the Oki here? Oh, no. Why is everyone staying down against Noctis today? The wall splat. This could be the round. Rage art. I... This could kill. Yeah, it's going to be very close. Because Axel has a lot of health. Yeah, no, the magic pixel. Key yeah. charge set. Oh! Wow. The full Dude. three warp strike. Dude, what's going on here with uh, with this uh, this region? These these guys are absolutely insane right now. Dude, right, Eastern I, Europe. I think I think uh, Axel has picked the best time possible to turn it up. 
<laughs> but the worst time if your name is LMG Mob. Yep. He is there. Uh... Orbital gets the launch, so it should go to the wall. Yep. Okay. Da, da, da. Going for a cheeky setup there. Doesn't work out. Axel Ooh. stays firm. Emo man. One more mix. Back one to no duck. Rage drive. This won't be dead. One for to the fall. Oh. Oh. Hey, there's no way in hell you were going to block that. Like, <laughs> impossible. I think the wall was mob's best friend there. <laughs> oh, no carry. Damn, man. He's quick today. Where was this Axor earlier on in the tournament, man? Okay, nice duck. Oh, Emo man. Yep. Rage drive gets a side splat. He wasn't ready. Punish that. No, he's late, but no duck. Okay. Ah, he lives. God. He lives. I love that Rage Arm man as well. Uh, I think it's yeah, like super, super cool. But here we go. Potential final oh round now. My goodness, the up back one. Axor, is this going to be the biggest upset of the day? I want it to be. I really Evil want it. Evil man. Okay, down back four. Interrupts with a down four. What? what a great option from Axor when he takes the first oh, game. His first game God. of the day. That's insane right now, man. For that to be his first game of the day, like, like right there. Like, what happened? Did he just, like, wake up or something? Um, What time is it in Greece right now? What are they, like an hour ahead? What half, happened? Was he like, like half six, half seven, something like that? I mean, where was where was this guy like earlier on in the tournament? I mean, this is literally for, for mob's sake, the worst time possible for Axel to, to finally turn it <laughs> on. You know, like mob, yeah. all he needs is just one. He just needs to win this last game to make it through. And Axel is looking like it is, uh, you know, he doesn't want mob to get through. He he wants to you is this he's doing he's doing a Gandalf. You shall not pass right now. That's what he's doing. Him, him you were with... saying like Tide and come came back as as like a a white wizard instead. There was yeah, something there. There was, was there was a joke Gandalf. there somewhere. Uh, were you saying he's he's now Gandalf the White? That would have been much much better if I just said that instead. Yeah. So can we just can we take two? Yeah, uh, I pretend. All right. Yeah, so it's like he's doing like a Gandalf right now. Like you yeah, he's past. like coming back as uh, Gandalf the White now. But here we oh, are. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're going to the infinite stage now. Um, it's kind of what we expected. Um, mm -hmm. These Lars players uh, seem to do love um, heading out to the infinite. Yeah, this is a nice, this is a personal preference of a mob to go for the infinite. And the Koreans like to say you pick the infinite when you feel like you are just better than your opponent. You know, it's pure Tekken. You know, no real, no real nonsense happening with those walls. But um, Axor is still continuing. Uh, the low parry on the rage. No one expects that rage drive except Axor. He's the only one. <laughs> what a strong read, man. This guy now uh, sent pretty. Uh, one game and one round oh, up right now. Whack clash. I've actually never seen it connect before. <laughs> that's, okay. That's my favorite thing that's happened today. Okay. Whack clash. Great whiff punish there from Mob, and he gets a perfect. He's now waking up right back. Yep. Different time zones or something, man. Okay. Oh. Mix him up there. Excellent oh, step into the art class there. I say yeah. shout out to Axor as well. His profile picture is uh, Kai from the first ever series of Beyblade. And I don't know why, that makes me really happy. Like, <laughs> that, that original Beyblade was pretty cool. Oh, I said let it rip earlier on as well. I should have I should have held that. Yeah. Oh, the block on the down back four. Axor has just turned it up completely right now. What's the mix? Just the down back three. Oh my goodness, the warp strike from range 4 billion and Axor needs one more round to, to end Mob's dreams. He was the number one seed coming into this. No duck on back one two. Whacklash again. <laughs> this game is insane. I can't even commentate right now, man. This is crazy. Okay. Down for one. Oh, the up one counter here, Axor. Four, four, four. What's the Oki here? 
Don't back roll. There is the, the down forward two. He evades it. Yeah. Down back four. That was a risk there because you've seen him block those lows before. The up one gets the float. Forward, forward, forward. What's the Oki here? This could be it with the right option. Oh. Down back two. Oh. 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 <laughs> Wow. Uh, so, <laughs> um, uh, are, are we going to have to go back to maths or? By um, my calculations, which are correct 99% of the time, I do believe this means mob is out. Uh, can, we, I, can we go to the standings? Can we have a look at the standings I'm, here? I'm looking right now at the challenge and it is saying Lakomi has made it out. And Mob, ac Mob actually finishes in last place based on points. What? That is insane. Number one in the group is now last and, and will not be making it through. So, so what, what? So this is the thing. What hurt Mob the most? Going into this part of the day was his two-one win over Lakomi. Lakomi got a got a got a game in there, and that meant that he going into the final game had an advantage um, over Mob because Lakomi's other win over Axor was a two-zero, and Mob had lost to Strong. So, yeah, I think Mob at the end of the day, very unfortunate. You know, he was the number one seed. You're expecting to do very well here today. Um, but you know, it just wasn't meant to be. But you know, obviously, one thing we have to keep in mind, you know, Mob is still recovering from being hit by a car. <laughs> um, so I, I do, I do want to point that out there before people want to say Mob is washed or whatever. Like you know, he is, he is in, he is in recovery right now. But you know, he had, he had a great game today against Strog, one of my favorite games of the day so far. Yeah. But I think Lakomi, the way we've seen him today, you know, he's just been that exciting gameplay. I want, I can't wait to see more of that. Uh, in the top four as he makes it through and we get some polish representation yeah i'm um, so it looks like we are about to get ready for pool b ladies and gentlemen so that is headed by bumblebee we've got fran gerlanda and infection so this um, is this is the pool that's like got the the real the the representation that isn't from east europe originally i mean uh galanda currently living in bulgaria he is Italian by 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 uh, by birth, and mm -hmm. uh, Fran, uh, a Korean, currently living in Hungary. Um, so you know they're obviously residing in East Europe right now, which is why they are competing. And we're actually going to get Fran very first um, uh, on 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 the day, and we see that he's representing. I don't know what that city is. De can you, can you, De De someone is someone in chat will, will tell me about that. Yeah. Um, and which Tekken did he start? Was Tekken two? Favorite food, Korean chicken. He's been playing since the age of seven. They start very young over in Korea. And um, the player he respects the most is actually Bin Chang. Um, that's a that's an odd one. I I I have to disagree because Bin Chang is known as a legend in Korea. Um, Spag told me he once spoke to Saint, and Saint was just like, "You, yeah, Bin Chang is just like a legend over there. Like, and he's been really? that way for yeah. Bin Chang is a legend in Korea. They should like." Damn. Like, you know, that doesn't surprise me at all. Like, a lot of the older Korean players will, will definitely, like, mention Bin Chang as just, like, a legend. Like, this guy is amazing. Um, and he's going up against Galanda. This is a good... This is a good game to start the day, I have to say. I like... Okay, I think I like how his favorite food is true Italian pizza. <laughs> if you... If any of you guys, like, follow Galanda on tour or just, like... If you guys ever, like, just want to annoy Galanda, just show him, like, something weird on a pizza and he just responds in like the the funniest way possible like it's just it's just pure rage like i think it's pure rage like I remember someone once tweeted him uh a, a, um a video of like chocolate on a pizza Dang. and like he was not happy <laughs> like he was pineapple on pizza never show him that never never Dang. show him any of that like that's how you get the true rage uh from galando and I like how the yeah. player he respects most is Tishimon. You know, that's someone yeah. he, you know, helped him, you know, learn the game, was uh, a stalwart in Italy for a very long time when he was living uh, over in Europe, back in Japan right now. I mean, in general, you you ask a lot of players in Italy and just in Europe in general, like Tishimon is someone they they highly respect. You know, he is just, um, he, he's, he's, he's loved. 
you know, over here all yeah. over the world, really. So he's doing great in Japan right now. So do love to see him. Hopefully he returns to us one day. Um, absolutely lovely guy. Always smiling. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be our first game of the day, Sam. And I have to say, we talked about the banger in the other game being uh, Stroke versus Mob. I think this is the banger in this pool. Fran versus Galanda. Yeah, I mean, we've we've seen this matchup before in uh, the Intercontinental Fight Club and stuff, mm -hmm. I think, a couple of times. Um, but it is definitely, definitely so much fun. I love, like, uh, Fran's play style of just that, like, super, super fundamental and then, like, do something absolutely crazy. Just sit in your face and full crouch, like, you know, and with that, Anna, it's very, very dangerous. And what's interesting about these two as well, there is the potential we get a Ganryu mirror match. As, oh yeah uh there is a potential for that between these two so who who knows if i mean that's i'm sure that's what the people want right you know i'm sure that's <laughs> that's why everyone everyone came here to see is but you know i i think i think it i mean there is a there's a gamut of characters both these two can pick so fran could go for lily anna um Ganryu, feng or Alyssa. those like the yeah. main five i could really see and galanda could go for the katarina which he's known for he has lydia as well Ganryu. Um, very strong Julia. So, you know, there's there's going to be... From the character select screen, there's a lot going on between these two. Yeah, um, so, yeah, and this is obviously the match of, of the invaders, I guess. You know, Fran being originally from Korea, Galanda originally being from, from Italy as well. You know, not, not, not born in the Eastern European region, but, you know, representing them now um, for this event. It's going to be interesting to see how these two play out. And I think they, they both are big contenders for making it into the top four and also taking it all the way. Yeah, um, I think that this uh, Pool B is just a little bit more um, kind of tighter than Pool A. I mean, maybe there, there I mean, I don't, I, I can't even pick like a top two here out of these four <laughs> guys. Like, um, this is crazy. But we are going to Island Paradise getting a oh, yeah. random straight oh, away. Yeah. I love this stage. Yeah. Really great addition great. to Tekken. Um, I like the music. Round. Yeah, I like yeah. the music change on the, on the balcony break as well. Like, and the music changed early. And yeah, I think it would say contender for top two. These two would be my first two names, but Galanda, oh. who's already on the board with that block on the foreground down for two. Um, yeah, you see, that's what you need to do against Anana. You need to take away that that uh, hand sweep. It's just, it's uh, you'll have a much better time if you block the first one. Big hop kick as well. And this won't be the round, but it's going to be huge damage. Yeah. Okay, Francis, get away with me with the get up kick. Down for one keeps it safe as you like it. Yep. Okay. Here we go, Gerlanda. Oh, my that magic okay. board. Both these two swing right now. Not the best punishes from either of them. Could be their first games of the day. Okay, is this okay. gonna go to the wall? No, just shy. Not all the hits to the shredders. Okay. One, two, four. No duck. Okay, back nice. four. Is he gonna break? No, I think he wanted to there. Hop kick punish. Ooh, what Damn. is going on with these two right now? Yeah, they're just matching their faces off the controller, it would seem. <laughs> oh, nice. Music oh. switch. Here we go. Is, is Galanda trying to carry to the next wall? I don't think that's possible. No way. Surely not. Oh, oh but the 3-3-3-3-3-3-3 three, 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 Galanda. Two rounds up right now. All right. Oh, big counter hit. Should go to the wall clean. Wall spot as well. The forward forward three max, but the wall doesn't agree with Galanda getting the combo there yeah. for some reason. No, I didn't like it. Didn't like the idea. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, great. Down back three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just takes the grounded hit. Yeah. Oh, nice punish in the forward forward three. Okay, Sizer 3 gets the count it. Another one. Oh, but the hot kick from Galanda, and he is going to take the first game. Wow. 3 0 as well. I mean, mm -hmm. that's. Uh, I don't really know what to say there. 3 0 is, is huge right now for Galanda, especially coming up against Fran, um, who's definitely, you know, one of the, the kind of top players in this pool right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, this Galanda. is. This is this is the person that uh, Mob sent straight away. Mob was the first person to send someone away, and that was Fran. He was the first one because he was scared of Fran the most, scared of Fran more than Strog. And I think we can kind of see how that ended up um, biting him, you know, with, with his loss to Strog in his own pool. So 
um maybe the wrong decision there on the on the pool's pool's decision um because we're seeing you know galana play so well against fran right now like not looking up to his best and fran is someone also recovering from a, a collarbone injury um a lot of injuries in, the, in this top eight um here yeah, today what's going it, on in that region man i don't know it's just dangerous over there everyone stay safe in eastern europe um <laughs> collarbones and car and car accidents I, I don't know what's going on over there um so yeah great start there from galanda i have to say both of them two are looking a bit shaky with their punishment lanes some certain things go away um this might even prompt a character switch from fran and it does the Alyssa though mm. fran just plays everyone though doesn't he yeah, he plays a lot like, of characters then in yeah. tournament you know it's, it's mainly the five that i mentioned earlier he'll go for yeah. Um, so he's gone for the Alyssa here, you know, um, I think a bit of a tricky matchup for Katarina. I think being able to like move around her down for one a lot easier kind of changes things and you know, Alyssa has the ability to do that. Oh my god, here come the chainsaws. Here come the chainsaws. Already man, already we're getting into parity mode. I remember speaking to I believe Fergus about Alyssa's chainsaws and he just said, you know, the chainsaws seem kind of messed up when you don't know what's going on. But when you actually know what's going on, you realize it's actually worse than you thought. <laughs> she in, in Chainsaw, she literally has an option for everything as she uh, Fran wow. takes the first round. Yep. This uh, Chainsaw stands uh, really paying dividends here. Um, oh, great punish in the back four, four there from Galanda. Doesn't get the wall though. No, just barely. Four, 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 not stepping it there. You'll be ready for that against Katarina. Yeah, yeah. Galan doesn't want those chainsaws at all. Interrupts straight away. Doesn't want him to go get back to that stance. Magic four. Chainsaws are out again. Oh my god. Oh, no punish. Chainsaws are out again. Okay. No duck on the Harrier one. Galan is doing that a lot. Hopefully, Fran catches on to it. Down three into generic. Down four. Fran might get his own three right now. Yeah, I mean, this is getting a little bit messy now, guys. 3 over 3 0. Okay. Nice break on the throw. Ford Ford's no duck from Fran, but Yolanda Rez is not duck and just does it again. This might go to the wall. It just shy gets a little wall splat. On one, two, plus frames. Okay. Oh, magic four is the side we're going to come to play. It does, but yeah, nothing, uh, uh, yeah nothing Fran could do there. Fight. Yep. Okay. So no 3-0 there for Fran. Nice punish. The chainsaws are out. Oh. Puts them away. He's just like, look, I can do this, but I'm not going to do it right now. Punish <laughs> and the, the chainsaws are out. And here we go. Oh, All nice. Right. Full crash down forward four. Beats the high. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Back to you out of nowhere. Jesus. Oh, Chainsaws are out. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> and puts them away, but the low into the wild standing four. And Fran takes the second game. And it's looking like the uh it's looking like the chainsaws, the Alyssa was the right, the right decision there from Fran was seeing things really work out. Yeah, definitely. Um I mean there was a little bit of life there from Garlanda um, taking that round. Um, but that was a very scrappy round that Garlanda ended up taking. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it seemed like Fran just kind of settled in, um, chose the right character, or chose the character that was right for Fran. Um, and uh, yeah, took a very comfortable game right there, it looked like. Yeah, I think the uh, the switch was just the right decision there. And it's now going to put Garlanda in a situation. Does, does he think about a switch? Is this, he thinking about a change in character? Um, you know, he has the Julia, he has the Ganryu, you know, um, he has a Lydia as well. I think he plays Kunimitsu, but I don't know if he goes for that character tournament. So, you know, there's there's a lot of decisions that you can make here. And I think, like I said, from the character select screen, that's where the game begins between these two. They went for the mains, didn't work out. And now look what happened, you know, the Alyssa is taking out the Katarina. Yeah. Um, would maybe a, a stage be a little bit better? I mean, I suppose not really. I think, I think with I think with Katarina, if you pick a wall, a small wall stage, you know she's so, so much damage at the wall, especially with rage. You know things could really work out. So I don't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't feel like enough happened to prompt a character switch. It was mainly just like the chainsaw stuff that was getting to Galand. If he starts to deal with that better, he should be ready to uh, for this game. Let's see, but we're going to jungle outpost here. This is uh, the the stage. 
And we still yeah. call it that. Um, for the Just harangue. Pick, pick some camo as well in this stage. Yeah, pretty yeah, good. <laughs> Nobody can see what, what's going on. But Apparently people off. get really angry about that. <laughs> But do what you can to win. Nice hop kick there from Galanda. Is he going to break the balcony? Yes, he is. Might be able to yep. get to the wall as well. This is Katarina. This could be the round. Go what on. a combo from Galanda there. Sheesh. Damn. Okay. Here we go. Oh, the low parry. Two, the uh, wall clean, wall splat. Four, four, three. Doesn't get the low wall splat though. Magic four, Francis. Get off me. <laughs> Getting it up there. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, here come the chainsaws. Again, that full crash down for four is paying dividends for Galanda. Rage available for Fran. Finishes the string. The wall bounces, but the wall isn't oh. his friend. There was nowhere to be found. The rage up. What timing from Fran. Yeah. Absolutely perfect there. He takes a round for himself there now. 1-1 one, one to 1-1. One, one. Oh, the hop kick with Punish though. Galanda starting off again on the right foot. This could get a clean wall splat. 4 4 3. This time, there we go. Gets the low wall splat. That's 50% gone. Doc, it's so much damage, man. Like I said, those slow, those small walls, they give a lot to carry. The hop kick doesn't want to deal with the destroyer stance. And this is going to be the round for Galanda. One more to take our first game of Pool B. And it's just showing he didn't have to switch characters. Looking so no. good. Just made the adaptation. This is what character lo loyalty looks like in Tekken 7. All right. Here we go. Oh. Damn. Oh, big whip punch with the back four four. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. Chainsaws are out and Galanda does not want to deal with them. It's a float combo, so it's going to be too much. Oh, the special gear beats the low. Okay. That's no there. Ducking. Area one again. Yep. Three, four, no dot. Ugh, the side wall doesn't help there, but the mid, and we're going to a final, oh. final round. <laughs> it says game one, guys. Come on. Let us off a little bit easier, guys. All right. Yeah. What I imagined here. People oh. are taking their time a little bit more, but whoa. Okay. The hop yep. kick. Galanda does not care right yep. now, and this is going to be huge damage. All those down for once. He expects to get that side wall earlier. 1-1 one, one chain swords and the hop kick. Perfectly timed there from Galanda, and he is going to take our first game of Pool B. And I have to say, that hop kick was smart. That that destroyer down one was doing so much damage, that low, and just hop kick beast low. So keep doing it. And he takes it. I mean, it. yeah, Galanda, I think maybe hop kicked five times in that last game alone like and yeah. i mean very rarely like um didn't get through um but uh yeah looking looking incredible there now garlanda is on a tear man mm -hmm. he wants that uh he wants that uh that prize money man oh yes yeah, so it's a lot of prize money i've heard <laughs> Here we are, guys. We're looking at the standings now. Garlanda has now put himself at the top of the bracket and Fran at the bottom. But we still have to see Bumblebee and Infection um, play. Um, it is definitely not the uh, the end of the bracket run just yet. Okay, what oh, are yeah. you thinking, man? I mean, that's, that's only the first game of the day. I think judging on, like, their stature going into, like, this event, I'd say those two are, like, the scariest players in the pool. So... I think I think for those two things only get easier from here, but when easy is a players like Bumpy and Infection Infection, is it really that much easier? Like, you know, these are some scary players. Um oh, man. speaking of which first player, um we have Infection stepping up uh start playing in two thousand and eight. And look, his favorite food is also pizza. So you know, I'm not oh, the man. only one that put that as their favorite food, okay? There's there's more. <laughs> I guess it's different than a, uh, a Galan that he's a huge Galan who's a true Italian pizza. Like that's <laughs> that's 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 a step above. Um, and he finished third uh, in the regional rankings to get to this point. And I think in the uh, Masters event he actually finished uh, third again. So you know I think that's how he got his points to get to get to this point uh, to make mm -hmm. it towards the regional finals. And then he'll be going up against uh, Bumblebee for the first game. You know, we yeah. saw him pick uh, the character that's been playing since 2001. His favorite food is KFC. It's just the <laughs> just just the entire the entire menu. 
Um, Dude, look at his death stare, man. He's <laughs> ready to kill, man. That's, that's him looking at a KFC. He's like, it's time for me to, <laughs> time for me to, to get to my food. It looks like he's looking at my soul, dude. <laughs> Damn, man. I don't um, have nightmares. And I like oh. and and his his respected players are very uh, European. You know, he's got Strong, yeah. Eddie, and Sefi Black. You know, all strong players in their own rights. So, you know, so no surprises. They are all European champions at some point uh, in their lives. Yeah. So, so um, yeah, definitely uh, someone to watch out for. I think both of these two are very scary to watch out for. And I think it's uh, interesting when you saw Mob actually pick the pools. He said, "Well, there's two Russian players in my pool, so I'm going to put a Russian player in your pool." And he put Infection in there. And, you know, um, this is actually kind of good for Bumblebee, I'd have to say. When they played in the Regional Masters event, Bumblebee did beat Infection. Um, and it wasn't that close. So, hopefully, Infection's been doing his homework. Um, this is going to be a very scary um, uh, match for him. Considering, you know, going into this event, uh, Bumblebee has gotten the edge over him. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll have to see. This is the first time we, uh, I'm seeing uh, some of these players. Um, so it is. Uh, it's definitely interesting to see how they uh, they kind of shape up against each other. As far as kind of Eastern Europe, I wasn't uh, paying all that much attention. I'll be honest. Um, but uh, it's very very fun to kind of see these matches play out now and how the brackets kind of play. Obviously, I know Fran, I know Gerlanda and stuff. Um, but guys like Bumblebee and Infection, I uh, I'm just excited now. See more yeah. tracking. I mean, Bumblebee's Kunimitsu has been very scary to deal with. I think Kunimitsu in general is a scary character to deal with, I have to say. Um, especially at this point. You know, I think she is oof, she's she's very annoying to deal with. You know, um that two two stance is sorry, not two the this the two two string is just such a catch all move. You know, it yeah. does everything you need to do. It is tracking 12 frames. Um, and then once you get into the third hit, and then the, the final hit, she can cancel it into um, the Setsunagake stance. She can cancel it into the Teleport stance. Uh, she could do 2-2, uh, finish the string, then she does the last hit, which is only minus 10. If she doesn't do the last hit, and it's like you try and punish, and then you know, that 2-2 that, that, that string, I think we hopefully we see a lot of it from Bumblebee as something that makes the character very difficult to deal with. She has back two as a Power Crush, which starts up faster than other Power Crushes. Um, and it's just very annoying to deal with, you know, set stance, you know, set two over and over again. Like, I think Kunimitsu uh, is a very annoying character to deal with. And I think she can be quite difficult for King for, for most of those things that I mentioned there as well. You know, she can go under a lot of King's options. And one of King's worst matches is actually Ling because of her evasion and AOP. And Kunimitsu has some similar stuff in the way she can evade things. So uh, hopefully Infection knows his options going into this. Yeah, let's have a look at the character choices anyway. Yeah, um, we're we going to Dragon's Nest, a fairly small stage as well. So mm -hmm. maybe that might be Infection's uh, best plan here. Um, push her back to the wall and see uh, see what they're going to do under pressure. Yeah, you do not want uh, Kunimitsu to have the space to run around. It is not a good day. Definitely not. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game two of Pool B. Tekken Online Challenge, East Europe 2021. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Chopping, chopping. Oh, oh damn. Her. It's always important to see a king player break those. Yeah. They have to. All right. Nice punish and the wall setting three. Oh, nice up. Back one, two. Another punish. Well. Rage drive spent. Big mid. Yeah. Nice punish from the get kick into the giant swing and infection has brought this round all the way back. Yeah, I I like this. I like this. Um I know the uh TKC, the Tekken King collective or collection or whatever are gonna be watching with great envy. Um you don't really get to see much of Russia um here in uh, Western Europe, so uh definitely nice to, to see a little bit more uh King action going on. I mean, in general, Europe has so many strong King players to watch out for. You know, Batty yeah. and Schroding are the first two that really come to mind. Um, and there's so much tech between shared between all of the King players as well that makes the character yeah. scary to go against. Yeah. All right, set three. Nice challenge with the four, but the hop kick there from Bumblebee. Gets a clean wall splat. Full combo here. You no, know, drops it early. Freeze drive again. This is where he built the last comeback from. One alley kick. Oh, drop kick. Oh, too <laughs> impatient there with a spring kick. Yeah. Okay. That's fine, though. 
I think what's yeah. the one thing we're seeing from Infection is he's down but never out. He's really doing a good job of bringing these back. Damn, big DDT there. Started his offense off. Okay. Oh, one wow. plus two throw not broken. Don't back roll. Nah, gets hit anyway, but could have been worse. Nice. So he's getting the counter hit shove and going for back one, two instead of four, two, one or back three. I wonder why that is. Maybe to keep her closer, you don't really want to give her the space. Uh, you definitely don't want to let Konamitsu out of your sight as well, especially with the range that she can attack from. Yeah, but that was a nice duck in the third two there into the wild center court. Infection looking so strong right now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the back turn mid launcher. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, we're going for a cheeky setup right now. Yep. Oh, muscle buster. Duh. Die. You ever watch Ultimate Muscle? No. Oh. Uh, anime and the guy's main finish. Finishing. It was an anime about a wrestling guy and his main finish was the muscle buster. So it's pretty cool. All right. Oh man, a lot of whips coming out of infectious or yeah. infection. I don't oh. know if uh oh, the break. doesn't break the throw and that's gonna be all tied up. Fine around first game. Yup. Okay, sly dudes. No duck on the string there, but Ooh. I think has so many strings you have to worry about. One plus two throw not broken again by infection, and Bumbley is now caught onto that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, two. if you can. This is the 2 2 string you were talking about, Chaos. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Infection make this comeback already in this game, but a third time would have been too much to ask for, and Bumbley yeah. takes the first game. But Infection is still looking good, though. I feel like the main thing that is killing him here, the 1 plus 2 throw. You have to break that 1 plus yeah. 2 throw. I mean, a king that can't break throws seems um, like the, the start of a knock knock joke or something. Um, like, uh, you need to, you absolutely need to. I mean, I know it is a little bit more difficult online, but, um, yeah, I mean, I mean he, he hasn't broken a single one plus two throw. I mean, that is yeah. a very scary sign going into this because we've seen Bumble just abuse it over and over again. And here's the absolutely. thing this, this is something King players do a lot as well, and I think it might start happen to infection is when you're not breaking throws and you start to lose that confidence in breaking throws, you start ducking. And that's when mids become really scary. You know, Kinemitsu, she can start doing that hop knee. Um, mm. uh, that back too. I mean, she has some scary mids to look out for. So, I got this, like, can't break those throws. I, like, I mean, it's, it's something, it's a very fundamental skill that I think some people really gloss over and don't pay enough attention attention to. Um, but yeah. when someone notices they, that you're not breaking throws, they hone in on it. And that's exactly what we're seeing Bumblebee do here. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see what Bumblebee can do now. Um, going into game two between these two. I don't know. Um, what are you thinking, uh, KOS? Like, I mean, what would you do in that Interesting that he didn't go for the Forgotten Realm. Yeah. God, I, I don't understand what's going on here uh, all that much, KOS. Help me. Help me. Why did he pick it? I mean, so some people, it's just a comfort thing. You pick a stage, you're just comfortable, more comfortable on you. Like the stage, you like the music. You know, for, I used to genuinely, I used to only pick Jungle Outpost 2 because I liked the music more than anything. Then the presets got added and Brian got the camo. And I was like, oh, now another reason to pick Jungle Outpost 2, but a great parry there from Infection into the ground throw. Do ground throws. Yeah. Shout out to Brawl Pro. Okay. Oh, right. they should go if, back to oh. the balcony, break it. Tailspin's oh, still available. This is going to be big damage. Oh, giant swing back to the wall. No, breaks it. Nice. Really, really weird. And yeah. the power. What? Oh, Good option there. Straight through. Yeah. And um, doesn't want to deal with it. Okay. So, yeah, I there think Infection maybe should have just continued his combo then. Got the guaranteed damage. But I like what he was thinking there with the giant swing there, which was to put uh, Bumby right back to the wall. Yeah, I think a lot of this is how much space are you willing to give to Konamitsu? Um, and Infection seems to, the answer to that question seems to be absolutely none whatsoever. Um, not giving her any space at all. Very little backwards movement there coming out of Infection. Nice duck, but Konamitsu just says I'm out of here. <laughs> Damn. Good for two guaranteed. 
infection. Can he make another wonder comeback? It's looking a bit too difficult. Big oh. whiff, but no punish. Oh, God. No. Oh, man. I was just thinking, when is the low going to come? I definitely would have got hit by that. Okay, slide you. Start it off. Okay. Oh, the 2-2. Two, two. Here it comes. That spring so difficult to deal with. Going to put Infection in Rage. Nice block on the low. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that could have been huge yeah. right there. Damn, that man. down forward 3 plus 4. So good. Yeah. And then Bumby only needs one more round to get on the board first. This is our second seed going into this one. With our first seed already out, it's up to Bumby to carry that top two weight. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Straight one. back in. Oh, one throw not broken this time. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking a little bit dangerous now for Infection. Potential final round of this game here. Oh, oh forward, forward, okay. neutral two going under the two. Mm hmm. Forward, forward, neutral two again. Oh, oh no, that's gonna Damn. be all in the back. Oh that no. Was such a huge mistake from Infection. Look at the damage it cost him. Yeah. And the oh, two, wow, two, he tried. Yeah. Yeah, he tried something absolutely huge there. You could see it. It was the down jab into the rage drive. Um, or maybe it was just the start of the big unblue version of it. Um, but it uh, didn't work at the end. Konamitsu was just fast enough to, to be able to interrupt. Um, I mean, that's kind of all she wrote. Very mm -hmm. quick 2-0 there. And Infection is now 0-1 and one on the standings. Um, if we can bring those up yeah. now, we should have... Um, yeah, 1-1 one, one, uh, or 1-0, 1-0, 0-1, 0-1. So this is uh, um, kind of shaping the bracket, how how it looks like it's going to be here. Um, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know. count uh, Fran out at this point. I mean, I wouldn't count anyone out at this point. I mean, even though Infection lost, still looking pretty good here today. I mean, the only thing you don't really want to do is uh, lose 0-2, I think, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, definitely not. You you don't want to lose 0-2. Um, but, I mean, unfortunately, somebody has to. Um, well, I mean, you, uh, you, you don't really have to, I suppose. But, I mean... These, these players are just so good that, I mean, you're going to get an 0-2 um, somewhere in this tournament. Um, Infection already down 0-2. Uh, Fran, I mean, what's our next match? It's got to be what? Uh, Gerlanda versus... Uh, the next match is going to be Bumblebee will be staying on. He'll go up against uh, Fran and we'll be watching that very soon. But what you guys uh, can also do to watch and pay attention to things is attention to or don't pay attention to that segue is uh <laughs> all of the socials uh uh that we have here over at tekken and bandai namco uh, entertainment bne esports on uh twitter and youtube and tekken on twitter twitch and facebook uh my segues are definitely need some work here today um <laughs> no, I'm at not, the top tier top yeah, tier yeah. I mean, you know what let's 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 take a short break and, and i'll go work, work on my segues and when we get back we'll be getting to some more action from paul b
Why do Nina and Anna hate each other? I think one's a better assassin than the other, right? Who do you think is better? I honestly think Nina's better. Why? Okay, I, I, be, before we answer the question why they hate each other, why are you hating on Anna? Look, I just think Anna rubs it in. Nina, she's trying too hard. Nina's just trying to live out here. And I feel like Anna is the one who goes out of our way to mess with Nina. Like, that's, that's just my perception of I could be wrong. And that, to me, I feel like that just means Nina is more about her business. You know how I know she's about her business? Because she had a whole nother game outside of the fighting genre to let people know that she's about killing people. Death, death by, death degrees. by degrees. Okay, okay. Interesting reasoning. All right, so you're, you're using accolades. You're using accolades. So this is my personal take on why they hate each other. So Nina, she succeeded her father in being an assassin. Okay, okay. For the country. He died, and Anna felt that it was Nina's fault that she died. Obviously, they had that confrontation in front of his grave. They mm -hmm. ended up slapping each other. They slap That's each true. other every single they game, right? Slap. They, they do, even have it, special slaps in the game. They got special slaps. Yeah. How can she slap? Go on. So, that being said, Anna has always taken it very personally to, to not only go above and beyond her sister, but also be that person to be in her way. She has always been trying to block or stop her from doing her job. So Nina was put in, uh, after Kazuya captured her, okay. Kazuya's version of the Mishima Zawatsu captured her, put her into cryo sleep from between Tekken 2 and Tekken 3. Anna voluntarily put herself into cryo sleep just so she could come out the yes, same so time to battle Nina when she came back out. That's crazy to me. That's real like, right, like, right like, 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 Nina's out of the picture and you're like, you, you know, let sleeping dogs lie. Like, you know what? Let them do their thing. She was like, nah, freeze me too so I can beat her up when I get out. You said she Th did what? That's why I Put think... Put me in the tube. That's why I think I wanna Anna's go in better. The tube. That's why, that's why think you think Anna's she's, better? She's that's not, pettiness. She doesn't need to be an assassin. She's just being an ass. And I like that. I, I don't like that. That's... That, that's why I said... That's why I said Nina's that's better. better and, oh. That's why I said Nina's better. She's just trying to live out here. We're gonna have to agree to disagree here, but I think that's why they hate each other. Obviously, they, it stems back. It's a family thing, you know. Family things are very complicated. I don't want to really say who's right and who's wrong, but I'll just say who's better, and I think it's Anna. <laughs> what? What is up, ladies and lads? Welcome back to Tekken Online Challenge Regional Finals for Eastern Europe. And K was joined by Sam Diding. Sam, who's your favorite sister, Nina Rano? I think that Nina, Nina, it, it's got to be Nina. I mean, she, she's the main Williams sister. Yeah, I would agree. I think she's, I think she's the best sister. I have to say, you know, if it played Death by Degrees, I played that game. You know, it was pretty. I didn't, I didn't was, play I, Death by I, Degrees. I, I thought it was cool when I was a kid. I probably, it probably doesn't hold up today. Probably not going to go back and ever play it, but it was fun when I was younger. And you're Irish as well, so you have a connection to the yeah. character. Yeah. I was literally just saying it there. I, I've never seen a least or a least I, less Irish name than uh, Anna Williams, and Richard Williams is their dad. Yeah, uh, like good old Daddy Dick. Like you know, I mean, it's uh, it's. What did I don't you know. Say? I, 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 I mean, what did Dick? You it's short for Richard. Daddy Dick. Mm -hmm. It's short for Richard. I know. Did you never heard that? No. No, I I have, but like. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe, okay. maybe there's, maybe there's something going on with my hearing because it's definitely not Dude. these headsets I'm wearing. Because we have to do a quick shout out to nice. the official headset and mix up for the Tekken Online <laughs> Challenge. Like I said, we're gonna take a break, work on the segways, and then there we go. You know, like, you know, just, just had to, had to, had to throw that one in right there. That and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and honestly, um, honestly, Sam, I have to say, so you, you got rid of the, the moustache recently, you know. Um, but I have, to, I have to say, even still, you're still looking pretty good. But you'd look even better wearing some nice Tekken merch. After oh, oh wait, my. he did it again. Wait, you he did it again. You are on fire. <laughs> he did it again, back to back. Okay, um, but yeah, take a look at some of these good ass Tekken <laughs> t-shirts. <laughs> We got all the colors, all these, these are some of the most popular characters as well, you know. And the Steve one's pretty good, people enjoy that one. Uh, Armor King is one of like the most played characters like online. So this is his second really? time featuring on one. Yeah, he's one of the most popular characters um, oh, yeah. in general. So, and this is, you know, his second time featuring on a t-shirt, makes sense. Kunimitsu, 
such a popular character since release you know really friendly yeah. uh, for people to get into and yeah you know Jin main character depending on who you are some will say Jin some will say Kazuya um, but you know main character and who you ask and so yeah these these shirts are pretty cool and Josie one of the most uh, loved newcomers to this game yeah absolutely but remember guys you can just scan that QR code in the bottom right of your screen or head over to tenno.gg slash merch if you want to pick up one of those um, t-shirts and uh, look as cool as we do with mm -hmm. or without mustaches you know mm -hmm. but we yeah. are back to the pools right now Bumblebee uh, sitting on top of that pool but it is still early days everybody still has two more games to play we've got Garlanda then in second Fran down in third not uh, uh, ready to, to leave this uh, this pool just yet needs to climb one more position there and infection down at the bottom I don't yeah, know. I mean, okay, Wes, it's looking tight. Ooh, I mean, damn, that's there. Yeah, we got Bumblebee coming right back up. Favorite character, Kinemitsu. You know, we see that in the way that he plays. And I think before Kinemitsu came out, he was rocking the Ling. Um, but it's now gone to the Kinemitsu. And like myself, start playing Tekken in Tekken 3. You know, been around for a long time. Uh, going up against Fran. So Ooh. this is an important game right now. Um, Bumblebee coming off a 2-0 win. And Fran coming for 2-1 loss so a win here really opens up this pool for fran um but if bumblebee yeah. takes this one especially if he takes his one 2-0 um he'll be looking in prime position to make it out of the pool yeah absolutely and um, what uh this is uh the man I, I was about to say this is a really important game but i mean i think they all are now at this stage of the tournament yep. every game you, you you can't even afford to drop a game in a best of three like, I mean, we, we saw the, the, the kind of weird splits there in the last pool and between the two O's and the two ones and the one twos and the, you know, zero and twos. It's been it's been absolutely insane. So I think every almost every round counts now um, kind of towards the uh, who's actually making it out of the pools. Remember, guys, we do have a prize pool of six thousand dollars for each of the european finals and um, we are here in east europe today and the winner takes home 50 percent of that that is for you're gonna say fifty thousand uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> in some currency that i don't know the exchange rate of but oh, uh i mean definitely uh, i'm gonna make up a currency maybe right like now, maybe like polish is a lot to you i feel like that could that could translate to maybe Can you imagine if it as perfectly as that but yes i'm, I'm gentlemen, actually going to look this up now you handle the commentary for a bit then <laughs> all right cool <laughs> so we are here in jungle outpost on random the k wis stage um we got fran repping that korean flag always a dangerous flag in terms of uh tech and play and look at that man it's uh, twelve thousand oh. in polish slotty damn twelve thousand. so not close, thousand. but still kind of close, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, we get them closenesses. Yep. Obviously, right. Fran, and the Korean. Korea. Break. Yeah, that's going to be causing a lot of trouble. If I'm hit, if I'm Bumblebee, I'm going to keep doing that throw today until people show me that they're ready to break it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just threw it out there. No problem. Yeah. Great use of the stance there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One, Very two. quick round here. Yeah, but oh, damn. Damn. Yeah, Bumblebee is feeding <laughs> himself. Yep. Obviously, Fran is the Korean residing in our bracket, but you know, currently residing in Hungary, is not playing from oh Korea. But the way he's not breaking throws, maybe he is playing from Korea. I don't know. Yeah, you got that uh, that transcontinental uh, Wi-Fi connection going on right now, man. What a block! Oh my God! We are ready to play Tekken here today, ladies and gentlemen. Regional finals, big whiff there. Could have got a lot more, but doesn't even matter. Ooh, I mean, Bumblebee is continuing on that man. I can't even English. Continue on the momentum from his last game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is a really important game. If Fran wants oh. to be in a chance of making it out of this pool, he needs to start breaking those one plus two throws and stop Bumblebee on this absolute tear that he's on. All right. This is getting... What a block on the full crouch down for two. Combo adjust is pretty nice as well. Oh. Jump tech. Manji kicks back two. Nice punish, but things are still not looking good right now for Fran. Has a huge comeback to make. And Bumby is just getting away. Down forward three plus four to take the first game. And Bumblebee's momentum is palpable right now. This is this is crazy. Uh I mean that's 
like Fran now teetering the line between not making it out of this pool. And I mean, if you saw these names kind of lined up, you're kind of picking Fran as, as you know, definitely in the top two. Um, Fran maybe was the, the best. Fran was the per first person moved by the top seed. He was the first yep. one. Mob said, I do not want to play against Fran. I'm going to move him over to Bumblebee. And, and now we're seeing, you know, Fran on the verge of elimination. But, I mean... What are we thinking about Fran then? I mean, it's almost kind of guaranteed that Fran is going to change characters. But what are we imagining here against the Kunamitsu? What's good against Kunamitsu? I just really want to see a Ganryu today. I do um, think he might. I mean, I think the three main picks that we have in his back pocket right now are going to be the Lily, the Ganryu, and the Alyssa. We saw how yeah. the switch to Alyssa worked earlier. It did work out. Could be yeah. something that he goes to. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know what's on the mind here for Fran. Might even stick with Yana. Oh, the here we Ryu, go. Yeah. Here we the go. Fran Ryu, if you will. Fran Ryu. I like it. I like it. Um, DEAC hackers representing. It's really weird that that team name has the word hacker in it. it just kind of throws me off every time. Like, you know. Uh, but they're going to the arena. They're indoor fireworks right there, ladies and gentlemen. Very dangerous. Um, we got the flame jets and stuff. All right, and they are off, ladies and gentlemen. Damn! Oh my god, Bumblebee does not care. Doesn't care about your character switch. Okay, I mean... Ooh. Now, one thing we have to keep in mind when it comes to Franz Gamryu, uh, and actually the Korean style gen Gamryu in general, is just throwing up that down forward two you see right there. Um, mm -hmm. It is such a strong move to use. It is only minus 11 on block. It has follow-up, so you can make it safe. And... I mean, not against Bumblebee, it's safe, because it'll just do the full crash low. So that's something to keep in mind um, <laughs> already right now. Down for two again. Follow-ups late on the punish this time, though. Down for two. Down for two again into the follow-ups. Yeah. One shield wiper doesn't hit. Uh, finish the last hit. Oh, wow, right. out of there. Oh, yeah, nice board. Oh, the launch race drive. This should that's be... That's dead. Yep, that oh. is dead. Um, Ganryu has a serious amount of wall damage um, in this game with that. Oh, damn! The big low launcher. Oh, but drops the combo. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And another throw not broken. Bumblebee is just giving those out like they're sweet. Okay. <laughs> Sliding in on his belly. That's that Fran Ryu. Okay. Set three. No challenge from Fran. Now for two, the dark late on the punish there. Yeah. Um, it is very difficult to punish that move because of the extensions that you can kind of just keep it in the one, two, one, yep. two, one, two after it. Um, and the down for two is the duck late on the punish this time. So whiffs completely. <laughs> and Bumblebee is going to be on the board. This is crazy. But we're not seeing out of Fran, uh, a really, really strong tool for Ganryu that we always need to be aware of is a move called Kick and Pull. It's a low poke, um, but you have to be very, very close um, to make it work. But uh, we seek Saints. I mean, as I'm talking about a move that Fran could be using, Bumblebee is already on a tear and gets a perfect against the what was the one of the more contentious players in the region sent over to this bracket straight away and bumblebee has done his homework ladies and gentlemen according to mob this is probably the scariest player you know the person he sent straight away and could go down 0 and 2 to start the day and it's looking very likely i mean huge comeback to be made here in the down four twos can be so hard for fran to make this comeback yeah definitely very very difficult down for one two, no punish because he's scared of that final hit. Okay, oh. and down for two connects. Going to be extra damage because of the rage, but you know it's it's the first step of many. Thousand palms. Oh, uh, uh, okay. uh. Oh, God, and, oh, sheesh! I, I feel like the the comeback was feeling. It was almost there. I almost. feel like we could we could see it starting up, but you know at the end, just taken by Bumblebee and Bumblebee. What with two two oh wins. Uh, I think is the same position as Stroke right now. Probably almost guaranteed through, barring any uh, you know, acts of God. <laughs> I feel like, you know, the way the way things are things are looking up right now, the, the standings will, you know, will, will, will tell us the truth in a moment. As we see yeah. right there. Yeah, I mean God, that's not good right there. That is not good right there.
I mean, um, it, you know, if Bumblebee, you know, I think loses his love. I think the only way for Bumblebee to not make it in right now is to lose 0-2 his final game and for Galanda to win his next two games 2-0 and Infection to win his next two games 2-0. But I feel like that's... I mean, but infection. Oh, I'm not going to do the mass again. Never do mass. This is this is a lesson. This <laughs> is a lesson. You talk to, yourself into a a lesson right now. to every commentator out there. Never do <laughs> maths on stream because you will be wrong, and the chat will make fun of you. So just never try and do maths on stream. Yeah. Although Spag can, Spag just seems to know. He's like, all right, if there's a, if it's a, a westerly breeze and it's a <laughs> Thursday, uh, Bumblebee will uh, get out like and stuff. You know. Yeah, be, he, he's been doing this lot longer than me so he he's allowed to he, he's allowed yeah. to break the rule um Damn, and Galanda first... looking like fred durst right now man and um, got that true italian pizza as we were talking about favorite yeah. character roger jr that seems like a like a, a curveball um and... i think he used to play in tag 2 he played roger and someone i believe um i don't I think roger, roger, and Alex. roger and julio something i can't remember um I remember that true Italian piece is is important. It has to be true. Like, if you never get into, if you want to, if you want to like lose an argument, regardless of whether or not you're right, just argue with Galanda about pizza. Regardless of whether or not you're right, you will lose the argument because Galanda's passion about pizza is absolutely insane. Um, and infection, he's going up against infection. His favorite food is just pizza. Just pizza. You know, I, I don't think Galanda will be happy about that. Just pizza. Excuse me. Where the not true Italian, I think Galand is already mad going into this game right now. <laughs> yeah, he's coming in with that that hot Italian fire in his yep. bed right now. Um, just uh, getting that uh, does you know frozen Iceland pizzas. You know you get ten for like oh, two no. pounds or something. Do, like do not show Galand one of those. I... <laughs> um, but yeah, infection. We saw him earlier on. Had a little bit of trouble with throw breaking and. You can be sure that Gerlanda is definitely watching the stream. Um, so he's he's probably going to know that and go into this next game uh, and just start like putting hands on uh, Infection and seeing what he can do. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the... You, you, that's the one thing about this round robin format as well. You get to watch your opponents play before you play them or, you know, just get, gather some data. I mean, the later you play someone, uh, the better chances you have because you have to be able to pick up data throughout watching them play. Um, and the yeah. one thing I saw from Infection is just not breaking that one plus two throw at all. So if I'm Galand, I'm gonna take that to the moon. You yep. know, that's that's exactly what I'm gonna gonna start working with. Is like, you know, that's one, that's what they want to test. Are you gonna break throws in this game? If he doesn't, you've got to ride that until it breaks. Absolutely. Um, like teach him, teach him how to uh, how to break throws. Yeah. Do it, do it while we're in a tournament. Um, I'm, I'm honestly glad like Anakin isn't here because he. When when he sees people not break a throw, like it, I feel like it breaks his heart a little bit inside, especially at like the later stages of the tournament, like around the top eight. Like I think it breaks his heart a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm glad he doesn't have to witness this. Yeah, poor guy, poor guy. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, chatter just talking about pizza right now. But we are getting into the pizza war of this pool. It's True basically... Italian pizza versus just pizza. This is yeah. an important. This is important right now. Yeah. Um. Everybody rocking their mains. Um. Gerlanda going with the Katarina, and of course Infection going with that signature king. Let's see what we've got. Round oh. one. Shaping up right now. Okay. Yeah. Down four three plus four to start off. Nice, nice. on the forward four two four. That's something we did not see Fran do at all. Infection does it straight away, sending yeah. a message. Definitely, you won't get away with that here. That's what he just said there. No throw attempts just yet from Ooh. either player. The Harrier four gets the wall bounce. Galanda takes the first round. Yo, fight. Now let's see. No. Oh. Test him with that 4 4 1 an absolute Ooh. dangerous tool. Instant shining wizard. Yeah, right in his face. Yo. Okay. Rolanda had a very almost easy game at the at the start of this uh tournament now. So let's see what if that's gonna affect him. But oh nearly gets the re-splat there. Oh, but the 3 3 3, this could be it. No, one more oh. hit does it. And the jab string to end it. Rolanda two rounds up straight away right now. Yep. 
Infection just uh, looks a little bit lost here in this game, but wow, tricks him. Yeah, big back one. Okay. Moonsault, perhaps no. Keeps it safe. Forward four over the low. Nice. This is so much damage. Look at that for a grab. Oh, big whip, but no punish. Infection just back dashing. Had a forward two on opportunity. That could have been the round. Mm. I like this. Infection just kind of slowing the pace. He doesn't need to do anything special. Um, we saw this a lot with Strog's gameplay. Um, just get the life lead and then back it off. But wait a minute, Corlanda is swinging it back just a little bit. Forcing Infection into doing something here. Oh, no, it was safer at that range. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what? Oh, the big wrist there and the full crash down forward four. That is launch on block where Galanda believed in his read there. Takes the first game and continuing on his momentum. And for Infection, it's a bad spot to be in right now. You, know, yep. you haven't got a game yet. You're, you're down 0 and 1. You kind of need this. And uh, Galanda's not giving him anything. No, definitely not. And I mean, especially in round robin, you can't. You can't afford to. I mean, we saw Frank kind of do it. Starting matches with uh, with Anna's and stuff. And then switching out to, to different characters. And seeing like, you know, oh, maybe I should try. I think a little bit more homework needs to be done. This Every game is so important. We saw it in Pool A. And it's about to shape out in Pool B. Only two players out of the four are making it out of the pool. Mm -hmm. And that's only to get into top four. I mean, we, we saw it in the other pool as well. Like, it's so important. Like, getting, even though, you know, Infection's lost the first game here, is not out. He can still win this game 2-1. We mm -hmm. saw in the first pool how important two O's are because that's kind of the reason Strug is, uh, uh, sorry, Mob uh, is out right now. Yep. So, you know, for Infection, you know, even if he takes this game, he's, the road is, is it's kind of bleak from here. It's, uh, yeah, it's, um, and he's looking. the infinite stage. I don't know about that. Um, I mean, surely Forgotten Realm is definitely going to be better. If you're not changing characters, I mean, yes, Katarina does have a lot of wall damage, but like, that's the thing. Like, yeah, like Katarina does is crazy. Oh, there we go. Instant really? back three, just frame. Drop oh, Kogan, leg. leg drop. Okay. Just does a little bit of tango it's, dancing. It's not exactly like he was dying at the wall all the time. Like one situation he got wall yeah. bounce, but like for the most part, the wall wasn't his enemy there. Oh my the god, Trilanda just letting it rip right there. Big hop kick. Gonna put a lot of damage on the board now. Put put him into rage. Oh, counter hit shove. I think he tried to get the, the, uh, the CD1 there, which uh, is a very tight combo, but it would have guaranteed a rage drive. I respect the attempt. Yeah, it's uh, it seems a bit late in the day now though for infection to start uh take risks, drops a leg on him again. That's a heavy leg as well. Look at that damage. He's under the throw again, that full crest down for is paying dividends right now, but the hot kick from infection, not out of it yet. No, definitely not, but has given Gerland a rage right now. Storms on him. Watch that. Watch that rage. Whoa! Whip. Big power crush. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. One to one here now. Infection looking a little bit stronger now in this game. Oh, yes. There we go. Blocking it. Okay. Big steps. <laughs> that, uh, that hop kick. Oh, giant swing. Mm -hmm. Let's see, do we have the tech? We yeah, do. Fix it. Oh, oh, back three. Damn, man. Owl crush again. Yeah, he loves ending rounds with that. Garlanda is going to um, kind of see that and uh, just be very, very aware of that, um, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Nice. Welcome oh, to the Harrier one. Nice, that leg. Oh, some low kick. kick. Oh. Okay. Uh, even on live, slightly for Garlanda. Getting bigger. Oh, oh the, back what? the punish what? infection! <laughs> this could be it! This could be it! Oh, oh last no. one! Oh. Patience and oh, the down God. three infection makes us completely eat our words on him picking the infinite stage as he as he takes the game. Yeah, uh I mean what 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 can I say about uh about that last series of events, just a random moonsault. Um, yeah. Blocking the low. It was, a, it was yeah. a, as they say, it was a setup, you know. Um, it was a great, it was great backdashing from Galan, I have to say, to get a range of the moonsault. 
Mm. Um, but then you know the the four crash down for four. Like I said earlier, is for is launch on block. Got the launch, got the combo. Left Galanda with one more tiny pixel to stay alive, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, ended it. You know the infinite stage actually worked out for infection, even mm. though we we questioned the decision. I always say pick a stage, um, mainly based on your own strengths than your your opponent's strengths. Um, and look like maybe that's what the infinite is for uh infection you know he, yeah. maybe he enjoys playing that infinite space for a while i mean his whip punishment with the with the power crush was pretty good you know using that spacing very well so um it's a good start but i think galan is just going to pick a smaller stage now katarina is so good with those walls and plays the damage is insane so yeah um so with that i think maybe um it puts him in a much better position uh to win or to uh to kind of stay above fran here now because infection is down in third with minus two points not you know what i'm actually just what did i say what did i say about doing uh, mass on yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did i say <laughs> all right but here we go forgotten realm this we've seen this stage a lot today i mean galanda likes to pick the stage from what we've seen and we've had it on random a few times look, look at yeah. the cockatoo in the background yeah Oh, what is that, we, is that what a do we team? agree with? Oh no, gets the counter get Ugh, counter hit. Um, should have let it uh, rip. Okay. Oh, nice job. Nice Double oh, the hop kick to chase down. Very nice. McCall. Is it is something McCall? I think that's what someone said once to me. This is something McCall. Yeah. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> it's a cockatoo to me. I don't even know what a cockatoo is. Cockatoo. All right, but well, here we go. Sorry, we're we're done board watching. All right. Nice punish. Infection gets a lot of magic at that running knee, but big magic for to the wall. Damn. Jump over, but he's man. He manages to block the ditch up there. Okay. Oh, oh my no. god! Galanda's hop kicks today have been absolutely insane and it puts him on set point here. Yep, he just places them so well. I don't know how he does it. And I actually think if Galanda wins this one, Infection and Fran are out. <laughs> don't do the maths, don't do the maths. No, it's, 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 it's literally two wins for both uh, Bumblebee and Galanda and it's impossible for Infection or Fran to get two wins. I think, I think this could seal the fate of Infection and Fran. Damn. Big match. We're going downstairs. What? What's the option here? Oh, and he gets the wall. Yeah. What? So good at doing that. The what? stomp. Is this it? Is Fran gonna seal? Is Galana gonna seal his spot in the top four? Oh, big what? It does nothing. He had a four-two one. He, he gets the wall split anyway. It's fine. Reset. Okay, Reset. Harrier one. Okay. And one, two plus frames. The pressure. Oh. No. It's all going to come down to the three, 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 three. And I believe Galanda will take a look at the standings in a second to, to sort of confirm my, my thinking. But I do believe that that does seal Galanda and Bumblebee in the uh, top four. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Because I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take my own look as well to make sure. Yes. Yeah. With Four, two, yeah, three, yeah, the, the standings will sh yeah the standings will show up in a second, and I I will show you. Yeah, everyone will see that I was right. Um, with Bumblebee and Galanda both two zero instead of zero, and like it's impossible with one game left for everyone. It's impossible for Fran and Infection to match G Galanda and Bumblebee. So yes. the the only game left that is important is Bumblebee and Galanda, and the winner of that will be getting first place. This this is a very simple pool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like how uh, Galanda also said, uh, ain't no Papa John or Domino that will dethrone me. <laughs> it, it, it's the true Italian pizza the whole way through. The the entire way through it is that true Italian pizza. Like, that's that's what he is rocking, so. Dude, I'm going to only the best, like, whenever it's back on. And I, I need to try some of that true Italian pizza because, I mean, if it's making them fight like this, um, 2 0 in his pool, and mm -hmm. this could be good, yeah. So, obviously, this is the pool as well. With uh, like I mentioned, it's the in the Eastern European invaders, you know, because Galanda, um, by heritage is Italian, but currently residing in Bulgaria, and Fran, by heritage, is uh, Korean and is currently residing in Hungary. Um, so those two, um, 
have been you know competing in eastern europe eastern european circuits for like a while now and to the point they're able to get enough points uh, to make it here to the east european uh regional finals for the tekken online challenge and galan has been such a beast today he's someone who i'd say is looking very good to go all the way but bumblebee i think that galan versus Bumble bumblebee game will say a lot but we have to put that on hold right now because next time we've got infection uh coming back up to the plate um yeah this is know. a pride match now i think for him yeah he definitely doesn't want to go out as the kind of um and i mean fran fran has not had a great showing today um i don't know did he wake up on the wrong side of the bed or something um I, is he wearing a thumb ring there or something or is he holding a bottle i can't see in that I, picture I, but, I, but i believe um, he's, hold, he's, he's holding driver. <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's holding something um but yeah is is also really telling as well you know like he says his favorite um player he respects most is also is obviously bin Chang. you know like i mentioned earlier like if you like the the like korean like older school players like they they regard bin Chang as such a legend um in korea you know i'm talking to spag about this and he was like he talked to saint and saint was just like yeah like bin Chang's been a legend in korea for like ages so you know it's it's very telling to i think it, it shows like brands like legacy and in, in in the scene has been around for a while that like if, if he picks bin chang you know that just shows like he, he's been around the block for a while so yeah. you know and but yeah these two not had the best showing here today this is just a this is a constellation match for these two um they yeah just unfortunate performances performances from these two and fran has decided to go out with the panda oh my feelings that hurt my feelings Damn, man. I mean, do you know what's the worst thing about it? I know Fran has definitely practiced this. Definitely. This is going to be a, like, this isn't a troll pick. This is not a troll pick. Fix your beret, little panda. All I right. Fran, I think Fran just understands that this game is... Can't can't really qualify. So, pick the panda. Yeah. Uh, Big booty. It seems to be working. Um, <laughs> Somebody stop this panda, man. Tekken World Tour Finals. Panda? Oh, random one plus two. Damn! Hello, Harry? KO. Um, so, interesting fact about uh, the bears. When they go into that hunting stance and move forward, it is an automatic low parry. Um, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, Damn. armor beats the throw. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What? The one job uh -huh. hit and the two didn't. That was yeah, so the, weird. For some reason, Panda's down back two whiffed and King just did forward two. This is a strange game. Yeah, oh, great luck, Harry. Okay. Nice. Good combo. Okay. Breaks the knee. Good break. Okay. Damn, jumping jabs. Oh, Sir, no, you're dominant. To the wall. the side wall, though. I think no he pushed way. the button. Oh, he nah. didn't. Nah, the growling I heard was actually King, not uh, Panda. <laughs> Dude, Tekken's great. When would you ever see this? A, a giant fighting panda bear versus a... A, ma a man in a jaguar mask. Yeah, but who that, actually makes jaguar yeah, noises. That, that managed to somehow sound exactly like a jaguar. That's got to hurt his throat, man. Oh, oh. no launch there yeah, from infection. Uh, I mean... Okay. It, Damn, it does so much damage, that. Oh, breaks him off the knee. Break yeah. it off, man. Okay. Two rounds to the panda. One round to the jag. Bro, these throws are whiffing, like, oh, literally oh. in Fran's face. But a big back one count hit. Tries to get the forward, forward one. Nice break on the giant swing. Oh, another count hit shove there. Dude, Infection is so good at getting that. Uh, oh, wait, wait, no way. Oh, no way. No. RDC? Why breaks oh. it? He breaks it. I feel like Fran should just let it hit for like this <laughs> court. Okay, Fran's doing a lot of running one plus two into the booty, which is a bit risky because that booty is not punchable, but doesn't matter here because we go find around first game as the giant panda and the man in the jaguar mask continue to brawl in the volcano. Yeah, that's Tekken. Imagine if this was somebody's first ever time tuning into a Tekken stream. There's <laughs> nothing. Oh. Or do you see? Oh. Do it. Oh, I broke ah. it again, Fran. Stop doing right. that, Fran. Oh, nice break on the throw. Okay. Dash into nothing. What, what a whiff punish. Damn. 
to the wall just shy. Nice punish on the hop kick. Rage available for both. Yup. Okay, fell over. Oh, oh didn't commit it. to the twin pistons. Rage drive. Oh, T1 the oh, twist. Oh, oh, wow. What an end. Infection looking really, really strong here mm -hmm. in his uh, his pride match now against uh, uh, against Fran. Both of the players didn't do great in their uh, in their pool today. Um, I'm just bringing it up there. Yeah, um, didn't do great in their pools, but uh, this is now uh, so that they don't get whitewashed. This yeah, is, this, uh, this is both of their final matches of the day, mm -hmm. um, and this win is. Uh, like, like you said, it's a consolation game for both these two. They can't make it out at this point. Um, and I don't think we've had a situation like this in either of the East, uh, the European uh, events. Yesterday or today where like there was two two players that are 2-0 and it meant that the bottom two just can't make it out. I think we didn't have that um, until today. And I think that just shows the dominance of Bumblebee and Galant today. You know, they've been playing so well. They've looked hard to stop and put themselves in a situation where like they're playing for first place at this point. So that game's important. It's the difference between entering that top four on the winner's side or on the loser's side, uh, whether you're playing in Strog or Lokomi. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how that one plays out. We have one more match at least between these two. Um, I wonder if Fran just gonna switch character again. Like I could. Oh, yeah. okay, it's gone. Wait, so maybe the panda pick was a serious counter pick <laughs> against the king. Like he was like, I think. I mean, he was playing well. You know, he was doing I, I, good with punishment. Bad, yeah. Um, yeah. It, I don't know, man. It just seems like Fran isn't himself today. Um, I mean, we've we've both seen him take down some of the some of the best players in Europe. Um, with this Ana, it's just, it's not hitting home today. I don't know what the story is. He is 0-1 down against Infection right now. Um, and putting on a, a show here, uh, already with his back to the wall here. Infection needs to do something a little bit bigger. Yep, nice guaranteed booty there gets the walls. But I mean, this is the thing. It's, um, you know, like I said, Fran's still recovering from a collarbone injury. So like... Obviously, as a stick player, that can be a bit difficult. I think, I think Mob, someone will correct me. I believe Mob is also a stick player, and he's recovering from a car crash. Well, not car, a car accident. Um, so, uh, traffic collision, the generic term. Okay. Oh, back to two can get a pick up there as well. But the side wall, side step three, and oh, I stop. And yeah, gonna yeah. punch that wall into two two every single day. Of the week, Fran looking sharp here, but this is what we saw in the last game. Uh, Fran went up two rounds very fast, and the infection slowly brought it back. We we'll yeah. see that here today. Oh, good. nice crouch throw! Great yeah. read. Looking good here. I see the, the RDC start attempt as well. The, the dash in. Watch it back to the breakable. Now Fran needs to keep his eye on the prize here. Oh, yeah. over the hand sweep with a hop knee. <laughs> Not dead with the down three will kill. Okay. All right. Oh my Let's goodness. <laughs> oh, good break. Oh, oh good break. break. Again. All right, Shredders. Nice. He wants to get to the wall. No, just shy. That could have been launched by infection. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Frog bottom. Frog bottom. <laughs> Damn, I've been broken. Infection is trying all of his buttons right now, man. <laughs> Every throw has come out. <laughs> Every throw is coming out right now for Infection. What? Every throw is coming out. A nice break there from Fran. Yeah, Fran doesn't want to deal with the, the chicken wing face lock or whatever that thing is called. Damn. Oh, one, two, four, oh. four over the low. And like I said, is Infection going to make another reverse sweep? Oh god. Oh, oh gosh, every cool. grab. Every the single grab. And then the arm. <laughs> then the neck. Damn, man. Man handled. Let's go. Oh, but oh. yeah. Fran said, cool, take that damage. Here's a full crap down for two. Oh, look at oh. this. CJM. Nice cancel. One more hit does it. And this what? is nice. Step three. Catches infection, ducking, and Fran has. Has woken up now, and this is this is maybe a contender for most exciting match of the day. I have to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, take away the prize money, take away uh, positions in top four. Let's just have them play for fun. Yeah. It is. 
I mean, that was that was great between both of them, to be honest. I mean, the tackle into the leg lock and gets the arm, breaks the neck. I mean, that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, Do you say break the neck when you say like, <laughs> like anger? I like it to break the neck. I just really don't like Anna. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, I prefer Nina, man. No. Um, yeah. But yeah, no. I mean, these two are playing really great right now. I like that, and it's not one-sided on for either of them as well. Like, you know, Infection, he's going down two rounds at the start, and slowly bringing it back, taking that down to download. Um, and still playing well. Probably going to pick the Infinite stage. We've seen him do it before. And yeah. I think if he picks Forgotten Realm now, I'll actually be angry. Because <laughs> Anna is also very good on Forgotten Realm. So I feel like if you finally pick Forgotten I'll actually be upset. So yeah, just he does like, like the infinite here, though, I yeah. think. Um, that, that's what we've seen instead of the Forgotten Realm. Um, it's going to be something crazy, like Kinder Gym or something. Yeah, just okay, the, yeah just keeps it calm with the infinite stage. Um, not a bad pick against Anna. Take away a lot of wall shenanigans, you know, take away a lot of the wall damage. She's very good at the wall, does a lot of damage. So, yeah, yeah that's fine. Um, at least it's not Forgotten Realm. All right, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the final game of these two players in the tournament today. Neither of oh them are God, making it out. The ten the string. Do the ten string. And it worked. <laughs> oh, no. Is he doing it? Is he doing it again? This is just a, a, a like a, a showcase of everyone just pushing their favorite buttons, like, you know? I mean, they're doing what they can to give us an entertaining game, and you love to see it back to two. Absolutely. Sweet follow-up. Ooh. One more hit, and it's a back four as Fran takes the first round of the final game between these two. Yeah, very fast as well. Um, infinite or not. Damn! Ooh. That shame, man, with the full crowd. That's what we like. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Get out wood there. <laughs> that was just rude. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, the combo, though, messes up his QCF1. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big counter hit there. And for the third time in a row, Infection will go down two rounds. But if we've learned anything, he knows how to bring this back. Yeah, what are we thinking? Is he going to be able to? I mean, I never want to count him out. You can really, man. Oh, okay. There's some Giant weird swing. stuff going on right now. Fran is consistently breaking those giant swings. You gotta start mixing up the one plus twos, oh. and there it is with the instant shining wizard. That was very fast as well. Okay. Nice punish back one two. Giant swing. He's breaking it. He's really looking out for that giant swing. Back one two. Yeah. No duck. No punish as well. Out of range. Oh. Damn. Couldn't get away. Yes. Oh. Big one standing launch right there. And it's gonna be the round. Down. Boom. Big power bomb. Yep. Okay. We have seen this story before, as you said, KOS. Infection starting to come back here. Okay. Uh oh. Damn, Damn finishes it anyway. Nice <laughs> duck on the throw. Nice duck, but too late for the punish. Yeah. He's super cheeky with those throw attempts, man. Late on the punish. Nice mid to check there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. oh four, three. Looking really good right now for Fran. This won't kill. Oh, keeps him close. Oh, oh wow. Goodbye. He heard you talking about who your favorite William's sister was. Um, the can opener, man. I mean, I don't yeah. think I don't think Anna's is called can opener. I don't know what Anna's version is called. Um, it's like everything but... is called Snake Edge. <laughs> <laughs> the snake, oh, yeah. Anna ends with the Snake Edge. Um, no. I mean, that was an entertaining game, I think, for those two. It was a consolation game. Neither of those two can make it through. Uh, into the final top four as the standings will show us in a moment but you know they gave us an entertaining game to end with oh yes wine opener that's it. wine opener um wine opener. yeah so it's really weird because i have a wine opener right here does it kick you three times it does not kick me three times and it's not real it's just, not real it just opens my wine you know not a real wine opener so um <laughs> With our last game here today in this pool is going to be Bumblebee versus Galanda. It's going to be this our last. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be our last be first of two of the day, and uh, there's that death stare again, which always catches me off guard. Like I'm <laughs> never ready. To it's like see a it. jump scare. Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm never ready. Like, he, like the thing about Bumblebee is also he's such a nice guy as well. If you ever spoken to him, if you ever like 
you know like he he if you play him he's very like nice of things like ggs i had fun with smiley emojis and everything that's not the guy i expect to see behind that like he <laughs> like like i don't he's such a nice guy but he, he looks scary and maybe it's just a bad picture you know maybe he he has he has pictures where he's smiling and happy he just happens to pick this one where he's just like uh i'm ready to beat you at tekken yeah ready to kill man let's yeah. go dude and let's not forget favorite food kfc just the entire restaurant he enjoys it um and then we have galanda here this is this is the hero of west europe you know he is he is invaded here today i mean could we have a day where west europe wins both of the tocs i think i think that could happen over the, the, the weekend west europe take both tocs i think that could happen i mean galanda looking very strong here today um, and you know, we if you're paying attention in the chat, we saw Galanda had some words to share about Bumblebee. You know, oh, did he? Yeah, there's some history between them. They're not, they're not happy about this. So this is a grudge match right now. Oh you know, damn! I mean, yeah. Was it about pizza? It wasn't about pizza. No. Um, oh damn! About but maybe, 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 maybe Galanda just hates all food that isn't pizza. So you saw KFC. He's like, how can you say that when true Italian pizza exists? You know? Yeah. What, um, are, you, what, what are you doing, man? Um, so yeah, yeah this will be our final first or two of the day a final pool match of the day and this one decides the winner of um of the pool you know this this decides first and second place um and it's interesting we get both pools are going to be three o's on both sides um so i think uh, this is going to be a very interesting game i'm excited to see how this one plays out and galan says imagine living in bulgaria for three years without italian pizza i am a stronger man now. so Galanda's uh, um, lack of Italian, lack of sorry, lack of true Italian pizza. We have to say as well, like it's not. He maybe he's. I mean, I think that that's the oh. only pizza he will have. Um, the lack of true Italian pizza he um, has made him stronger. You know, it's built his resistance to other pizzas, and now he's ready to to take on Bumblebee here today. It's most likely going to be Kunimitsu versus Katarina. I do not see Galanda straying away from that Katarina today with how no. amazing he has been playing. Yeah, uh, he's just been absolutely dominant in every showing. 3 0 Fran um, right at the start um, mm -hmm. of this pool. Like, I mean, I, I, there would want to be something drastically wrong um, with this matchup that he knows about um, that would make him want to change right now. Um, looking incredible as you said KOS but here we go ladies and gentlemen this is the contentious one it's exactly as we said and look at that infinite stage on random not great for Gerlanda I'm sure he wanted some of those walls yeah I mean Kunimitsu is so good in this stage with her great movement her backdash one of the best in the game she can just run away from you the entire day so mm. Gerlanda is going to be playing a lot uh chase the Kunimitsu this game yeah um, let's see if he is fast enough to keep up. Man, she's going to be freezing in them tiny little shorts. All right, but here we go. They are off. Oh, my God. Bumblebee is so ready. He's so ready. Oh, I'd be so afraid, dude. He got that dead glare on. He got them hop kicks. Dang. Then you, then you like, talk to him off, and he's just so nice. 2-2. <laughs> two -two, the 2-2 two -two strain, was. You were talking about that when we saw Konamitsu first. Such a powerful strain for the Konamitsu to use. Okay, okay, full crash down for four, not dissuaded by the low. Needs not to build in. that life. I mean, look, this is what I said. Get the life and just run away for a bit. Yep. The lander will be trying to chase the Kunimitsu. Full crash down for four, counter hit this time. Oh. Nice, whilst I mean four. This could be it with a rage up. Mm. There it is. Yeah, question That's there. That's dead. It has That's to be, right? Dead. If Galanda lives, he practices the dark arts. What? Oh, okay. Jesus. Yeah. I saw that, like, that hit come through. I was like, no way. I got excited. Got excited. Okay. Yeah, Gerlanda is not having a fun time. But breaks the 1 plus 2. That's got to be the first one that's been broken all day for Bumblebee. Yeah. He's like, what? People can break this? I thought it was unbreakable. First oh, damn. Well. Yeah, Gerlanda got this. Finishes the 2 2 or continues the 2 2 string. Gonna stomp on him, man. Goomba. Oh, oh counter. Set three, anyway. count it. How many rounds has Bumblebee won? I, I can't. I know he didn't lose a round against Infection. And then did he lose a round against. Has Bumblebee lost a round yet? I don't know. Um, I can't remember. Surely. Surely, right? Oh, oh no bug. There is like there it is. It works again. It was out of batteries or something. 
Oh, the oh. last 73. That's one thing you have to keep in mind about, about Bumble. You knock him down, he is always ready to push button on his wake up. You have to be a bit more patient against him. Yeah. Okay, watch Bumblebee's rage, though. Really increasing the range now. Trying oh, that. Oh, Marsen 1-1 gets counted here by the second hit. Things are not just, looking good. Just got the life lead and backs out. He's just like, nah, I'm done here. Oh, oh. yeah! Great timing on the rage drive from Bumble. I was about to say, you cannot whiff anything from here because Kimmy's rage drive and her kunai will kill you. And the rage drive killed. That's exactly it. Um, a huge range on the character can play kind of comfortably from those distances because of those tools you were just talking about, KOS. Um, and look, it worked out. Bumblebee is on a tear right now, man. Um, what can Gerlanda do? Obviously, the walls are definitely going to come into play um, for the next game. But I mean, that looked like more than just absence of walls. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to rack my brain back to the the bomb. No, actually, Bombi lost running against Infection, right? Uh, I'm sure he did. Infection got around against Bumblebee because if not, Bumblebee has not lost a round yet. Jesus. Uh, some some will let me know. Um, but yeah. That's insane the way Bumblebee's been playing today. I mean, and it's not like Galanda played particularly bad there. I mean, Bumblebee in the clutch has been so good. His decisions on wake up have been getting him so much mileage. Just to do a while setting four float has been catching Galanda so much. While setting three and wake up has been catching Galanda on his approach. And it's really made it difficult for him to see his he's looks uncomfortable right now. Um, yeah. But he's back on the jungle outpost, favorite stage. And I really would like this game to go down to the wire because it's like, this is the one. They are fighting for first place right now. Yeah. Um, Winner you know, side of uh, the top four, which is definitely a really, really nice place to be in. Um, so let's see. Okay. Ooh, trying that hop kick. Ooh. Two. Here we go now. Getting the pressure going. This is exactly what Galadin needs. Yeah. Look at this. No back dash and no max range sort of stuff going on here. Yes, in the three threes. Ooh, follow up. There we go. If Bumblebee hadn't lost a round before, he has lost one now. <laughs> oh my god, huge I didn't snake edge. I didn't see it. It didn't happen. That was absolutely insane. If I didn't see it, it didn't happen. 50% damage. God, 75% damage. Sheesh. That caught up very quickly. Let's break on the throw. Step three. Oh, nice step from Bumblebee. I think that's one thing that's so important with Kunimitsu. After that step three is zero, you can challenge it, and like, you have to know which way they're going to force track. Okay. Oh, Lord! Nice. There you go, Galanda. Two rounds up. Yep. This looks like uh, KOS okay, that is down to the wire. Bellissimo. And there's the magic four. This is going to go to the wall. Not going to get a clean wall splat, so not max damage. Flip over. Okay. Oh. Damn the pressure. Oh, oh goes mid. Through. Finally goes mid. Has been going high the entire day. That's the first one. Can't get to the wall. Okay, very close. Oh, oh yeah. huge. Damn. Look at its damage. Oh, it doesn't get the wall, unfortunate. Oh, okay. No. Back three, three, but out of range. Range available, so you want to block right now. The oh! Oh! One, one, one. Two, two, whisper but can't do anything. Plus frames, down forward, one, one, down forward, one again. Galanda is on the board with his own no round brown. Yeah, three rounds straight. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, this is exactly what we want to see in a fight for first place. You know, these two, this is a very important game. You know, Galanda had some words to share about Bumblebee before we began, and now... You know, it's... What did he say? Is... I missed it. Oh, I'll tell you after. It was, <laughs> it was, was it bad? Oh, it was... Damn! You know, I'm, I'm kidding. It wasn't It wasn't it was that bad. Terrible. <laughs> it was it's not terrible. that bad. Um, uh, in my head, it's it's something absolutely nasty. It was It was not that bad. I wanna, I don't want to besmirch Golanda's good name. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it, we're all type one-to-one -one right now. But if I'm Bumblebee, my first thought right now is we've got to go back to that infinite absolutely have to those walls were destroying him um and i'm if i if i'm galan i'm gonna be like yeah that like that's what my thought process for for both of them right now i'm gonna be thinking that infinite is coming so i just have to start thinking uh, playing around it right now yeah um hmm. galan is in the chat dude 
That's yeah, it. Just talking mid game. I mean, that's the kind of confidence you have to have to be a Techno Nine cha champion. Um, and I, I do. I, I like. I. I'm unbiasedly rooting for Galanda though, because West Europe. You know, if they take both TFCs this weekend, I mean, West Europe, best Europe. You know. <laughs> this is a. Uh... This is getting kind of tribal now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, but yes, we're absolutely in the infinite stage here. Um, what can Gerlanda do? I mean, he looked very, like, caught off guard by this um, Konamitsu on the infinite um, here. What's, what do you think his game plan is now, Davis? Done. I mean, not getting count here would be the best the best way. I mean, I wasn't even counting here. That's a normal hit launcher. Um, but what it is, is, you know, Galand is a very strong fundamental player. And I think he knows how to play on the internet. It's just Kunimitsu forces you to play different on the internet. Because look at this 2-2 two -two string. Oh. But he actually ducks and launches. Very nice for Galand. And going to be doing extra damage because he is in rage. Mm. Okay. Oh, 4 4 2 four. Big whiff. That could have been very scary. But Bumby just playing that waiting game. Here yep. come the 2-2s. Two One more launch can do it now for both players. Very, very scary. Ooh. Okay, not Seven, a lot going three on. Three trailers <gasps> while standing fours. Oh, what? Galanda oh. pets everything on the down four, three plus four. Fight. Damn, man. Okay, coming in with that orbital. Oh. Oh, one third. I am no break that time. Okay. Oh, oh dirty. Dirty. Heading three, a That's full crouch dirty. mix there. Okay. Picking it up here. 40 Next seconds later. Very good. One, one, two, plus frames. Ooh. Nice. Gets a counter hit. Flip over. Okay. Oh. Damn. Nothing's going on. Neutral jump. Oh, he finishes hop. it. The punish. The no way. From no way, dude. Is that going to kill? Oh, that was so smart. That was so smart. Damn, was, man. And that was a reaction from Galanda. He got punished by the 2-2, two -two, waited until he saw that Bumpy had teleported in the air, and then he pushed the rage up. That was a great reaction. Yeah. Okay. Not a lot going on here now in this game. Just a lot of footsies. Looking to break each other's rhythm or stride or something. One plus two though, no break again. He's had so much. That that move has just been so good for him. Oh, but magic four has been good for Galanda. I don't know if this combo kills. Oh, it's not if he drops killing it. Situation. The low Galanda. One more round, round to make four. it through into our top four on the winner's side. Yep. Very, very important spot. I mean, you're uh, as you uh, kind of make it through that top four position, your money increases drastically for each game you win in the top four or oh, with there one throw not broken again by galanda but the hot what pick, he knew that every time he's done that bomb he's gone in his face and dashed into full crouch galanda was not waiting it for for it this time no sir very close now galanda what can he do can he take this in the next 30 seconds put himself on the winner's side of his pool no, or can bumblebee come back Dancing around now, sitting on that rage. Yeah, now it's time for Galan to be patient. It's time for Bumby to play Chase the Cat and the 3-3-3 oh. three, three, three beats the tackle and Galan is going through on the winner's side. When I say West Europe, I mean best Europe because we see Galando going through on the winner's side to play against Strog. So that's going to be a real test for him. And then Bumby will be on that lower side playing against Lakomi. We'll see what those brackets are looking like later on, but Damn, Galanda making that cat. Still look like a good character, I have to say. Yeah. Um, looking incredible. I don't know what the difference was between um, the first game that they played on the Infinite and that last one. Um, because it definitely looked like a different Galanda coming out there. I mean, I, I, I just feel like that the, the momentum that Galanda had going after the, the second game with the Wolves played so well and then, you know, ends up taking it. And we'll see what those final standings uh, look like um, after Pool B. That is the final game. And we have seen the strength of true Italian pizza here today. <laughs> Obviously, Galanda has the Bulgarian flag that is currently where he is residing. But all, always Italian at art. Um, you know, repping uh, one of the strongest scenes in Europe for, for many years now. But, you know, there's... So, 
I think the top four looks very interesting. We have uh, Italy slash Bulgaria, two Russians and one Polish. I think it's interesting to get that Polish play in there, uh, uh, Wakami, because, um, you know, Poland traditionally back in Tag 2 as well is one of the strongest teams in Europe. You know, players like Devil and Matt JF just absolutely dominating. Devil, potentially the best player in Europe around the Tag 2 era. So it's nice to see that legacy kind of continue. But, you know, one Russian player on the winner's side, one Russian player on the loser's side. And this top four is looking spicy. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm just kind of like... I mean, you can't really pick who's going to, who's going to be the the, the champion right now. Um, I mean, Strog is definitely um, in contention for for playing incredibly well. But I mean, as we've seen before in many of the tournaments, Strog can be beaten. Um, and each of these players here already in the top four can definitely do it. Yeah, I mean, this is really uh, open. Uh, so we've been doing our best to follow the action and you guys can follow. <laughs> See, I, I told you I'm working. I've, I've been working. You guys could also follow all the socials as well. We have the Twitter for b and &E Esports and the YouTube for b and &E Esports and it's Tekken on Twitter, Twitch and Facebook. When I said we're going to take a break, I'm going to work on the segues. Well, that's, that's, that's just Man, you I actually did. did. You that's, actually that's, did. You went, you uh, I, 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 went, I went into the, I went into the mind place. I've been talking to the mind goblin and, you know, I put in all that hard work. Um, <laughs> but obviously, so we see how those, uh, oh, those, those top, the top four is shaking out. We'll be taking a short break and when we return, it is going to be that first of three top four action. Don't go anywhere.
What is the devil gene? The devil gene? That's a loaded question. That's a very loaded question. It's an all-purpose revenge tool. No, all-purpose revenge, all revenge tool? revenge well, tool. Okay, let, let's talk about the origins of the devil gene. So passed down from... Where is it from? From Kazumi, um, from, Kazumi's family. From the Hachijo family. From the Hachijo family to Kazumi. Heiachi married Kazumi. We know he loved her, but do you think he loved her or he wanted the devil gene? I'm going to tell you right now, there's no way that Heiachi shed tears and he only wanted the devil gene. There is no way. Like, and you see my man Heiachi, he don't do nothing but talk smack, call people kids, just trying to kill people. He was legit crying. There's no way he didn't care about Kazumi enough, right? But he had to offer. He had, that was the whole point, bro. The, the arcade intro of Tekken 7, Fader Retribution, there's a monologue where Kazumi is saying, my dearest Heiachi, she's addressing to him that she has to be the one to end her lineage. And she was talking about through her precious son, Kazuya, mm -hmm. who obviously inherited the devil gene. I felt that was so powerful, that, that moment where she felt the responsibility, like yeah. she doesn't want to unleash this devil gene or this evil onto the world, but Heihachi wanted it for himself. Yeah. yeah. And I thought that was powerful. I, think, I feel like he was torn between choosing power and glory and love of his family. Well, but what the devil gene does is it gives you unmatched power in a lot of instances. Right? But that's the tragic thing for Heihachi is, he couldn't use it. He couldn't use it. No, that's true. He, he definitely couldn't use couldn't it for use himself. It. Well, I mean, but just, just to get back to it, though, what is the devil gene, right? It, it gives you unmatched power. You get the power to turn into a devil in some instances. You get wings. You get flight. You get lasers. And on top of that, it's so unmatched that not only Heiachi and Kazuya want it or control it, but other corporations throughout the Tekken world are looking for it. So that's how you know it's really strong. But it's a gene that's passed down from through the family that's only inherited by, what, two people at this point. Now, three if you count Kazumi, right? It's only two people that actually have. Well, Kazumi as far as we inherited know, Kazumi, it from somebody. Right, she inherited it from somebody. But I feel like it's if she inherited it from somebody, it's probably just a lineage thing, right? It's two halves of the family. It could be another sibling out there with the devil gene, of course. But as far as we know, we have these two, three if you count Kazumi left, who have this power, who everybody else wanted, and it's one of the most strongest things in the Tekken world. What is up, ladies and lads? We are in the final leg of the Tekken Online Challenge Regional Finals for Easter. I'm K West, joined by Sam De Ding. And uh, yeah, what do you think about the, the the Devil Gene stuff? I always thought that like the Devil Gene came from Jimpachi, and then that's why you know that, that that's what I thought anyway. And then I think I actually think they had to retcon that to make it Kazumi. I can't remember. Really? Yeah. I mean, what happened when, when he had the big mouth in his in his chest? Like, I, five, I, like... I think maybe he was possessed. They changed it like he was possessed or something because um because that's that's the whole reason Heihachi had Lars. Like Heihachi only had a Lars. Like he only gave or well, he didn't give birth. But he only um conceived Lars to prove that the devil gene didn't come from him. He was <laughs> like, it. I'm gonna have a kid with some other woman to prove this isn't my fault. Kazuya, it's Sigma. not my fault. What's going on here has nothing to do with me. Um, that's so like, that, like that's, that's the only reason that, that he had Lars. That's the only reason um, um, Lars exists. And that's, that, that's a lot of power. You know, that's, 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 a of, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, um, that's a lot of power. That's, that shows, I think okay. he's a powerful man. And I think okay. right now we are wearing some powerful headsets. Oh, you know, I think, I think given to us by Six Astro. Out of ten. The, the official out of ten. headset and mixer <laughs> of Tekken Online Chat. You were pressuring me. You're saying, you're, like, you knew I had to do it. And you're like, are you, what are you going to do? Like, oh, what are you thinking? What are you think? Like, just let me do my thing. Okay. Um... Like you're not letting me be creative and, and express my true creativity that you can see on some shots. See, give me, time, give me time and let me think and you get you get a beautiful one like that. OK, um, OK. Anyway, Seven out of ten. <laughs> anyway, but though, these are some amazing shirts and we actually have uh, two of these characters, at, well, potentially three of these characters in our top four right now. You know, Bumblebee plays Ling and Kunimitsu and Stroke plays as Steve. So, mm hmm. You know, we could actually be seeing a few of these characters on the shirts. And I guess if one of them wins, free shirts for everyone. 
Ooh, no, that's I can't. I can't see I, 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 I disclaimer. I don't have that power. I'm gonna before people like come to me. Where's my free shirt? Like that's uh, so dro drops enabled. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see. I I don't have that power. Please, please do not hold me to that. Yeah, production um, starts sweating. But here we are, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the top four. So on the winners' five, we have Strog and Gerlanda, and down in the losers' semi, we have Bumblebee and Lacomy. This is going to be an insanely tight top four. I yeah. mean. I, I, I can't really call it, but right now we've got strong. We haven't talked about this. Who's Phil Ivy or Phil Ivy? I don't like. I don't know, but when uh, earlier someone laughed when they saw that, so I feel like this is a joke I'm not in on. Um, I I don't know. I'm I'm actually gonna Google this. Um, <laughs> Phil um, Ivy is an American professional poker player. Oh okay. damn! All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta respect it. Um, but here we have Gerlanda, favorite uh, player, um, Tishuman, uh, did mm -hmm. a lot of interesting stuff in Europe um, before he moved back to the Asian region. Um, favorite character, Roger Jr., but uh, we have seen nothing but this absolutely dominant Katarina here today. Yeah. Um, really, really impressive play, but he's got it... uh, he's got Strog in front of him. Okay, oh, yeah. I mean, both these two have been looking good. Uh, good. Galanda took out a very, very strong Russian player in Bumby to get to this point. And I think, you know, he has a he has a mountain ahead of him in Strog right now. And I think it's interesting that Strog says his favorite player is a poker player because Strog isn't much of a gambler. I have to say, with the, with the way you see him play, I would not call him much of a gambler. Oh, he's also a poker player, so he is a gambler. Um, but oh. if, if you, the way he plays Tekken, that guy is not a gambler at all. He leaves nothing to chance and he, he destroys you the moment that he can. Mm. I think it'll be interesting to see. See, here's the thing. I wanted to see Strong Steve today. I really have. But I think if there's a time to do it, it's not now. Steve versus Katarina is not a good matchup. It got better over the seasons. And when they nerfed Steve's down for two's homing and they, they made it not homing anymore, what they did do a slight buff to it made it so it's hit it hits lower as a lower hitbox. And what made uh, Steve versus Katarina such an annoying matchup was you know katarine just went under everything with all of her lows full crest down for four down for three plus four you know down back three you know she was just going uh under that but steve's down for two lower uh hitbox really helped in that matchup so maybe we will see the steve out here from strong but his lars has been insane today and we might get lars winning a tournament today he hasn't he hasn't lost a game yet so um and he was the only one in his pool to have that undefeated run all the way through um, mm -hmm. The only one to go three zero and stuff. So yeah, everything yeah. was two zero as well for Strong. Strong get Strong's the only person to have two zero two zero two zero. Damn. Over uh, the past two days as well, you know, today in Europe in general, the only uh, two zero uh, winner. So this is going to be. I mean, he's definitely the hard favorite going into this, but you know, Galanda, never count him out. Never. Uh, but I mean, everybody in this top four, um, anybody could take down Strong on a good day. Um, let's just hope that today is that day if you're a fan of some of those. Um, we should be getting into the game any second now, guys. Um, no need to panic. Here we go. No one's panicking. I'm not panicking. I was panicking a little. I was yeah. I was speaking to myself there. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Stop panicking. Stop panicking. Um, I mean, as as obviously as the chat knows, the commentators decide when the game gets played. Anyway, you know, yep. we just we just push the button to start the game. We just want to hold off and just talk for a bit about you know, because I think with Strog, I think he is someone I've always wanted to have that chance to be on the big stage. You know, he's someone who I I truly believe from playing him and seeing him play others and like this guy, like offline, like on a big international stage, he is going to do damage. Like just with the way he, he's just so good. He's someone that like m myself and other players like Chicken Mario and Joker, um, all strong players in Europe as well. Like we, if we just want someone to like beat us up and just like get some, get some good games and we just go and play stroke. <laughs> and then like he just beats us up real king we're just like okay now we're ready for whatever we have going on like he's just such a good player and he's someone I, i've wanted to to be able to be on the on the big stage for a while now so i want him to have a good performance in today but you know galanda i mean I've, west europe is best europe so he's also like i'm very conflicted right now um but you know galanda's nothing to scoff at as well you know back in you know 2018 made the tech world tour finals by winning that stacked lcq and 
I want to talk about the LCQ right now in Amsterdam for a second because that was a truly international tournament. I think the top eight had Korea, Japan, America, and Europe. And Europe came out on top. Wow, that's <laughs> interesting. Uh, but yeah, Galanda managed to take that one. Um, also from West Europe. Best Europe. Damn. Interesting. <laughs> interesting how this is all melding together. You don't think you have to say. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I do have to say. So Galanda and Stroga too the heavy hitters right now this is going to be an absolutely great game and it's all first to three action from this point on uh, i know players like galanda and struggle will be definitely happy for that yeah. um like you know struggle is someone who can struggle in the first or two he he didn't in in his pool um but um he, he is someone who who doesn't in really like the first or two format likes to go into his longer sets but the first three you have that and if he gets into grand finals there's a potential for two first or three sets um uh can consider depending on how it goes so uh, I, I expect a good team, game between these two, and I think Strog is going to stick with the Lars, but Galanda gets his preferred stage in Jungle Outpost. Yeah. Um, it's uh, This this stage just keeps coming back. It's uh, it's haunting us today, KOS. Yeah, it's um, our second time getting it random. Yeah, um, and we, we've seen it picked a couple of times, but Strog already going for the Lars. Um, he's obviously... Uh, this is uh, his more practiced... Um, one. Um, I mean, what? I mean, like I said, Steve isn't really the best in this matchup. He does struggle over certain things. I mean, there's a point people say it's like one of the worst matchups in the game, and Stroll, one plus two to start the day. Is this a button check or something? This is insane. What? I mean, that... this, this is the thing I mentioned before about the Russian style. Like I mentioned, when Mickey does it, he just likes walks in your face sometimes, and we're seeing that here from Stroll right now. Yeah, As he takes the first what? round. What? That was so weird. I was like, uh, th there's a DC or something, man. There's something going on. Nope. It's just weird Strong, Russian stuff. Strong's timing is very hard to catch on to. Ooh. Okay. And you got to be so careful throwing out those lows against him, man. Um, mm -hmm. He is so ready to block them. Strong's reactions, man. Oh, yes, though. Big whiff punish. Garlanda coming up here strong. To the wall, four, four, three, looking good right now. Oh, the three, 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 and that's been getting Galanda so much mileage today. Okay, a perfect answer back here. Let's do it. Okay, loving that uh, that dash dance there um, from uh, Katarina. Harrier jabs. G clef cannon, very nice. There's mid. No duck in here from Galanda at all. No, doesn't want it. Doesn't want to deal with it. Oh, what he challenged! <gasps> no, no, it's over! Nice. Yes! That was, that was so unlucky for Galanda for two reasons. One, the wall was right there, so he couldn't do a full combo. He tried to convert to Harry Four to break the wall, but then it pushed Stroke off of the wall. Galanda's not going to be happy about that, but he can take this round right now. Good combo, gonna put Strong just shy of rage. Headbutt, oh, one more hit. Perfect. Yeah, we're going Ooh. to a final round, and that's Galanda's second perfect. Of we might be getting a uh, get a god match from Galanda here. Damn, oh, man. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I feel it. I feel okay. it. We might be getting the get a god match. Get -a -god Don't touch man. him, Strong. Let him get the get a god match. <laughs> Look at how patient he is against the wall, man. The throw. Uh, hot key. What? It's like the second hit. The breakable wall is right there, but no. Oh. Zalanda tries to account for it. The block. <laughs> he, see, just, he managed now, the low. See, now Galan takes the first game, but I really wanted, I really wanted to get a god match. You know, I. I mean, yeah. How often do you been... how often do you see like a god match in general in tournament? I think there was only that one um, with the Korean guy that always has the thing up his nose. Um, Damn back. Yeah. Um, I think it was the LCQ actually, the one you were talking yeah. about. Oh, that the one, the Galanda one. one. Yeah, um, that was yeah, the, the one, that, the one, that, the European one that was an international event with American and Korean and Japanese players. That that tournament. Yeah. Yep, that uh, one. Okay, okay. You're saying it like I'm not European. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just making sure the chat, I'm just making sure the chat knows. Well, I'm just making sure everyone knows. Oh, there um, is some EU haters in the chat. Come at me, man. I will fight you IRL. Yeah, every, I'm an Eddie man. I'm an Eddie yeah. man, so I'm crazy. Yeah, everyone's going to know about that.
Um, so yeah, Gal Galanda starts off on the first foot here, get going up 1-0. I think it's a big statement as well. You know, Strog, that's Strog's first loss of the day. You know, that one there. So I think Galanda has, has shown that he does bleed. And if he bleeds, you can kill him. Um, exactly, yeah. In the game, of course, you know, metaphorically speaking, I don't condone violence over Tekken. <laughs> Um, I do. Fight me IRL. Let's go. Okay, All right, we got the infinite uh, stage. Strong <laughs> just going to ignore that. Strong uh, goes for the <laughs> infinite stage. Uh, no surprises. Katarina is very crazy at the wall, and Strong's neutral game is just very good in general. So uh, this this is the stage that really can play to that strength. Yeah. Um, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Dude, this is so weird. The start of their games are so weird, man. It looks terrifying to be in. Okay. Ooh, big count. It can he convert the combo? Of course God. he can. He's strong. Yep, he got that. Okay, full crowd stuff. Okay. Ooh. Four, 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 four. Nice. Ooh. Not the best punish from Strog. Will be kicking yeah. himself about that one, especially if Galanda wins this round. Yep. Man, the patience out of both of them. Ugh. Yeah, just look at the movement right now from Strog. Even though he's at the life deficit, even though there's close to 10 seconds left, he still isn't panicking. Knows all it takes is one. He's trying to catch his timing with that G clef. Oh. Great block on the down back for Galanda. Galanda's ready to win this whole tournament, man. Fight. Okay. Yeah, Strog is getting some really, really good sidesteps. Just not capitalizing on him. But wow, Garlanda swinging in hard with a big counter hit. Okay. Oh. Jabs low is coming out. Mm, nice right. block. Oh, 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 oh. oh big nice. block. Counter hit. Okay. Oh, big Sorry. back four. Yup. Oh. oh, nearly. Oh, nice step. Doesn't get much. One more hit does it for Strong, and it is the low. And this is a very slow, methodical game right now between these two, I have to say. Yeah, it's more like a chess match than a Tekken match. All right. Or perhaps it's poker for Strong. Hey. I'm hearing hey. Uh, people will tell me, apparently Strong is an amazing poker player. Really? I mean, yeah. with that kind of comfortability under pressure, um, He's uh, definitely showing uh, mm -hmm. showing his strength there. Mental fortitude, I think. Yeah, I, I can't see Strug's tail right now. Oh, oh he just no. out of range. Unfortunate for Galanda. Yeah. Mm, trying to bait him into oh, some Big full crash down forward too. This can be a lot of damage, but it's not going to be dead. It's going to set him up. One more hit does it. The Whoa. spring kick, very nice. Full crash down forward four. What a risk. Oh, oh wow you have to respect it for galanda went straight for the full crouch mix there didn't work out but you know he still has a round to play with yeah. Yeah. okay god this the thing of doing nothing just terrifies me man okay strong hasn't pushed barely any buttons in this match whatsoever. Mm, oh, again. wow. That art blast on the whiff into Harrier. Strong is yeah. so ready for that. Gonna put Galanda in rage now. Mm -hmm. One plus two, though, broken. Oh, didn't got a little bit more. Four, 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 four. Oh, the shoulder could have been a bigger punish there. 20 seconds left. While setting 2 wow. 1, and Strong takes the second game. I see this one going all the way, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, best of five action as well. Um, we are in for a long set right now. Yeah. This is uh, this is fun. This is fun. This, I like this. Th this is what both of these two prefer. They prefer that longer set. I mean, Galanda has been a mainstay in Europe for a long time now. And the European standard has been round robin pulls into a first to three, top 32, top 64, top 16, whatever. And this is what Galanda, this plays to his strengths right now. This is exactly what he's used to. Remember, he is from West Europe, best Europe, even though he has the Bulgarian flag. He is Italian, which is Western Europe, which West Europe, best Europe. He didn't hear me the first time. So, you know, this is, this is, this is going to be a tight game though. 1-1 one, one, all tied up is very hard to call it between these two. I think it's going to come down to who wins this next game. 
because yeah. whoever wins this next game will pick the stage for the final game if there ends up being a final game and we'll see how all the walls are playing out for galanda and how all the infinite is playing out for stroke yeah um i mean Strog seems to be kind of strong it it, it, it seems like it, it it's going to be very difficult to take any of Strog's strengths away because it comes from just his kind of you know as as we were talking about his kind of mental um mm -hmm. so i mean walls or no walls he still seems to be executing the same um but if we just noticed there that was a random stage yeah, no he went pick. for the random so i didn't care about the stage damn that's uh that's some uh some some big man energy right there but here we go g core pelipad nice block okay starting defensive as per the norm okay Ooh. one one two one 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 jab trees are coming out right now yep Damn. Nice one more again. Uh, down back four. About even on life. Nice start, but too late on the punish. Both of them missing their punishes right now. 2-2. Two, two, gonna get the wall splat. Not gonna be dead, but it's gonna be huge damage right now. And nice. Great mix up there. Ducks for a second to make him think about the low. Then the wall standing through. Yep. Oh. Trying that hop kick. Okay. Nice. Damn. Magical four. Yep, that was like a Harry Potter 4 right there, man. That was, uh, that was called from the Dark Arts, man. Oh, near to get the back. Wizard, oh. Katarina. <laughs> Sly dude. Oh, oh dick. No, gonna get a wall. Could have converted, but just wasn't ready for it. The 3-3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. And great bait from Galando. Yeah. I, I think we all kind of felt that one coming. Yeah. Um... Gerlanda is, is, is what or was in his head anyway. I mean, Strog definitely uh, one of the bigger kind of mind players here. Um, but Gerlanda up two rounds here. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this game is important because it gets to, it decides who picks that final stage if we go to a final final. And yep. Gerlanda looking like this game belongs to him right now. Back full count hit. This is what Strog needs to get back into this. Gerlanda in rage. Finishes the G-Clef. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. That was super risky. Very, very risky there from Strong. Mm -hmm. Minus 14 if he blocked that, but knew the risk. Down back for counter hit. This is exactly what Strong needs. Should he break this wall? He does to the next one. No. Oh. Okay, slow do. Wait, the throw, it strong? It put, yeah, it break, puts Glad right to the wall. Great low parry. Is Strong about to bring this back right now? I don't want to curse was, it. But that was he could. Oh, Gerlanda, man. Okay, Wait, regular okay. throw. Down to one. The oh. down back one will go to a final round here. These two are neck and neck. Yep. Uh, hair's length between the two of them here. Okay. Oh, he tried to finish it there. This is going to go to the wall with that Lars carry. Can't God, get a God. clean wall spot, though. Mm hmm. Great wow. parry from Strong. Ugh, dropping combos. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay. Just sending out that hop kick right now. Okay. Get out of there. Ooh. Two one. Down back one. Galanda just shy of rage. Yep. Getting a lot of pokes out. Oh, the down back one. The down forward one came out. Oh, the down forward two one from out of nowhere and Strong with the reverse sweep. That was an insane comeback right there. That was absolutely exactly what I expected from Strong. From all of the stories I had heard, this man is never done. He's never finished. Really, Hon really good stuff. So. Honestly, part of me wanted Strong to lose that, so then he'd think about the switch to Steve. Because I really want to see his Steve today. But his Lars is performing so well, there's no reason to switch right now. Yeah. But that was a statement there from Strong. It looked like he was down now. It looked like Galanda was going to take it. He finished the 1 1 1. You know, he finishes the G Clef Cannon uh, at the perfect time. Guaranteed forward forward 2 because he back rolled. And now we are at a situation where, you know, it's 2 1 to Strog. He needs one more game to make it through. And Galan, does he think about a stage switch? Does he think about a character switch? Who knows? Um, and we have a bunch of Lars, uh, Lars's dabbing in the chat. 
to promote his the, the victory there from Shock. Um, good stuff, good stuff. They're calling him the beast from the east. That changes your uh, your rhyme. Um, okay, was... I mean, but West Europe is best Europe, so. <laughs> All right, they're, they're, they're allowed to have beasts in the east. We're still the best in the west. All right, back to Jungle Outpost now. Gerlanda's favorite stage. Mm -hmm. um, but even if he wins this game, that puts Strog, as you said, Kaos, um, with the uh, stage pick for the final game between these two. And that's mm -hmm. only if Gerlanda wins. Oh, we got a costume change, though. Yeah. The silver or oh, golden. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. not distracted Strog at all. Nope. He don't even care, man. Okay. Nice block. How did he know there? Okay. Oh, I crushed the base. Around. Oh my goodness. That's actually buff. That's actually buff damage in season four. Well, technically it's scaled damage because they added five points to it in season four, and then also added five points of health in season four. So you just they just kept it scaled basically. Okay, flipping her over. Oh no, Strog is kind of running away with this right now. Yep very dangerous here now if you're a Gerlanda fan keeping the life lead but just look at that whiff punish mm -hmm. he is ready man one two plus frames the nice cleft cannon perfect Jeez. timing from Strog and he is currently five rounds straight just one more to get into the grand finals on the winner's side yep. Gerlanda has his work cut out for him right now yeah, looking absolutely incredible right now. But Gerlanda is definitely not out. But if he keeps throwing up them hop kicks just out of nowhere. I don't know, Pretty man. Quick. Backs to the breakable. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Harry. He keeps his tailspin as well. He wants to go to that next wall. There it is. Throw. <laughs> shoulder. Gerlanda in rage. Oh, oh what no, a block. No, no, no. What? She, man. That was I it. mean, if Gerlanda can't stop him, who can? Who can right now? I mean, there are some killers down in uh, in losers bracket, but he, that's I mean, uh, he's looking strong. I mean, that was a great showing there from Strug. That's kind of everything I've expected from him and more. Um, he just played so well. Uh, his timing was amazing, and <laughs> Gerlanda said in the chat, Strug must have good kitchen taste. So I think I think I think I think that I think that's actually a compliment. I think that's that's actually probably the highest compliment you will ever receive from Galanda, I think. Um I might share a pizza with him. Yeah. Galanda that's yeah. That's just praise from Galanda. That's all I can say. Um so with that, Galanda does, he's not done. That was the winner side. Galanda goes down as the loser's final to play the winner of Bombi and Wakami. Mm -hmm. Um but stroke. You know, this is this is the guy I touted as the favorite going into this. He is yet to lose. He's stayed on the winner's side the entire time. That one game to Galanda is all he has lost the entire day. And now he sits on the grand finals on the winner's side. Yeah. Um, so this next match, Bumblebee versus Lakomi. This is um, there this is, is going to be an interesting one. Man, that dead stare. Man, he's looking straight. Man, he can read my mind. Dude. It makes me forget that Bumblebee is a really nice guy when you speak to him, honestly. <laughs> Damn man. Um and look at look at his uh, players he respects. Strog is one of the players. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, I mean in, in Russia generally you hear about how much they talk about Strog. You know, I've spoken to, to Mickey and LMG Mob and they're just like Strog is just so good. Um yeah. obviously, you know, you have uh Welcome Me as well. Um actually I didn't know he's I didn't know he's actually from Poznan. Um, I've actually been to, to Poznan once. Um it's actually a very lovely place. So um they produce good second players apparently. You see Welcome Me here. Um, who actually, I actually met him at Virginia Fight Club Volume 3. Great tournament, by the way. Um, and he um, he doesn't look like a silhouette of Heihachi. So I have to say this is an inaccurate picture. Oh, what but, what uh, went on there then? I, I just assumed no. that he had got his hair done for the picture. No, no he, he doesn't look oh. like a silhouette of, a silhouette of Heihachi, unfortunately. Um, okay. But yeah, I think this is going to be a very tough game, I have to say, for Lakomi. He looks very shaky throughout the day. Um, he could have beat Mob earlier on. But, you know, Mob sort of turned up against him. Um, and then the rest of his games, um, you know, he looked he looked very good um, against Axor and then against Strog. Strog was just being Strog, you know, when they played against each other. So there's nothing to, <laughs> nothing to really, really say about yeah. that. 
Um, but now it's going up against Bumblebee. Bumblebee, the person undefeated until he played Galanda um, in maybe rounds and games. I can't remember, but he might have had been undefeated in rounds until he played against Galanda. So, man, this... I'm just looking at the how the how the chat has voted here. It's it or was 89% in favor of Bumblebee right now, but uh, the. Uh... Yeah, it seems to have evened itself out just a little bit here. And look at this random infinite again. Mm -hmm. okay, good for both. Going on? Good for both characters, though. Obviously, yeah. I think I think the Polish players are still starting to come out in in force. You know, Polska Gorum. You know, um, I hope. I, I hope they're supporting their boy out here. You know, the the lone Polish representative in this entire top eight, and uh, you know, Bombi. And could Fight. and can he eliminate the other? The last Polish representative, or do we get only one Russian player in our final yeah. top three? Let's find out. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The loser semi-final, the loser of this actually goes home, is out of the tournament. So the last chance here for one of these guys. Mm, a great block on the set three, but no launch from Wakami. Okay. Wakami. Wakami. One, one, one. Okay, the okay. mask is off. It yep. takes like two taps and Kunimitsu's mask comes straight off. <laughs> It's a weak oh. mask. Could have had more in the back there. Wasn't prepared for it. Okay. Oh, oh, the down four, three plus four. Such a strong well, move, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, dash in. Looking for that one grab again. Punish minus ten. Nice punish minus ten. Yep. On plus no two throw. Way, this is the dude. unbreakable throw, honestly. I don't know what it is, but this throw is completely unbreakable. Yeah, it's had, like, I mean, for Bumblebee right now in this tournament, um, just today, I mean, it's hit maybe 80% of the time, which is absolutely insane for a 1 plus 2. Oh my god, raw out of nowhere? You're just going to throw that out? Bumblebee. Have the timing. Yep. Looking like it. Wackamy. Looking like he's just struggling a little bit to kind of find his footing here in this match. Unless. Uh oh, 10 seconds. Okay, running rage round, plus 2 billion, but look at the time. Down 3. No, what? what? No way! Is that it? What? 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 Oh my goodness. I. Okay. That was so close. So close right now. I nearly cursed. I nearly cursed yeah. right there. So Ooh. I thought maybe do the back one because it would have done damage and taken time off. It would have been max damage and taken time off the clock. But maybe the 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 the, uh, the gunk hand uh, arm might not have hit in time. So that's why he did that combo. Um, okay. I mean, I like it in those situations. Like people are more prepared to duck because they wouldn't do lows. And then just a big wall signing too from, from the Komi. Yeah. Stole the round there. That was absolutely crazy. What clutch, man. And the one right... Yeah. Man. Un Bumblebee is a grappler, man. Honestly, Lakomi is slowly becoming one of my favorite players to watch. Yeah, he's very, oh. very fun. Big down for two. We're punished there. Mm -hmm. Back one there is. Like, yeah, it takes a lot of time off the clock. Maybe it yeah. wouldn't have worked. Oh, oh nice. my We're god. Punished. Damn, man. Fighting for their tournament life here, and it feels like it. Okay. Nice. Sidestep. And we do get a break this time. Okay, blue stuff was blocked. Okay. What a... Bitch. Man. Bumblebee. Great block. So fast. Great block. So yeah. fast. I mean, I have Man. to say, Lakomi is still keeping things interesting. Um, he's just so exciting to watch, I have to say. But I want, I want that excitement to translate into wins. Uh, like, I saw it, you know, I saw that for myself at Vision of Fight Club Volume 3. I saw him play against Fran and pull off the upset. Um, you know, the crowd cheering him on. I think that's what he needs, you know. Kind of, like, I need the Polish people in chat, you know. We need some Polska Gorums in chat to sort of give Lakumi that energy to go forward. I mean, you know, maybe he starts thinking about the uh, the switch to law here. You know, I, I, I don't know. I think his... Uh, but when he did play law that one, I don't know. I, I I honestly can't give you uh, the 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 answer here. Lakomi, you've got to play this. But you know, he's he's he, he, I've seen he's been such a strong player. You know, I think uh, prior to today, I've seen him play so well, and I feel like you know he has it in him. But Bumby has been amazing today. I have to say. Yeah. You know, he is he has just been 
Like, the only person to beat him today is, has been Galando. And uh, that doesn't... Like, Galando's been so amazing today. The only person to beat Galando today is strong. You know, <laughs> like, I, I think, you know, it, the level we've had today in East Europe has been amazing. Ooh. And yeah, he has gone for the switch to law. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is the old man you were saying, yeah? Yeah. Before. I mean, I think uh, if he played Tag 2, I believe he played Zafina. I think maybe Zafina Law was a team in Tag 2. Obviously, Tekken 7 came out. Zafina wasn't there at the beginning. Yep. There were a couple of players like that. Um, West Europe, uh, notably Ru Kang, um, was a Roger Jr. main. Um, mm -hmm. We see Gerlanda's favorite character, but uh, we're, we're done talking about Gerlanda for a minute. We got Wakami versus Bumblebee right now, and good break on the throw already. Okay, slide it. Oh, delaying it. Nice punish. The neutral hook kick there. Oh, the flip kick over the load. There we go. This is the Lakomi I like to see. Oh, Magic oh. four. There we go. Yep. Slide. Oh, oh. Well, full crash down for three right back. Doesn't tech hook. He doesn't want to take the mix. What? Oh. I actually oh. don't. Wait, Lakomi just walking back. Just walking back. Oh. That's, that's a mistake. That's what? definitely a mistake. What the hell was going on there? Nakomi, wake up a little, bro. Just holding back. Okay. Okay. Nice punch from one standing three. Oh, looking for that counter hit. Oh, oh, come on. Unbreakable. <laughs> Cannot be broken. No duck on the string. And the back three three gets the rewards play again. Oh. Do, 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 do. Oh. Now, uh, one uh, more hit the down forward for Bumby. One more round here to go up 2 0 and make things a bit scary for Lagomi moving forward. Yeah. We'd have to pull up a full reverse sweep, and that's not too easy, especially against someone like Bumblebee. Down 2 3 to get the wall. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of damage there. Okay. Ooh, no duck in the. Oh, yeah. That's counter hit. This should be the round. There we go. Okay. Wakami on the board here now with the law. The old man. Here we go. Uh, just sending it out there. 2-2. Two, two. Nice. Okay. Down for 2. Law, one of the better down for 2s in the game. Mm -hmm. Gonna be a side wall. Oh, just rolls away from the stone. Oh. That looked like a, a Bruce Lee movie. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Take oh flips. He's oh. getting kind of crazy. Damn, here we go. Bit of sauce. Not gonna, no, he chooses to break it. What's the follow-up? Nice, I like that a lot. That, that size up into four, 3 plus 4 means that um, Dragon Hammer is basically guaranteed. You've got to block it or get hit by it. Yeah. Oh, nearly. What? Out of the teleport? Down to 3. Here we go. Lakomi finally awake right now. Yeah. Down for 2. That's the Oki. Okay. Oh, that's Yeet. so dirty. That is so Look dirty. Look what a launch though! Oh, oh the Bruce Lee finish! Let's go, Wakami on the board. Three He's rounds, man. He has been awoken. Finally. This is this is the guy I wanted to see today. This is yeah. exactly the guy I want to see. This is the same guy I saw offline. I'm seeing him here today. Great start right now. We're all tied up 1-1. One, one, and you know, yeah, Bumby is the one that has a has a job in front of him, but I'm very happy for that tied up 1-1 right now. It looked like it was over. Honestly, two rounds up. Has to make a reverse sweep and then keep going. But, you know, stay true, stay strong. Takes the second game. We're all tied up. Oh, this is why this is why I came for, Sam. Yeah, this is some 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 awesome Tekken. Just mm -hmm. just quality stuff, man. And y you can only get it at this level of the tournament when there's this much money on the line. Like I hate to keep harkening back to it, um, but in total for the prize pool we have six thousand dollars right now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Three, first place taking fifty percent of it. Three thousand dollars for first place right now. That's, is, that's it, is, is it real, Kevin? Is it real? How would I? Why would I know? Yeah, uh, I, I hate to be the one to, to tell you this news, dude, but uh, you, you did win a tournament yesterday. Did I? Y yeah, uh, you were there. Um, it was uh, it was our region, you know, Western yeah. Europe. Western um, Europe, yeah. Yeah. 
All right, and we're just going to drop that one right there, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We're back on the infinite stage. All right, Wakami coming hot off that oh, momentum. Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. feeling himself right now. This is like I, this is what I wanted to see. Okay. I mean, win or lose, it's, it's lovely to see someone just having fun in the tournament, seriously. Yeah. Just, just playing for the style points. Definitely. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Okay, maybe having too much fun. <laughs> nope. He don't care, man. He's going to continue to have this fun, man. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, the down forward too. That's that's a calm down right there. That's that's a bomb <laughs> saying calm down, bird. Two. Okay. Fight. Let's see. Punish that's minus twelve. Could have got a three four and the big cop knees right there. Okay. Oh yes, the break eventually. Oh, nasty, nasty bit of stuff there with the down four two. Oh, just testing them a little bit. Seeing what's going on. Uh oh, no break on the one throw. Oh, and the set two counter hit. I don't know what uh, Welcome tried to do there, but it wasn't the right thing. No, definitely not. Not the time to be mashing on wake up. Okay. Slide in. Oh, that would have been a cheeky little set up there. I love that. I really, really love that. Okay. Well, big whiff, but no punish there. Oh. In the back. Standing still. Jeez. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, going low there oh. during the Katon stance is not the right thing you want to do. Okay. Mark me just shy of rage. Now he has it. Ooh. Oh, oh god, he doesn't care. Yeah, he's doing all the fancy stuff right now. Yep. Slide. Slide nice block from Bumblebee, the great call. Oh, oh, I lied. It's a terrible combo. Oh. Oh. Russian Locks. reset. Yeah. Russian reset. We got this. Ooh. Locks the hot kick and punishes him. And he goes up two to one right now. And now for Welcome. Does he go back to Zafino? And does he keep doing the law things? I mean, it's not like he just got destroyed there. He needs to he needs to do that a lot and bring more crazy. The crazy was working. Crazy was working. It did kind of drop. For a moment, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I feel like he's having fun, and who are we to Chris as a man having fun? You know, who are we? I, I feel like he's he's got a game plan right now, and he's gonna stick to it. And I feel like he's just I'm just gonna believe in him. He's I mean, already I'm I'm happy to see what he has done today. I have like a top four pin, finish, especially in the pool that he had, um, is 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 impressive. And, you know, going this far against Bumblebee, who has been so strong in the Eastern European region, has won tournaments offline in Russia against players like Strog and Mob. Uh, uh, these players like that have been such such stalwarts of the, of the Russian community. I mean, you know, this is no small feat. And he's playing so well right now. Um, so for, for, for Lokomi, he's got, you know, he's got potentially one chance left if he loses this game. But he could turn that into two and make this go to a final game. Yeah, um, I don't really see this going as a wash. Like, I, I think it's definitely going to be close. Um, but we are about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, Tekken Online Challenge, Eastern Europe. Okay, sticks with the law and goes random stage. That's so weird, man. I'm hearing that uh, Lakomi's name in Polish translates to gluttonous. <laughs> Okay. That, that that explains some of some of the greed we're seeing in in some of these cells, man. Trying to get a bit more, buying off more that you can chew. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Okay. G core pelipad as well. What's up with the random stage, dude? I feel like there's only four stages in this, this game. This is this is the second time we've had a random select that has been G core helipad. Just What's gonna and and daytime as well. Just gonna throw that one. Yeah. Out, right? There's definitely only four stages in this game. Ooh. Standing still. Okay. Are we trying to get that wild in the full DSS? There we go. Gets oh. the bounce. Okay. I like the combo. Oh, oh, standing dirty. two breaks it. What? Oh, that combo does so much damage. You know what's insane? I think he could have killed over there as well. I think that could have killed. That was kind of. That was kind of sick. <laughs> What? What? Wackabee's crazy, dude! 
Okay, the hop knees, he just said shut up. <laughs> I think that's one thing we're seeing. When Bumby is getting overwhelmed and he's see he's feeling pressured by Wakomi and the crazy stuff, he just goes for a launcher. One throw not broken. Mm-hmm. And that group is staying down, running three plus frames. Ooh. Oh, nice back dash from Bumblebee. Yeah, I didn't want to deal with any of that pressure at all. Slide. Slide. Okay. Backs to the wall now. Bumblebee got to be oh. careful. Oh, never mind. Unbreakable throw. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... What? I, I don't know about that one. I feel like he tried to tried to make a read on the timing there. We have to respect it. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll take your nice word. Nice swift punish. This should go to the wall. Never mind. <laughs> Commentators cursing all over the place. One yep. throw broken. Fuck me, just getting in, just doing nothing right now. Yup. Oh, no, too nice being the hot knee. It just hits so consistently, man. I nice, spoke on the down back three, but no punish. And another down wow. back through a Komi. Can he take this to a final game? Fight. Oh, man, they are fighting for their tournament life. What is up with that throw, um, ladies? Unbreakable. It is. It, it's basically. <gasps> the down two, three. It looked like it was a count hit, but no launch from Bumblebee. So, Komi won't be too upset about that. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, watch the rage. Here we go. Very careful. Oh, that was a huge whiff, but no punish. Oh my God. I, I he actually I, just charged. I think, I think that was a manual DSS. I think he went in manual D DSS and got down back one plus two there. Right. I, I think that's what happened. Oh, okay. manual DSS is down one plus two. That is down back one plus two, that input. Yeah. Oh, looking for the second slide. Oh, you my dirty goodness. boy. And a perfect to bring it straight up to a final game. Kwiz, what's going on, man? What's going on is this is the guy I was so excited to see play today. And now everyone can see why. Everyone is is here to see why I was so excited to see this guy play. I mean, what we're seeing so well is, is his use of the mind game. On the wake up situations, he just crouches and Bumblebee has been ducking consistently every single time. Wakami's finally caught onto that. And then the wild sending twos just come out of nowhere. And that's what's worked. I mean, he didn't even have to do that wild sending two. I mean, wild sending one two would have worked just fine, but like, sure, do the launch punch roll option, man. Um, and yeah, it's now tied up two to two, final game. The only thing I have to say that plays against Wakami here is it's probably going to be the infinite stage. And we've seen Bumblebee look infallible there. So. He's really going to have to pull a rabbit out of the hat. He wants to take this one, I have to say. Yeah, Law, definitely. I mean, we saw it there just even in the last round there. The the amount of damage that he gets against the wall is just, like, insane. Um, really, really uh, fun little setups as well that Wakami seems to know. Um, yeah, an infinite is probably going to spell a little bit of disaster in the, yeah. in the Wakami camp. Yeah, it was just so unfortunate that round before like he wanted manual dss down one plus two he got down at one plus two which is the unblockable then he died for it but like he didn't let that phase him he didn't let that mistake cost him the rest of the game he just kept fighting and he ended it with a perfect i, I don't know if that was a mistake because you can cancel it with down down i think he actually wanted to let it rip no but even even if 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 it, was, if it is a mistake you couldn't cancel it as fast as he got punished by yeah okay all right i'll give him the benefit of the doubt um okay. one throw broken i think it's not that one plus two because that one's not getting broken by anyone today <laughs> it's the unblockable man okay well, so one doesn't let it rip oh ah, wow you nice. so ready as well the splat Nice. Yo, the second six bound. All right. Now, for some reason, the get up three counter hit a legend kick. I thought that would low crush, to be honest. One plus two, the broken. Oh my god, that's it. That's oh, it. See you later, Bumblebee. I don't like this rage up. Mm. It's off a of flow. Bumblebee has a lot of health. It's not going to do a ton of damage. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, if Wakami back rolls here, he's dead. What is it? Hey. 
Oh, uh, you, you need to listen to the stream. <laughs> Fight. Uh, not the best punisher in the hot knees. Okay. We'll try to step the final hit. Oh my. Oh my. That's got to hurt. Okay, he tried to start with the while setting for DSS, but he gets it that time. Oh, come on. He what broke it once. Do? Just let, let, he broke it once. It's fine. It's the rule. All right. Does have rage now. Uh, no way. No way. What? Okay, that's a whiff. It's not dead. That's a whiff punish, but... Just don't get rid. Oh, I what knew the block. slide. I knew the slide was coming in here. And <laughs> a rage the third. We are going into the third round, and this is the third rage out we have seen in succession. <laughs> like that was a that was a nice whip punish with the rage out. I have to say, but um, I think his mistake there was doing the slide from that range. From that range, the only thing that is going to hit you is the slide, yeah. and Bumblebee knew he just had to duck. Yeah, of course. Okay. Obviously, hindsight's 2020. We can say that now, but in the moment, it must have felt like the right call to Lakomi. As again, he gets the Watson for DSS, but does not commit to it. No. Um. The uh, the three plus four uh, punish or with punish for law is like definitely one of his uh, stronger tools. But gee, still no break on that. No, no way. He didn't break I... it on purpose because he wanted to set that. <laughs> All right. We're gonna see another rage out. Legend kick plus frames into the one throw. This sh oh, Please. what were you about to say? <laughs> That's why I didn't say anything. Oh, full crack down for three. If you check, okay. oh, you take it to a mix up. Oh, oh, and 10 seconds set three. No! Oh, okay. Lakomi stays alive. Yep, remember, guys, these guys are fighting for their tournament life right now. Slide you oh, and get the no. get up. All Again. of the cheekiest setups are coming out right now. This is the player I'm here for. Okay. One, two, three. Last uh -oh. time, one, two, no duck. One plus two, throw. <sighs> Not broken. Unbreakable. Just ducks there. This is great oh. patience. Who are the what? Oh, he recognizes so off axis, though. Does he recognize? Or oh, runs into hot kick, gets it's punished. Is that a mistake? Okay. Watch the rage. Watch the one, rage. One launch does it here for Bumblebee. And oh! That's it. That's the, that's the game. Right? It's gotta I, be dead. I, it has to be. It has to be. Are we? What? Oh God, what's gonna happen? Oh no! Poland's last chance! Key chance set up into the... What? Chip damage. That was chip damage. I think the key charge kunai, that was chip damage. And that is what ends the set. Oh, oh. my God. If someone isn't clipping that, oh my god! I yeah, there's actually nothing that Lakomi could have done there in that situation because he just started backdashing, right? He just started backdashing, okay? And like, uh, I mean, no one thinks of sidewalking from like range two, range three. No one, no one thinks about that. No one's saying they're like, okay, they are this far away from me. I should start sidewalking. And I mean, yeah, like, that's the, that was his only option, sidewalk it. But it's like, you don't think about that. When someone's key charge in your face from that far, like you're not, you're not going to be thinking about that. And Bomb be going for that option with like the magic pixel left. And I think, um, I think uh, Bumblebee, sorry, I think, Lakomi actually backrolled again after the rage up, which is like, why would you do that again? <laughs> um, after what happened in the first round. But yeah, that was just that's a heartbreaker for Lakomi. He played so well. The people's champion. I I I am he had such a good performance today. And taking Bumblebee to, to the absolute limit there. Um a round of applause for, for Lakomi as he exits today. Yeah, um, absolutely. Stellar showing there. Um, so, Lakomi taking fourth place here in this tournament. This is the fight now for third place. We're going to see losers final. Gerlanda versus Bumblebee. Now, and this it's a run back. is, yep, but this is going to be another great game. Um, yep. We've got Gerlanda for potentially the last time um, with his player cards here. Um, 70 points, ranked 8th 
uh, in his region. Um, uh, Galanda actually qualified off his one performance in the TOC Masters event. I think that was a fifth place. Um, yeah. And that is what he qualified off of. And there is Bumblebee's Death Stare. Yes, sir. Um, the second place finisher. He actually finished second in the regional finals and had a few other dojo performances as well um, to get him into the position he is in now. And, you know, Galanda versus Bumblebee. You know, this is the person who beat Bump. The only person to beat Bumblebee today has been Galanda. So you have to think about that. That's that that's gonna weigh on your conscious going into the game. And the second game they played was dominant when yeah. they played. The first game, Bumby won sure. When they played with the Wolves, it was dominant. Galanda can see that momentum and finished him off. But this is a different set. This is the first of three. It's a longer set, more time to adapt, more time to learn about your opponent. Um, but also more times for that infinite stage to come into play, which you've seen Bumblebee look infallible on. He's so good when that infinite comes into play. The only time we saw him lose on the infinite stage was against Galanda. So. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. But here we are, guys. We're in the top three now of the final uh, um, for East Europe uh, Online Challenge 2021. I'm pumped. I'm pumped, KOS. How are you feeling? So, I'm feeling great because there are two outcomes we have here from this uh, win here. We either have an all-Russian Grand Finals or we have uh, we have Best Europe uh, versus Beast Europe to uh, to end it. So I like you know, that. that. That's 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 our two that's our two outcomes here. Okay, we're going to last day on Earth. This is the first time we've seen a stage that isn't part of the four-stage rotation that we've seen mm. for the day. Is this is um, this a this is this a legal stage? Uh, I, I don't think know. So. If it's, we haven't seen yeah. it today yet. We have to get word from Michael Murray. Mm. All right, and they are off, ladies and gentlemen. Losers final. Remember, we are first to three action here. Mm, been that way for the entire top four. Nice. Mm. We'll down for four gets the count here. Okay. Gonna get that wall bounce. One throw, not broken by Galanda. And yeah, that's guaranteed when you're back right there at the wall. Minus 13. Nice. Punish. Actually, 14. My bad. Okay. Breaks the throw. Rage available for both. And oh there it is. And that's going to be dead. Wow. Uh, I mean, Bumblebee is doing some amazing stuff with that rage right today. Ugh, punish. Oh, and the unbreakable. The untackable. The backbone cat. Okay, good patience. 4-2 is another strong move as well for Kunimitsu. It, it's, both hits are high, but it jails on block, and it tracks through a weak side, and the 2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2. Uh, Bumblebee looking good, but it's the same as when they played in the pools. Bumblebee yeah. had a convincing start to the game, and then Galana just got that momentum swinging right back in his favor. Yeah, um... I mean, even if uh, Galanda loses, we'll, we'll be back to jungle outpost here, but wow, another uh, throw that hasn't been teched here. Two to two to two. Ooh. This is four, 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 four. Okay. Yeah. Wow. 3 0. Mm hmm. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. I mean, I'm, I'm not entirely surprised. Bumblebee is having a lot of momentum coming off his game versus Wakami. And then you have to keep in mind, like, that's how they game started in the pool. Bumblebee just clean sweep. Take it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to win. But then this is the time where Galanda comes alive. I think I think it's a it's a sign of a good player that where they can lose first game and then just bring it all the way back. Even losing dominant fashion is something that Chicken Mario does very well. Um, and also he's from Best Europe. What a surprise! Um, it's something he is he is very much known for, like losing that first game in dominant fashion and then just like switching up. He's he's downloads complete. He finishes them off. So. Um, I think Galanda obviously has what it takes. It's a full first to three. There's lots of time for adaptation. Maybe character switches if that's what Galanda feels like. But the Katarina has been so good today. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, we haven't seen Galanda pick any other character. And up until this point in the tournament, Galanda hasn't needed to. Um, mm -hmm. Now, in a, in a first to three, kind of things kind of change. And I mean, especially if you go down 0-2, that might be the time to start thinking about it. But uh, Galanda has just been playing just so consistently well um but uh yeah jungle especially outpost. in that jungle outpost one of the five approved Tekken stages that yeah. we're allowed to have in this event <laughs> um yeah here we go it is Gerlanda's favorite stage we have watched him all through his uh his journey today and he has picked it a few times 
Okay. Just a few. All right. Yeah, Bumblebee uh, using that range, that additional range that Kunamitsu has available to her to his advantage. That's exactly what you need to do. But look at Gerlanda chasing Bumblebee down right now. Nice punish. Back turn throw mix up. Okay. Oh. Finishes that minus 10, gets a punish. One, two plus frames. One throw. Oh. Broken and that. Yeah, guaranteed Ooh. right there. You could see Galanda tried to challenge because, you know, he knew no matter what that QCF2 was going to hit. Yeah. Oh. Nice counter hit. Yep. Oh, Pelova kick just whiffs. Okay. No, Unbreakable. Come on, dude. Cannot be broken. Back crawl catch again. Galanda looking a little lost right now. Yeah, I mean, I think a little bit more patience on Galanda's part is probably going to to do really really well but he's got some rage now might be time to go in uh oh oh Ooh, the wow two down fours bumpy five rounds straight right now five rounds straight i mean gerlanda can only come back from so much right now i don't know okay it's just looking kind of scary now one two plus frames oh nice size in the down four three plus four such a good mid oh okay. yes okay is exactly what Galanda needs. Max damage as well. Counter hit. What? Oh. And that was a risky low mid option there for Galanda, but comes out on top. Here come the lows. Nice block, no launch. Broken. Everyone gets one break on it. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Just switching sides. Two ships in the night. I think you've just got to be a bit fast. If something's a punish or that always happens, he just jumps over you. Yeah. Okay. The land okay. Uh, quite a big life deficit and no rage as well to help him with the comeback. Yeah. Keeping his distance here as well. Oh, great up kick. I'm telling you though, Bumblebee is so lucky that he didn't do one extra bit of damage to put Gerlanda in rage for that. One throw broken. Rage Ooh. for Gerlanda. Yeah. Bumblebee does not want to really have to deal with this here. Going to try threatening from, uh, from that mid range. What? Uh, Galanda. That was oh. a huge misstep there. Yeah. That's uh I, I mean in, in his defense, um Bumblebee has done a lot of down four and continued his pressure, like down four, down four. That's why he actually won the second round with down four, down four. So I think that's what was in the back of Galanda's mind, and like the rage up would have beat it there and he wins the game. But sorry, wins the round. But yeah, just yeah. He, yeah, just it, it's just poor timing. If it works, if it, it, he's a genius. If it doesn't, he's not. You know, it's literally just one of those situations there where like you pull the trigger, see what happens, and it didn't it didn't work from this time. But he goes down 0-2 right now against Bumblebee, and this is a hard comeback to make, especially with how we've been seeing Bumblebee play today. Um, and it's it's just Bumblebee getting revenge right now. You know, the person who beat him in the first place, he's beating them back, and then. Making a making a claim to have that all Russian grand finals. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, for anybody who goes up into that uh, grand finals against Strog, that's an uphill battle. Um, but right now, it's looking like Gerlanda wouldn't have been ready to play Strog, um, and it would have been a winners final sort of affair. The three O that we saw at the very start of this top four action. Um, Gerlanda definitely needs to pull something special out and pull it out right now. You're starting with the Julia, you got to fight fire with fire. You you fight a broken 2D with another, sorry, a broken DLC with another broken DLC. That's how you do it. That's exactly what you do right now. You almost call these guys 2Ds. <laughs> I, I was just thinking of LMG most favorite characters, DLCs and 2Ds. And yeah, I, yeah. I got, it was a 50-50 between the two. And <laughs> um, they're going to Akuma's stage, so... Um... Round one. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. We haven't seen this uh, Julia at all. Mm -hmm. First time of the day, and I speak to Fergus a lot, and he's kind of sort of Julius. He's a character you kind of got to be warm with. You can't really just throw, get into her. So, right. you know, hopefully that's not the case here for Galanda. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Julia has access to such fantastic tools, that being one of them. Um, very long range, very quick to start up. Um, okay, we've got the wall here now. Mm -hmm. Trying to threaten that full crash mix there uh -oh. is. Uh oh. Watch that blue stuff. 
where I used to throw for a second time. Yep. Uh, yeah. Julia was definitely the right pick there. Oh, and the 1-1-4 oh. one, one, there? That was... That's a heartbreaker there for Galando. Yeah. Um, Galando looking like he's on his last legs here. 2-2-2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. Yeah, it's the oh. first thing I mentioned before Bumby even played was that 2-2, two, two, but nice. There's the hop kick for Galando. Mm -hmm. To the wall. 2-1. Nice keeps okay. the combo nice and simple. Yeah, doesn't need anything fancy. Just get his damage and get out. Oh, oh no, no, not no. broken. Broken and yeah, they guarantee QCF2. And you get up, you eat another one. Should have stayed down. Set three. Oh, trying to no. oh. his troubles away and Galand is one round away from being sent home here. Sent home right now in losers final. Ladies and oh. gentlemen, and a huge launch coming in there. Wow, Bumblebee is on fire right now oh okay oh. Back out here for galanda yeah we're not, back this not done yet but the wow standing three this is going to be huge damage and can you no drops uh. the combo one plus two they're broken again finally okay oh, oh my three, god is that is what you can say it now it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Gerlanda goes home. We have an all-Russian grand finals right now coming up. This is crazy. Bumblebee actually has his next opponent as one of the players he respects the most. Out of all of them. Out of mm. all of those players. All of it, them. It looks like today West Europe was not best Europe and beast Europe prevails here today as it is an all russian grand final is going to be bumblebee versus strog um and i think there i think for some i think for some people that this was a predictable grand finals i think with just the form those two have been in how well they've done in masters events and how well they've been doing um in in general but um so i i don't know if my history is correct but i believe i was once told i think by lmg mob that um bumblebee once had won a offline tournament in russia and he had to beat strog to do so now, someone will um, be able to, to to correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I do believe he has beaten Shrug before offline in a tournament setting to, to take an event. So okay. this is this is a, a good a good standing for him right now. As you look at how the bracket is played out, um, it's scary. You know, Shrug is probably one of the scariest players in this entire bracket, but Bumblebee has been his kryptonite before. Obviously, Shrug actually does look like a sil silhouette of Heihachi. Yeah. Um, and I'm being told, yeah, that was the championship of Russia 2021. Um, wow. that's what I'm, that's what I'm being told. So, you know, there's, there's that, this is a run back. Yep. You know, this is, this is, this is the big one. This is for the tech and online <laughs> challenge East European finals. And there's that mug shot again. Which the is last crazy. time for the last time today, ladies and gentlemen, St. Petersburg representing favorite character Kunimitsu mm -hmm. started playing in 2001. He's one of those old guys, man. Um, 20 years. Tekken 3. Look at that. Strog. Yeah. Eddie and Sefi Black. Strog. The player he respects the most. The first name. Damn. That's I, a... I, I like as well how like Strog said his favorite food was just spicy. <laughs> just spicy. I, I don't have... I don't, as long as it's spicy, he enjoys it. That's just... That's dedication to the spice right there. Yeah. Um, spicy so, orange. So, this is it. Ladies and lads, it's the Tekken Online Challenge regional finals are you saying yeah, ladies East. and lads too is that like a thing that all of us europeans i just i just know? i just copy it from spag yeah yeah um, this is the regional finals for eastern europe this is the last match of the day we have one first to three unless bumblebee wins then we have two first to threes um yesterday we did have a bracket reset but then the person on the winner side ended up taking it anyway will we get a bracket reset here today i don't know I feel like Strog has looked so good today. The only person to sort of break him a little bit has been Galanda, but then he fought, fought back within himself, ended up taking the game. Um, I think character will be interesting. I do want to see Strog Steve. I really do. His his Steve is so amazing. It's a character he beats most people with, and I I, I just I, I really do love his Steve. I do. But the last has looked so good today that I, I can't complain. I can't ask him to, to, to stray away from a winning formula. But here we go. It is the grand final of the Tekken Online Challenge 2021 for East Europe. Strog versus Bumblebee. 
and he's sticking with the laws. Okay, now we have a game, ladies and gentlemen, because that, I mean, it, he doesn't lose anything. He's in the winner's side. If his Lars gets absolutely destroyed, he still has a full first to three set after this one to play Steve if he wants to. I'm excited. I'm excited. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down in the volcano right now. Um, and they are off grand finals. Strog is not doing any of that weird stuff where he presses no buttons at the start of the round. He is out to kill today. You can smell it. One throw broken. I mean, I think this is how we're going to see all those throws breaking, I've got to say. Yeah. I think I mean, it. If someone's going to break him, it's going to be Strog. Manji kids. And this is like a real anime battle right now. Because remember, Lars is a guest character from Naruto. Oh. Nice block punish there from Strog going to the wall. Bada. Shoulder. Perfect wall. And the slide. And the jab oh. string. Strog hasn't played in a while. But he's still looking sharp. Exactly the start you want. Yeah, incredibly sharp. I mean, this is what we're expecting from Strog. Mm -hmm, but great block on the sweep. Yeah. The combo early, Manji kicks. Nice punish from Strog. Ooh. The defense. Oh, one wow. Wow. Not broken. One will be getting a taste of his own medicine running yeah. into the back four. Okay. Just gave him rage. The G left Jeez, one man. more hit. You've got to get up in oh, that situation. No. Strog looking good still. Yep. I mean, he has not looked shaky in any round, in any game today. This is crazy. We have transitioned to the infinite stage. Nice. Back on the throw. Here comes the back ones. Down four. Keep him in check. Okay. One plus two throw broken. Oh. There it is. And that's got a scare Bumby as I will. I thought this throw was unbreakable. <laughs> oh, nice. try the while standing three there. But look at that catch, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, tries oh. to jab because if you block that, they will get a guaranteed float combo. Yeah. Nice. nice. Low parry on the down bag. Oh, going to put Strug in rage. Yeah. Bit of life now from Bumblebee. Almost with his own round on the board here. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. First round on the board for Bumblebee. Okay. Still with the infinite. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Blocking right now from both of them. One plus two. There it is. There you go. Just tech rolls. Knows that Kunai is coming. Yep. Okay. Just, uh, just going for lows. Strog has had a, a really good time of it today, just poking. Okay. On the throw, the down back four. Down back four again. Huge risky low to go for. Look at the time. One throw broken. Oh. 20 seconds. No one close <gasps> to rage yet. Yeah. Oh, big win. Oh. Alright, Strog in rage. One plus two throw, not broken. And this what? could be it when that kunai what? comes out. What? It's not an unbreakable throw. We've been over this. It, uh, but come on. All right. 2-2. Two, two, final round. Game one. Hugely important in this set now. Momentum. Who wants it? Who wants it more? Okay. Uh oh Come two, on. Go. Strong. It's unbreakable. Like, how many times do I have to say it? And if Bumblebee makes this reverse sweep, which could happen with this Hopney, it's going to be a huge momentum shifter. Nice block, yeah. but no, it's safe from that range. Oh, and a perfect is going to put Bumblebee on the board. Got the full reverse sweep against Strog. That was Strog. That was Strog. The guy that was, as I just said, like, didn't look bad in any round, any game. Like, was the only person to get out of his pool without a loss. Like, we had to work out, did he lose a round? I mean, that was that was just a great comeback there from Bumblebee. But look at where the comeback came, Sam, when the infinite came into play. Like, the first two rounds, uh, Strong took fairly comfortably. You get the infinite in play, and then Bumblebee just becomes a different player. And now, I do have to think for Strong, like, that's normally Strong's pick, the infinite stage. I think it's amazing how many Russian players do pick that infinite as well. You know, Bumblebee, Mob... Uh, and struggle go for it 
Um, I think maybe now is not the time to go for that infinite. I think he can stick with the Lars. You know, yeah, he did get reverse sweep, uh, reverse swept, but that's when the infinite came into play. Pick a stage with walls, you can continue with the Lars. Um, I don't think it's time to think about Steve yet. Uh, honestly, as much as I want to Steve see his Steve, I don't think it's I don't think it's time for it yet. I think it's just uh, stay calm and composed, um, and just play with walls. I mean, he he didn't lose when the walls were in play. It's that simple. Oh uh, wait! Don't listen to me. Then. Oh wait! Oh. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I I don't feel like this is the right decision. But it's a decision I want to see. So. Do you know what that says to me, Kavis? That says that Strog wants to end this now. He doesn't want to go Oof. to a reset. He's bringing out the big guns early. But let's see. Here we go. The infamous Steve from Russia gets launched straight out of the gates. Bumblebee has seen this before. He don't care, man. What Damn. a combo conversion as well from Bumblebee. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think why a character like Steve fits something like Strog so well is his timing. Okay, but it's throw breaking. And Still can't break the throws, though. It's unbreakable. Like, okay, uh, two perfect, two perfect back to back. In a row. In a row, ladies and gentlemen. Bumblebee looks like he, he's out to kill, man. Okay. Two, two, okay. two, two. Yep. Haven't seen much from uh, from Strog Steve just yet. Uh, but uh, Bumblebee hasn't given a Strog the chance Oops. whatsoever. Trading back two power crushes there. Mm hmm. Okay. Sitting in stances right in his face. Okay. Oh, nice use of flicker Ooh. to evade the. Uh... Yeah, the the flicker stance has that little bit of a back step in it. Mm hmm. Um, and uh, you can uh, you can use it just as a kind of a half back dash almost. Oh, I like that yeah. style move. Get the albatross. 12 seconds left. None of them are even near range. And yeah, oh, no. oh Stroke, he doesn't get the combo though. Five seconds, nice block, and Stroke should win this round. Yeah, Son I love that Sonic Fang. Yeah. I, I love that Sonic Fang because he knew, even though he was plus, Bumby was going to go for an option. He went for the full crouch down for three, didn't work out. I love that from Stroke. Yeah, very, oh, very but, clever, but good. Yeah, Pinamitsu going over the down to one with the cat on stance. Okay. Albatross down two, but the wild oh, thing three to challenge the combo. Didn't believe in it. One plus two, they're broken. Okay. Oh my do. goodness. Bumby is steam running right now. Blocks the Manji kicks and he's going to let it Oh! Run. He totally got out of that. Scott free yeah. and gets the wild standing four to unwake up to put it potentially like one game away from uh, resetting. I think Steve has trouble getting the float there because his wild second one is just a bit stubby. Yeah. And plus two, they're broken again. Oh. Nice punish. Perfect punish. Minus 13. Mm -hmm. Oh, flicker. Looking yeah, not seeing special. many counter hits here from Strog. It's what we expect from Steve. Yeah, the back one um, put into sleep standing up. As, uh, oh, down for two. There's a counter hit. Yup. Okay. Then that coming out one plus two, they're broken. Been consistent on those now. Yeah. Um, I think uh, uh, Strog just kind of woke up that uh, Bumblebee is going to grab in most Three. situations. Right. Oh, no, and there's wow. the best rage drive in the game. Damn, that hurts. Jeez, that that uh, that actually hurt me IRL. Damn, man. Okay. Two two here. Strog wants to answer back here. Bumblebee obviously wants to just get on his way to okay. reset in the bracket. Oh, the down back 3-2. Strog is now he's getting a bit loose with the character. Nice whip punish. Regular throw broken. Tried okay. to go for the two throw. Up for oh one. My. And the what? We have had so many perfects between these two. And it's always been the, the, the final round being a perfect. And yeah, this is this this one could go the distance, I'm gonna be honest. But I'm so happy to see Strog Steve. And those count hits aren't even landing yet. And when they do, things can get really tough for Bumblebee. Yeah, um, we saw it there. It was really, really weird because normally Strog wins the games by just being super reserved and kind of, you know, out timing his opponents and stuff. Whereas when he kind of let it go a little bit right at the end of that last game there with Steve, um, just kind of, you know, took the, the safety off and stuff and started uh, 
swinging a little bit harder and stuff, that Steve seemed to work out. Maybe that's his, the difference between his Steve and his Lars. That his mm. Lars is the fundamental and the Steve is the party. I mean, that's like what, when it comes down to struggle in general, like what makes him so good is just his timing. He is so mm. good at catching onto your timing and so good at making his ti timing hard to catch on to. When you play a character like Steve, that unlocks back one, that unlocks down for two, that unlocks down to uh, one, two, one, that unlocks down to like, uh, all, like it just, it makes him so hard to play against. Um, but these two have played a lot. So it gives Bumby that time to make the adaptations and catch on to his timing in, in, in previous encounters and bring that to today, which is why I think those back ones and down for twos, they aren't as useful right now. So it's mm -hmm. up to Strong right now this time to switch up that time, which is so good at doing and and find his uh find the time to pick his shots yes sir yes sir but here we are Round infinite four. stage now mm. Fight. i think if strog plays his cards right this shouldn't affect him too bad i mean steve does lose a lot without the wall i i, I believe um hmm. and it gives bumby a lot of time to run away and just not do anything stupid and try and get count hit by anything so the onus is on strog to force the issue here which is something that steve doesn't really excel at mm. Okay. Here comes that peekaboo. Yup. Uh oh. Sanji kicks. Nice punish there. Great timing there from Strug as well to get that punish. Yeah. Uh oh. Nice okay. breaking one plus two. Consistently breaking those, um, which means everybody else in this tournament. But what? Yeah, she okay. does that. Yup. That, no. that happened. That was real life. Below the rage drive, caught with Punisher Jab like that. And look at the backdash from Kunimitsu. Doesn't need it. Four seconds left oh, no. on the clock. Oh, no. Yeah. I struggled oh, close. That was so close. That was so close right there. Okay. Bumby just playing Roll Simulator. And nice. It's not an easy option to do, but there's oh. the back one. That's what we wanted to see here, right at the start. Okay. Damn, Flicker. Getting out of the way of problems again. I nice block. 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 And okay. I, I think that was actually a rage art from Bumblebee, but the down forward two was too fast. Nice dog. Okay. I think that's interesting as well as like Steve does not have the option to launch uh, set three. His launch is 18 frames, not fast enough. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to, yep, there it is again, but that cannot launch it. So might might have to be time to start looking to uh, launch, uh, to low parry that instead. Nice punish there. Nice break on the throw. Okay. Whew. Here we go. Strog just, just kind of sitting just outside a range that he's comfortable in. Um, the, threatening. The only button struggles push for the last 10 seconds is back one and down forward two, but nice down at three, two to change that up. Nice oh. block there on the full crash down forward three. Interesting punish, Strug, but you took the round. Yeah, you got it. He didn't need anything else. Um, Yeah, consistently breaking those. Um, everyone else in the tournament, just watch up. Uh, big block. QCF2 from Steve is one low I never see launch, and I think it's because people never expect to launch Steve's lows. It's minus 17, but like, Dang. that that low there, yeah. But no one's ever ready to launch it. Um, yeah. That is crazy. Okay. Nice. Punish. Two, two. I mean, this is an important game. If Strog wins this, even if he loses, nice back two trades. He can choose the stage for the final game. Keep us mm. away from the infinite. Yep. 20 seconds. Bumby just running away right now. Rage drive spent. A lot harder for Steve to make his comeback. Nice oh. use of the duck. Oh! Three, two, strong. I don't know whether you're confident or that was a mistake. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. Flicker. Break the third. Four, two, one. All right, here we go. Pick up the peekaboo. Yep. Look at this, just gluing to him, sticking. Nice, nice the man. block. It's again, this is looking like it could be Strong's round. Huge life lead. Whilst in one, one, whilst one, two would have killed. Down Ooh. for two, gets the float, and Strong goes up 2 1 in the grand finals. And it's looking like he wants to do everything to stop that reset. 
Yep, he doesn't want it at all. He wants to end it now. I knew once I saw that Steve come out after game one, Strog, want, Strog is like the shark in the water and he's just smelled blood, man. Like, this is crazy. I, oh. I think what's so scary as well is like, Strog went this far in the tournament with a secondary character. Like, <laughs> Lars is not his main. Steve is his main. And he got this far to the grand finals. Literally grand side. finals. Yep. with a secondary and then he was like okay the sort of poker strategy exactly he's he's, he's he didn't show his hand that's the last literally he didn't show his hand no one has any information on his steve getting into the grand finals and then here we are pick steve goes up 2-1 and for bumblebee you have to think the the onus is on him now does he switch something does he go back to one of his tried and true mains from before like you know he's played ling i know he played a lot of waifus ling and lily um, does he go for one of those or does he just stick? And I I mean, I don't know. I think he's probably going to stick. You know, said favorite character was Kunimitsu. Both of these two playing their favorite characters in the grand final. So yeah, I think this is, I, I think they're, they're going to go balls to the wall action here. And they're just going to have a final clash and show why, you know, East Europe is Beast Europe. Yeah, I mean, Beast mode um, kind of uh, looking to engage now. But Bumblebee, um, he definitely needs to kind of switch up the whole momentum right now because... Okay, yeah, back to the infinite. Mm -hmm. um, no character changes. Um, what what what's going through um, Bumblebee's mind right now, okay, Wes? I mean, what should be going through his mind is that it's not like it's all about timing right now. This is, I mean, this is what I when I was playing yesterday. What Kira told me after the reset to Zephy Black was just like, you're not doing anything too wrong. It's just your timing. Switch up your timing, and you'll be fine. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. A nice block on the QCF2 and actually gets yep. a launch there. I mean, that's really big. Yeah, he's been watching the stream, man. He's a big fan. Okay, Bumblebee. Oh, oh he back oh. one. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, no, it doesn't finish it. Kinmitsu is really small. Quite a small hitbox, yep. Okay. And a duck too, nice. Just staying down. I don't think that's going to work again. There's a lot of time left. What? what? Get up, kick. What? He was so ready. Oh, man. 15 seconds left. Manji's. Oh, oh. yeah. That was a bit of a mix up there from Strong. Either he finishes the lows and he blocks that, or goes for the mid. Nice option there from Bumblebee. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice talk. Okay. Nice. Block there. Again, that's the best punish Steve can get. God, Strong is good, man. Jeez. Great. Okay. Low parry. Yeah. Big low parry. Okay. Frames. Nice, nice. Stuck on the what? throw. Low, the low, 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 dude. Peekaboo down one. Watch your toes all tied up. One, one in potentially the final game here. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Big albatross. This is right. a huge game right now. Oh, oh, nice. I like that fake out there from Bumblebee. One plus two, they're broken. Down back three, two. Cheap shot. Yeah, that leaves you minus nine close. I don't, I see no reason not to throw that out. One, one, two. Always looking for the launch. The counter again. Oh. Down back three, two. Bumblebee in rage. He's staying down again. Watch the rage. No, no it's not dead. Oh, it's definitely situation. not dead. But, what? Oh, the kick. Oh my God, what's going to happen? 20 seconds left on the clock. The what? <laughs> what are you going? Albatross 2, 15 seconds. Rage I've spent for both of them. The oh Albatross my god! Catching the Albatross and Bumblebee. Can he tie up or is Strong and end this? Oh, oh this is getting messy, Kaywis. This is getting messy. The wow. Oh my three. god! Wow. Okay, okay. Bumblebee just gives, gives us a second to think right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh Armor! Nice duck on the throwback to one punish. Oh man. Oh man. More there. Look at the back that's from Bombi. The extended duck is just not working. Oh, the whip that's it. The that's it. That's not dead. Oh no. Oh no. Don't leave him alive. Don't oh, leave him alive. Don't leave him alive. And we what? are going to our final round here. This is tournament point for Strong. Can he be your second online challenge? East European champion. Flicker oh, by the whip punish. 
Yeah, doesn't want the big combo here. And can't risk anything right now. Everything is on the line. Oh, big whip, but he's scared of the second hit. He doesn't want to get launched. One throw broken. The Albatross yep. to get away. Yep. Down point okay. one, two. One plus two, so not broken again. That's one of the first ones that's gotten through as well. Impeccable defense here. Breaking one, down. Two. Nice punish. 30 seconds. These two have had such long games. The full crowd's down for three. Who will be the champion of Beast Europe? Oh. Albatross down to counter hit. Okay. Struck has the lead. Time is winding down. Neither of them in rage. The wild setting. Oh. oh! But back two. Big risk. Two, 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 two. Ten seconds into oh. the rage drive. Ten seconds. Six seconds left. Five Enjoy seconds the... left. Albatross two. Whoa! Oh. One. One. Jeez. Three seconds left on the clock. And with that, Strog is going to be your Tekken Online Challenge East Europe 2021 champion. East Europe is Beast Europe. And we saw that today with the level of competition we had. And there you go. Strog, he is your champion. Ended it with the Steve. Went Lars most of the way, but switched when he needed to. And I think this guy, I you can say he's the, he's the best the best like steve in in like east europe or like the best player in east europe but this guy is someone who can make a claim for the best player in europe period yeah um just with that showing that he put on there didn't let the bracket get reset um went three and all in his pool um just put on an absolute class of how tekken is supposed to be played what an amazing tournament what an amazing region and what an amazing player strong shout outs dude I'm I'm honestly so happy to see him win this. Honestly, he is someone who I I have said when it You've comes been talking about him for for I've, ages. The, the moment I played against this guy and he beat the ever loving hell out of me, I was just like this this guy is amazing. And I wasn't even playing against his main character. He did the same thing to Sophie Black. He did the same thing to Doug from Paris. And I was like, who is this guy? And and you know the the true king is what, what, what we'll go call him for a while right now this guy is the champion of east europe proving why east europe is beast europe proving why so many of these guys lmg more bumblebee coming into this event said he's the player they respect so much a player they can't they can never say even if they beat him they're better than him because he is just so good and i am so happy for him to have that huge international oh, it's not international but it's in, in international it's on this it's a big stage big international stage We'll say a big win for him right there. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy to see uh, that big win for Strog. It was it was a hard fought victory. And, you know, it was great to follow all the action here today. And, you know, why are you laughing? Because you can follow some more action. If you take a look at all of, all of the socials that we have, you got BNE Esports on Twitter uh, <laughs> and the YouTube and Tekken on uh, Twitch, Twitter and the Facebook. Obviously, Band and Amco Entertainment, a huge shout uh, to them for, for giving us this amazing Tekken online challenge. Um, and you know, this has been an amazing event. It's been great to do this work with you, uh, Mr. Sam the Ding. Uh, do you have any final words for the people? No, nah, man, just, uh, just no? I mean, just no, nah. no, nah, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. No, I, I mean, definitely East Europe. Uh, I mean, I cannot wait for offline to come back. I want to see all of these guys compete yep. and show show the world what we already know that Europe is coming up as one of the top regions in tech and in the world right now. Um, it's yeah. very difficult to argue against it when you see performances like that. Yeah, I'm like I said, you know, uh, we'll just we'll just wait. I, I won't do much talking. We'll just wait and let, let our actions do the speaking when the time comes. But, you know, it's been a great event here. Uh, congratulations to Strog for his victory. Commiserations to Bumblebee, your second place finisher. But what a hell of a showing! Um, everyone, amazing showings here today. That's going to be all from us here. We'll catch you guys in the next online challenge.